this record as frequently as possible. My hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. It don't move. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? My hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, my hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, my hair, it don't move. Yo, look, yo, yo, look, yo, yo, look. Woo! Bad idea. Yo, look, hey, yo, yo, look. It don't move, you don't tell me, my hair. It don't move. Gorilla Blue. Bad, bad, bad idea. Bad, 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 bad idea. Bad idea. Yo, look. It don't move. Hello, I am Narada Hayes. I am both a licensed cosmetologist and salon owner of over eight years here at the Green Thumb Salon located in Decatur, Georgia. As a licensed professional, my clients expect me to not only use the best tools, but also the best products for their natural hair. That is why as a professional, I both use and recommend Loved by Birdie Cuticle Oil. This cuticle oil is not only exceptional for nails, but it's just as amazing for scalp and hair. Formulated with jojoba oil, this oil blend will not only lubricate the hair, but also help to regulate your scalp sebum production. This makes this oil suitable for all hair types, including those with extremely dry or oily scalp without being greasy. This lock retwist was done on clean hair using only the Loved by Verdi cuticle oil. A little goes a long way. Apply a few drops directly to the scalp and hair and allow the oil to smooth and coat the hair from root to tip. And that's it. Even without using any styling products, this oil will soften and condition the hair, leave it full of a sparkling sheen, and assist in sealing and retaining moisture in the hair shaft. So what are you waiting for? Show your hair, scalp, or nails some love today with the Loved by Verdi Cuticle Oil. To purchase this oil and other nail and nail art essentials, visit lovedbyverdi.com and use the discount code TRIBE15 to get 15% off your entire order. This stream is sponsored largely in part from patrons on Patreon, YouTube channel members, and donations from viewers like you. Thank you. Are you thinking about supporting this channel but are a little confused about channel memberships and Patreon perks? When you join either my YouTube or Patreon membership, you gain access to exclusive perks. My YouTube channel membership is conveniently priced at $4.99 a month, while my Patreon membership is priced at $15 a month. By joining either YouTube membership or Patreon, you will gain access to an exclusive playlist of ad-free videos and tutorials, as well as access to our Discord server, where you can connect and chat with me and other members from the Afro Tribe, as well as participate in movie night every Friday night. Note, if you do join our Discord server, be sure to read the server rules entirely and follow the instructions to gain full access to our server. Perks exclusive to only channel members include loyalty badges that allow me and other tribe members to see your continued support of our channel. The badges themselves are a selection of Adinkra symbols that represent the core values of our community as the Afro tribe, which include strength, 
power of love, unity and diversity, intelligence and ingenuity, leadership and transformation. YouTube channel members are also able to use custom channel emoji during our live streams and watch parties. In contrast, perks exclusive to only Patreon members include one free 30 minute virtual consultation per month to get some insight and direction with your natural hair care, should you need it, as well as two copyright free streams every month via Crowdcast. If you are interested in joining either my YouTube channel membership or becoming a patron on Patreon, Check the links which are always listed in the video description. This live stream is protected under fair use for criticism and commentary. This live stream features videos of select content creators via viewer requests seeking my professional and personal criticism and commentary. As a fellow vlogger, I encourage everyone to check out and support the creators featured here. Here in our tribe, we are a community, and we do not encourage negativity, mean-spiritedness, or cyberbullying. If that is what you are about, this stream is not for you. There is not any malicious or unethical intent of my use of the videos featured. We can disagree and engage in intense discussion, but be sure to be respectful and gracious, not only to each other, but also to the creators. It's easy to sit back and have judgment and opinions of them, but it takes a lot to get on here and share yourself, your thoughts, and your work. If your videos have been featured on this channel and you would like to have them removed, please feel free to contact me directly via email or my social media platforms located in the video description. All right, what's up everybody? Hold on, let me clear out this jar right here. There we go. Can y'all hear me? Yes, all right. How is everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry for the confusion. Um, really quick, I, I set up the, the stream and um, I started it and accidentally when I was clicking on stuff, I clicked in stream and I couldn't reconnect to it. So it ended that stream and I had to start a new one. So that's what ended up happening. Sorry for the confusion. But um, yes, we're, we're here. Um, it's another week, another watch party, another Thursday. Um, so yes, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Um, I, if you already hit it on the last one, I understand. Probably got confused. It's cool. All right, so first off, a couple of things to make note of. Okay, first of which, if we go to the starting soon screen, um, and if we let the, the list scroll along, I have added a new person to the do not request list, and you will see who that is in just a moment. And there she is. All right. We have added Mom and Jazz to the Do Not Request list, okay? I'm going to discuss why that is the case and what we are going to be doing moving forward. All right, let's get back. All right, so um, who is that? Um, It's a mom featuring her, doing her daughter's hair. Um, usually when we watch her, she's usually doing something um, just very damaging to her daughter's hair. Um, her daughter um, has very broken, damaged hair. Um, she has a lack of edges and things of that sort. Um, but anyways, every time we, um, <laughs> we watch her. Anyway, so she came on one of my videos and responded to um, my reaction of her. If y'all weren't on the Crowdcast stream, y'all didn't see this part, so I'm just reiterating for those who missed the Crowdcast stream. I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a second, too. So let me see if I can find this video. Give me a second. Should have had it pulled up. Oh, some of y'all is late, late. So y'all don't be reading. Y'all just be skipping the end. That's why y'all be skipping. Y'all don't be paying attention. This ain't where I want it. Um, all right, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. 
I know the thumbnail when I see it. Okay, I think I went too far. Oh, here it goes. All right. Um, so just to clarify, um, I, I'm not going to play the video again, just out of respect, but she did come on and leave a comment. Uh, let me see if it's still here. Okay. So she says, bro, you used my video without my permission, just so you and your subscribers will say stuff about me and my kid. You may get copyright strike, bro, if you're doing these kinds of videos. I said, would you like me to remove the video and reframe from viewers requesting for us to watch your content? I have no problem with doing so. She says, so your viewers are requesting you to use my videos on your channel? I don't understand. No, don't take down the video because I don't want to look bad. Just that I don't feel comfortable when people write negative things about me and my child. So I wrote this whole thesis. <laughs> And I said, if you have time, I ask that you please take a moment to view my disclaimer in the video timestamps, and that may help clear up some of your confusion. First off, let me begin by offering my sincerest apologies for anything I may have done or said that was rude, offensive, or hurtful. That was not my intention with doing these types of videos, but I can definitely understand how some of my words or tone may have been interpreted as such. I'm a licensed natural hair stylist, and my viewers request hair videos for me to react, respond, and critique with both my personal and professional commentary as a means of education and dispelling misinformation. As a mother, I can understand your reaction to this and wanting to protect yourself and your daughter from negative comments and mean-spiritedness. However, I do feel that when we put ourselves and our children out there on the internet, we do open them up for criticism and negative attitudes as well. I would like to think that I offer constructive criticism, but sometimes my sarcastic and jaded tone overshadows that. Inversely, I understand how my own platform response can sometimes reinforce or, or misdirect the wrong type of energy and vitriol towards someone in their channel. I do try my best to stay ahead of that and prevent that from happening, but sometimes it can't be helped, and for that I take full responsibility for my role in that, as it relates to you, your channel, and your children. With the utmost respect, um, I will make sure that your videos never show up on this channel again, although your videos have been requested in a few of my other videos. I will make sure that my viewers understand that it is within your right to not have your videos featured in this light and have them show you the same respect and grace that you have offered me. If you would still like me to remove your content from this or any of my other live streams where you have been featured, please let me know and I will honor your request with no resentment. Um, she said, it's okay, I understand. All right, so that being said, I'm putting this all out there, so don't nobody go and run back and start stirring up no drama like some of y'all out there be doing. Y'all know who I'm talking to. Um, it's been handled. There's no beef. There's no drama. There's no resentment. There's nothing. It's, it's handled. See, that's what happens when two adults, like, actually communicate and hash shit out instead of being uh, immature like <coughs> Kimberly Sherrell. So, um... That's that. Um, so moving forward, um, in response to that, I think we should just not watch any other videos featuring children. And with some reflection um, and just thinking about some of the past copyright strikes or video removals that I've had in the past, the majority of them have been of moms featuring themselves doing their children's hair. So, um, I believe one was, um, Christy Gior. She felt some type of way that I was calling her out with pandering to black people and black women. Um, and, you know, with the whole doing her black adoptive daughter's hair and claiming that there's no, there was no videos on YouTube to help her figure out how to do her black daughter's hair. And I was like, oh, hold up, bitch, hold up. What you're not going to do is erase all the decades. Well, not decades. It has been, de it has been decades. The decades of hard work that black women have done built, building up this natural hair movement and this natural hair community just so that you can figure out what to go and regurgitate and say on your video to make it sound good and appealing to other black women. What you're not going to do is use is use that platform for that. So that's I called her out on that bullshit. She didn't like it. She gave me a copyright strike. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, also, there was another woman. 
um, I forgot what her name is. She's on the block list, too. But she did her son's uh, lock retwist, and she didn't have any. Um, she didn't use a comb. Um, she didn't even have a water bottle. And she didn't retwist her son's hair for like a whole year or something like that. And on top of it, what was really disturbing about the whole situation is she was going through and cutting new parts in his hair. So, like, she was taking scissors and, like, hacking away to his hair just so that he could have clean parts again. And I was like, yeah, no, that's, what are you doing? So, yeah, she felt some type of way about that, so she gave me a copyright strike as well. So, we don't have time to go through the list of everybody that has an issue with me or these watch parties. Some people are going to have an issue with it. Some people are not. There's definitely been a lot of... Um, um, vloggers that I've featured they have left um, comments saying thank you for featuring my video I appreciate your commentary even though I don't necessarily agree with some of what you said I do appreciate you for just featuring me and you know watching me or whatever so it is what it is um, those y'all asking about the charade situation we already hashed that out like two whole live streams ago the live stream before the live stream after that like we're done i'm not hashing it out it's nothing to be said she just don't want her shit on my my videos she ain't say that to me but trust me i know i understand i know what it is okay sheree don't like me it is what it is she don't like me i keep telling y'all this she don't like me so we're not going to feature her videos um and outside of that um that's that so now with the with the uh, crowd cast, so there was there were some mishaps with the crowd cast. For the most part, it went well. Um, however, I did not realize because we've never like we use the crowd cast for Patreon, but we only have about like thirty or forty people that watch the Patreon um, live streams at one time. So I've never had an issue where more than a thousand people were trying to watch uh, one of my streams. And so um, that's what happened last Thursday. So I told you all to, to register. I posted the video and told you all to register that same week. I think I posted the video on Monday just to give you all some time to prepare beforehand. I said, register for the live stream register i guess some of y'all thought it was like youtube and you could just go and click on and click on whenever you want but when you are on these paid platforms it doesn't really work like youtube so let me just uh show you what what, what the situation is so um with using crowdcast they have different plans okay so the plan that I had to use to feature our watch party was the, the business plan, so their highest costing plan or whatever. It says it allows a thou up, up to a thousand live attendees per event and you can go over. I can go do up to 40 hours of broadcasting per month. Um, and I, I can charge for it, but that I, I'm not charging for it. Um, six hours broadcast per session and all of that. So it says you will be charged 15 cents for every extra live attendee for a single session. Limit the seats on a crowdcast to avoid overages. Now, again, I did not realize um, that it was going to be, and this is my fault for being so short-sighted, I did not anticipate more than a 1,000 people actually registering and watching it. I don't know why. You know, I know I got, like, almost 100,000 subscribers, but I don't know why I didn't think that at least a 1,000 people was going to tune in and watch it. Um, so... Yeah, after a thousand, and see, when we started the live stream last Thursday, it was like maybe 500 or 600 people that were registered at the time when we started and was in the middle of streaming, and I guess a lot of people, like, realized, like, oh, he's not on YouTube, so, like, oh, shit, he's, he did mention the Crowdcast, let me go on there, let me register at the last minute, let me get up in here so I can watch, and so... During the live stream, a thousand people ended up registering, and so after it hit that threshold, it it won't allow anybody else to register. So 
that's what happened. That's why if you weren't registered, then you aren't able to go back and watch the um, the replay. So that's my fault. I, I apologize for that. Um, what I will do in the future is not limit the amount of seats so that um, those of you that want to tune in and watch it can tune in and watch it. Although, I got to be honest, I kind of like that it kind of limits people from, like, just jumping on, like, randomly. Because, like, you know, some of y'all be with the mess and shit, and, you know, it's it's kind of a cool little safeguard, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's, that's what it was. But anyways, um, I, I like to think that most of y'all were, enjoyed the, the Crowdcast watch party. Um, the way it's set up, of course, the, uh, live chat doesn't scroll along with the, the video. So I did include it in the actual stream or whatever so that you can see it. Um, also... It's best to watch the Crowdcast stream playback on desktop. That way you can use the ask a question feature and you can just literally jump straight to... Anyway, all right. Jump straight into the request. So, um, well, yeah, they, they don't use timestamps. They use the ask a question feature. So when I'm answering it, it'll... Uh, jump to request? that particular point in the live stream. Um, for some reason, it doesn't show up on um, Android web browsers, and the app for Crowdcast is only available on Apple products, I believe. So if you have an Android, yeah, it's just, you know, you just shit out of luck. You might just want to watch the whole shit through. But... We streamed for about six hours, and then, of course, as you saw, that's our cutoff time. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and call it a night. Um, but, yeah, it was interesting, especially that uh, that one video with, um, what's it called, Passion? What's her name? Passion? Oh, whatever. Her name, Passion Jones or whatever. And hello, three-way relationship. Girl. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. So um, we'll definitely do that again. Y'all see, I have the uh, the copyright free stream uh, goal listed at the bottom of the screen. So once we hit that threshold again, we'll do that again. So hopefully, you all enjoyed. We definitely enjoyed having y'all on, just so that y'all can get a taste of the whole Patreon stream situation. So, all right. So that's that. Uh, what else I got, uh, I think that's it. He was given power bottom. Oh! <laughs> Yo, I showed Henny, um, that video and she was like, what? <laughs> Anyways, um... Let me see, Texas, what you say? Narada, I'm so proud of your personal growth and business, too. Aw, thank you. Yes, Passion and her two men's. The violin teacher was the highlight for me. Oh, no, Mr. Moss. I wonder if he's still teaching. Let me see. I mean, looking up his, well. Oh, look, they, they got videos of him playing. Okay, he had the church. He had the church playing. Okay, okay. Some old videos, but I mean, he is, I Googled him. Damn, not, not a stalking him. <laughs> No, I don't want a free trial. Okay. All right, he's still giving lessons. Mm-hmm. 
Look, he got me started on the cello, so, I mean, as crazy as he seemed on that episode, um, I, I would say he definitely is, is a dedicated music teacher. Wasn't his middle name violent. That was his alias. But, you know, he called his violin bitch because that's his bitch. But, you know. All right, all right. Inside joke. If you know, you know. All right. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started because we started late. Um, today we're an hour late. Let me book a service. Ciao. <laughs> Y'all mess. We're going to go ahead and open up the request. If I can find the button. There it is. All right, and we're going to do about 15 videos or so. Um, I don't have any personal choice videos lined up, so if y'all could choose something specific, but um, if y'all don't, just know we might be sitting here for a while. All right, um, we need some music, don't we? Shoot. Hold up. Got some music playing. Play this record as, play this record as frequently as possible. I think we saw that video of local black child talking about her hair falling out. Was that the one where she was crying? It was, um, that was, um, interesting. their hair or detangle for a year I feel like we've seen that like three times already <laughs> mm-hmm. crazy natural princess you and um live life key have the same request do you want to change it yeah you can watch a video of your choice then she has an update but it's 30 minutes long, so that's a hard no. Okay, I'll, I'll see. Maybe we can watch something else of hers. All right, we have 11 videos so far. Oh, we got Jermaine up in here. Oop, Jermaine, somebody just requested you too. Thank you for the uh, super chats, the cash apps, the donations, the thumbs up, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peak Mill, that's a throwback. I haven't seen, I don't recall their name. I, I, I do think she was popular back in the day, but I don't even know who that is. Where's Aaliyah at? So she can cuss y'all out. <laughs> I don't know where Aaliyah is at. I think she working. I think she said she closing at her job, so she probably won't make it in. Yep, you can still make a request real quick. We're at 15 videos, so you got some time. Peak Mill started a weave business. I think she's focused on that. 
Please, please. Okay. Mm. Oh, wait. We need some more music. Uh, shoot. Oh my gosh, Tiandra! I follow her on Instagram. Then take mine as a just because unless you want to find something in my 15 cents. No, Aaliyah doesn't work at Amazon anymore. They fired her. <laughs> Yeah, she's talked about that already. Mm. Dang, that fire? Yeah, yeah. It was for something stupid, but honestly, it, it just, it wasn't a good situation to begin with, just from what she told me. I think she was really wanting to leave so I think it was really a blessing in disguise I'm not casually saying it she's talked about it like three times already <laughs> well maybe she talked about it on the gaming channel maybe she didn't talk about it here but yeah alright I'm getting ready to close it I'm getting ready to close it Yeah, between the management and just um, the lack of union and them being overworked and getting beat up and bitten, attacked by dogs and everything else on the job. Yeah. She talked about on the sip and pay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's why I am. So it was a sip and pay and the gaming channel. Got it. You know what? Do mine is curly guys follow up to behind Katie Diz. Okay. She should start a channel full time. Child, Aaliyah ain't. I'm trying to tell y'all, Aaliyah ain't with this editing and 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 all of that. All right, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and close it. Um, if I can find the button. Thank you. Oh shit. Yay! Thank you so much. All right, where's the close button? Close. Not the green screen falling down video. Which one? Was that the one where I slipped or the one where I was drunk and like couldn't get it back up? I don't think that's one of the same video. <laughs> All right, so let me see. Always Coco said, thank you for the Crowdcast stream last week. So much fun. Oh, thank you so much. Nadia boys, thank you for the super sticker, boo. And... All right, we're going to go ahead and jump into it because we got seven, uh, six, we got 22 plus the one. So we got 23 videos tonight. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Give me a second and let me get everything together and I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what happened to the music. Uh, is this it? Oh, okay, there we go.
crouching girl in Davis. Alright, so I was trying to like go ahead and get the videos already lined up, but yeah, that's that's not going to work. It's like 26 videos. I ain't got time for that. Alright, here we go. Um, we got our first request here, and this is from Alicia. She says, hey, hey Rod, I hope you're doing well. All my hair fell out three months ago by local black child. Warning, she's very interesting and extra. Okay, so this is not the same video that we watched, but we did watch that video of her talking about her hair falling out. So let me get her info here. But you know what? That's why her subscriber count is so high. Because she interesting and extra. You can't be an old regular degular bitch and <laughs> get your subscriber count up, apparently. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Ooh, 20 minutes. Okay, let's speed this up some. Oh, oh, come on. Slow her down. I didn't want no black. So I'm like, can I tell her to touch up? She said, oh, yeah, no problem. I got the black hair. She said, oh, yeah, no problem. I sit in a chair. Yeah. Jacqueline, missing yet another lie because of work. We'll watch the playback. Love your videos. Thank you so much for the $50 tip. She's doing my hair. 
And you know how it go. We just said we just put the little, little Make that little, money, girl. Okay. No. That's not what No, you need to speed it up. I don't know what she's so saying. I up and I picked the bleach on my whole head. This is such a, like, such a different person from the one that was, like, sitting there tearing up and her lashes falling apart and, like, I, uh, let's, let's try the subtitles. Let's see. I thought I asked for root canal, a uh, root touch up, but no, I hold, I feel like, okay, this ain't working either. You two don't know what she's saying oh, either. Because I already had the regal. No, I, I already bleached my hair three times, like, because to get the color I wanted, I already bleached it three times. We bleached it out the window, but no. It was very much in the chair. It was very much in the chair. So she talked about some bullshit under the dryer. Meanwhile, it's bleaching my whole head. Whole time, when I say go, all I want to bleach my roof. I'm like, oh, okay, like, yo, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just trying to. She said she's trying to balance the color out or something like this. Ain't that what I told her for? Mmm. 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 So I just under the dryer, though. My scalp burning, my whole head burning. I feel like I'm gonna fire. So I'm okay, let's try to go. I need to get out. Stick me out right boom. I get in the washer bowl. I'm here with it. I'm here with it. I'm here with it. I'm here with it. But my hair was there with it. Like on the floor. So she watched my hair go. She like, oh my god, my hair is getting way more than you. Mind you. One thing about my hair, two things are certain, it don't fall. Nope. It don't fall. Like, whenever I comb my hair, it barely came out. When I got bleached the first time, nothing came out on the floor. No, seriously, where, where, where is this accent coming from? I'm really confused. This sounds like, um, I think she's from Philly. Okay, maybe. It's reminding me of, um, it's reminding me of Charleston, South Carolina. Y'all think this is bad? Y'all should go there <laughs> and oh, listen to I, them I, talk. I, 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 This is so performative. Why is she talking in cursive? <laughs> All she really do is get the gorilla glue and stick my hair there underneath the weekend. It's too short for that brain and stuff, but we also going to talk about today. Let's see what my hair talk about today, y'all. So what I'm going to do first is show y'all the growth. My bro in laws from, from, from Philly, and he doesn't sound so like this. My hair fell out about, y'all, what's today? All I'm hearing is so knick knack, paddy whack. My hair fell out on the floor on September 20, 28th. So it's two months in, two months in a couple of weeks, so it's almost three months in five days. Girl, six days. So in three, in two months, in three months, girl, I don't remember the time. I don't remember. But this is how much my hair had grown. This is how much my hair had grown, y'all. I think that's a, a substantial amount for a short period of time. I feel like my hair grew really fast. Um, and like I said, she had. No, I'm gonna have this, but I didn't even do it. Cause no, people like to say, you know, if I do something, if I like, if they don't like what I say, or they are just trying to come with me, they're like, oh, you bald headed. That's what you get your hair for now, girl. That don't even hurt my feelings. Shower cap on, and we're gonna see what it's talking about. Um, all right, y'all. So, this is yes. what I'm gonna talk about after right. I'm ready. I love it. T shirt, wet t shirt. Who am I gonna look like? I look like somebody. So, I'm gonna go, oh, hold on, hold on. 
Yeah, I can't I can't handle this anymore. I'm I'm just gonna mute her. I don't know what she's talking about. It's not even important. So everybody and their mama get this red blow dryer. Red by kids, they taking over. All right, so we doing the biotin, we doing the deconditioning, we got the fancy bonnet. Okay. Yeah, we got we got nothing from this. All right, let's see. Wait, this got almost a million views. Why? I love when Gabby tells stories because I be cracking up. I'm not laughing at her. I'm laughing at how she's telling the story. But seriously, Gabby has come so far from three months ago. And I'm so proud to be a supporter. Baby girl, this happened to me when I was in beauty school. They used a 50 developer on my hair and it was falling out at the roots because they overlap the color. Who? Braids will help it grow too. It looks so good and definitely looks ready for braids. All right, let's, hmm. Well, at least she got a supportive uh, viewer base. Cause the damn show couldn't be me. Fifty developer child. I've never even seen that, but yeah, they got it. They got it. I've seen sixty developer. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it. I've heard. I think Henny told me she's seen it before. Like I've heard people talk about sixty developer. I'm like, wait. They got they got more than forty. Like, why would you need more than? You know what? Mm -mm. With that six, you better slap that shit off and take it right off. All right. Um. All right. I can't pull nothing out of that. We are gonna move on to the next one. Mm. Which is uh, excuse me, for um, this is from Alandra. Alandra, for only one just I fixed my hair. Two days ago, clear all permanent, semi-permanent hair color. All right, cool. Let's check it out. Add two 30s together. That's not how that works. <laughs> That's not how that works. You put two 30s together and you still got 30 volume. Oh, that's cute. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So if you are not new here, you already know I have been struggling with the color of my hair. I started graying around like age 27. I was like, what is going on here? So these grays always expose me, especially since I always do a middle part. And I've had this weird brown hair color, just, just a patch of hair in my head up here out of nowhere just weird brown spots giving dalmatian energy so we are going to fix that it looks today. like a ombre so I'm guys one last look at this hair because in about five minutes it's all going to be changed thanks to clairol professional beautiful collection advanced gray solution they're semi-permanent color and i'm going to use these gloves to protect my skin before i begin to apply this to my hair so i'm just going to section off my hair just briefly really quick no big deal before I apply this, so I'm gonna no, use it the don't stop lying. Bottle, it um, do look yeah, like an ombre. Roots. You can either apply this straight to your hair, like maybe it's blotchy as hell. Problem areas, but you want to make sure that you're applying it evenly, so each strand. I mean, it can't be bad as that truly talented, uh, whatever her name <laughs> was. Sure I can't remember it right now. Standing in one accord, you see that big old brown patch? It's gotta go. You don't live here anymore. 
So I'm going to section off my hair, put it in smaller sections to make sure I'm coating my hair evenly. And you can also just apply the, um, the dye straight to your hands and then massage Ooh, let's it through speed your this hair up. to make sure you're coating each hair. Oh, actually, we don't need to. It's only four minutes. So for those of you with natural textures or curls, Clear Up Professional's Advanced Gray Solution provides superior gray coverage, coloring the hair that's up to 50% gray. Not only does it completely color my hair, it leaves my Girl, color not the concentrated get gray coverage. Better yet, it's she acted like she's salt girl. and pepper. It's <laughs> and no peroxide formula. So here you can already see such a huge change in my hair. You see this color, it is all one color which I've been missing. I'm actually using the color 2N. It's espresso bean. I don't remember if I said that earlier. So I just wanted to, to kind of match my current color. It's actually probably a little bit darker, which I kind of like. It's a little bit more of a sleek color for my hair. And it's also a really natural looking result. Oh, now we did music. Sleek one side is, and here's the other side that hasn't been touched yeah, yet. Yeah, let's speed still this some up. Still some poking out, still that brown patch in my hair, and you can just see the transformation already taking place. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure the other side of my hair also matches. Oh, yeah, it does look bad. Okay. From root to tip and making sure I it's coat like, every strand to make sure it's all in yeah, one nice Yeah, it's blotchy shape. as hell. So did she ever figure out why that was? Now, I know some of you guys are like, Jess, why are you putting color in your hair? We went through this already and it didn't end so well, but I want you guys to look at these curls, okay? I can assure you that with Clairol Professional Collection, my hair is safe, my strands are safe, my curls are popping, and everything is going to be good to go. So as you can see, my hair right now yeah, is Yeah, you don't have to worry about losing your curls with so this I'm going to let it process for about 45 minutes. I'm just going to gather my hair. When you're just depositing hair color, that's one thing. When you start taking out, like lifting, taking out... You're depleting your hair of whatever is making it healthy. So you're essentially like taking away from instead of like this where you're just adding to. So put yeah. it in a ponytail and put a plastic cap Completely over it different. just to minimize any mess that could happen while I'm going throughout my day. And I'm going to check in on my hair frequently to make sure that everything's all good. So I'm going to let it sit for 45 minutes. And after that, this is after I rinse out my hair. You can see how my hair and my roots are completely colored. No grays to be found. Did she ever go to a doctor and, and have them figure out what was going intact, on? If not better than what they were before. So here's my hair the next day. I just did a wash and go and I'm absolutely obsessed with how my hair looks now. Even though it was a subtle change, it made a huge difference. Also, this semi-permanent dye Thank you, Melanie. Like 12 shampoos and it has no ammonia or peroxide, so it leaves my curls shiny and healthy. So it's Texture by You, Color by Clairol Professional. I hope you guys love this video. Check out the links in my description box and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, is this sponsored? Hmm. I guess not. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, some impermanent. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Cool. It felt sponsored. No way it's sponsored. <laughs> Shit. I mean, that would have been the perfect opportunity to get a sponsorship. Like, low key. All right. Um, I'm glad she fixed her color. I wish she would have just figured out what was going on to maybe address it so it doesn't happen again. But I mean, I guess she'll just cover it up with more hair color. Yay! <laughs> All right, next we have a tip request from Laddie. Uh, let me see, page two, learning to love my 4C hair again, Kelsia's diary. Have I seen this? Not me clicking off. All right, let's see what's going on here. I made a live. Welcome, you made it. Grab a seat. I love my hair, but why couldn't it be a little looser? less kinky, more curly. Must you always defy gravity? Those are thoughts I'd have every time I did my hair. I clearly didn't love it as much as I thought I did. With type four hair leading the Big Chop movement, yet it's top creators not sharing my texture, led to me trying tons of products and styles that just did not work for me. 
After being fed up with long wash days, I started binge watching girls with my hair type, relax or the shadow vampire said, "Thank you for I the wanted to still get away right, I love it here. Oh, thank you so much. While maintaining my place in the natural hair community, so I settled for a texturizer. Maybe then my hair would stop to really gravity and shrink me. to my ears, and maybe just maybe then I could finally experience a messy bun. Video after video of girls losing their hair or experiencing thinning, I still went through with it. I don't know why I thought I'd be any different. I instantly regretted it. Ooh, 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 My hair pattern didn't change ooh, at all. It I just got stretched. that Cantu hair pomade. I forgot I bought me a bottle of that. I need to use that. <gasps> I have a whole product haul that I never posted. Oh, I need to uh, post that. I instantly regretted it. My hair pattern didn't change at all. It just stretched. It was weak and had a hard time maintaining moisture. Ooh, Here I was nice again with my second big job. Last year I visited my dean from my old university and as we talked about our hair, I began complaining about the high maintenance it took to take care of it on my wash days. Before I could even finish, she stopped me and said, Kelsia, your hair can feel that you hate it. Stop with this dreadful tone and attitude when doing your hair. Your hair is a living part of you. Talk about your hair as you would your daughters. Strong, bouncy, beautiful. Even though I was natural for seven years, I still spoke so negatively about my hair and realized that I was over manipulating it in different styles to avoid its natural state, which is shrunken, kinky, and coily. Her words permeated through my heart. Why was I so mean to the crown God gave me on my head? Is Why it just was I me or does she look more 4B than anything else? I didn't like my own. Why did I refuse to let my hair stay in a shrunken style? Those are all questions I had to sit with and be honest with myself about. I had gone natural before being natural was even a trend. I thought being free from relaxers that I had, you know, made it mm -mm, as far as being a black lies. girl and not brainwashed enough to believe that straight hair was the standard. But in fact, I had just scratched the surface because in my head, loose textures were still better than 4C. Understanding that my behaviors and attitudes towards my hair was rooted in white supremacy began my quest to learning how to love my 4C hair. I made it a point to support and learn from content creators only with my hair type. Every now and then, when I'm annoyed with my hair, I'd wear it completely shrunken as my style for the week so I can get used to looking at myself and letting it grow on me. And lastly, I do what my dean taught me, be kind to my hair and keep a simple routine, nourish it, as I would other parts of myself. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching this page of my digital diary. I think I finally found my niche here on YouTube and I really do enjoy this digital storytelling. I don't know how it will go or how much you guys will really resonate with it, but um, we'll see in the next couple of weeks when I post more content. So this video about my hair, um, my hair and I have had such a love-hate relationship over these past couple of years and I just want to say that this is my story, you know, this is my story with my hair um, and as a girl with type 4 hair, I, I just feel like I particularly have a different experience than other girls in the natural hair community. I, you know, it hasn't been until recent years that I've seen us at the forefront of the natural hair movement. And it's really refreshing to see, to be able to learn from creators with my hair type, um, either using certain type of products or styling their hair in ways that actually work for me. Um, it's been a total love-hate relationship and I'm getting a lot better at it. There's been big tops, there's been coloring, there's been texturizers, there's been wigs, there's been, it's just literally so much, but I'm, although it like makes me kind of sad that I didn't really have anybody to teach me how to do my hair as a lot of girls don't, un unfortunately in the natural hair community, I'm still really thankful for the creators that are out there that have like, you know, super short 4C hair and they don't necessarily get the attention or the praise as like the girls with 3A super long hair doing styles that just like literally don't work for us. It's really refreshing to see other type four girls out there getting the recognition that they deserve. Um, 
yeah guys but i'm still on a journey you know like i'm still trying to learn how to love my texture there are times that i love it and then there are times that i wish i was literally not born with it and i literally just slap on a wig um because it's hard it's hard and i want to know like what are you guys doing to help yourself like love your 4c hair more i think i know for myself it, it did just come with a lot of education too about my hair just literally educating myself about hair period and specifically about afro hair and the history that it's had in this country and how that has totally influenced the way that i see and engage with my hair because one thing i'm not gonna do is knowingly participate in white supremacist ideals against myself okay so I think just having that that knowledge in and of itself kind of set me free to be like, these standards that I have were from a white man. Like, I don't actually think this way about my hair, but this I've been conditioned to think this way about my hair. And so for that, I think that was really helpful. But if you guys have any tips, if you liked anything, or if you have any questions, be sure to list it down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer. I hope you guys are liking this digital diary series. I'll definitely still be doing more social commentary, but um, definitely the digital diary is something that I'm more passionate about and I want to put more out on YouTube and guys it's expensive to kind of produce this type of work so show me some love if you guys like the content like don't leave without liking and subscribing and sharing with your friends it really does mean a lot to me and it helps the algorithm so I will see you guys next week for page three of this digital diary series and yeah guys see you next week bye um my question would be first off like I just want her to read me a bedtime story because her voice is like so relaxing, even though my heart rate is at like a hundred. But um, my question to her would be, what is it that's so disappointing about her hair? I think if we get to the root of that, like what, like what is it about your hair? that you are yearning for that you're not achieving or acquiring with your hair? Um, could it be density? Could it be shine? Could it be length? Could it be movement? Like, what is it that she's trying to get out of her hair that her hair isn't able to do or, or that she's not achieving with her hair? Um, I, I think it's a little deeper than... Um, just white supremacy and, you know, um, ideals to, you know, being adjacent to whiteness. But I think that sometimes our own personal preferences are, like, intermingled in that as well. And it's important to kind of delineate, like, which is just personal preference, which you would personally prefer, versus which is actually being influenced by society and all of that. So, um, she said looser texture. Could it be the curl pattern? I mean, to be, like I said, to be honest, she really don't even have 4C hair. So, um, her curls ain't really, like, she does have a lot of shrinkage, but she has more of like a wavy zigzag pattern more than anything else. I don't really see too work. much so coil was going on but then that's a stretch style hair but maybe her curls was like elongated with the water and you know shampooing and stuff so you know i don't know I, I don't really know her hair in that detail she probably knows her hair better than i do but um yeah i mean i think i think that just kind of grazes the surface of it all but like even if she was to get like a looser curl pattern would it still would her wash day be any more simpler or would it just be that she wouldn't have to work as hard to get a look that she prefers, you know? So I, I think it's a little deeper than just a curl pattern. Like, because honestly, her wash day doesn't look all that complicated to me. It doesn't look all that stressful to me. Like, I, I didn't see her struggling to detangle. I didn't see her struggling to wash it. I don't even think she washed in sections. So I don't, I don't, I'm not getting it. I mean, the video was nice. I'm just, I'm just asking the deep questions here. She's in the reprogramming process. Hmm. Okay. At this point, are we only embracing defined curls? D look, I, 
I mean, but that's all you really see on YouTube, and that's all that's really being pushed on YouTube. Like, even just watching Jess talk about slapping color in her hair, she's like, look at my curls, look how they pop in, look how it looks. It's just like, it's, 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 that's kind of the aesthetic, but it doesn't, but now we're going more into personal preference as opposed to, you know, um, white influence as far as, like, what's acceptable for our hair. Because even back then, like, having defined curls wasn't really acceptable. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm asking these questions because, again, we start... When you when you start to nitpick and, like, figure out, like, individually, like, what is it that's, like, making you feel a certain type of way about yourself and your hair, like, it's easy to just point the finger at one thing. But, like, you also have to, like, figure out, like, how your own personal psyche, like, contributes to that as well. I think that's part of the the reprogramming and part of the, you know, coming into your own sense of, of self and embracing your hair. Um, the white girls with curls are obsessed with defining them. So, yeah, they are, they are heavily obsessed. I remember we watched the video where they was like, oh my God, my curls are frizzy and it makes me want to cry. And I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? And then people was getting mad at me because I was like, what the fuck? Like y'all really over here over obsessing about having some frizzy curls? Like, anyways, I'm pulling out of that one. Um, oh, let me read the comments. Let me see. So we're how much? Okay, so how old was this? Um, last August, okay. Mm, I've been natural for so many years. You'd think I'd be at a better place with my hair. I'm not, but I'm learning how to love it in its natural shrunken state. No slicked edges or anything. The bar for black women to upkeep their natural hair when we've just been learning how to do it in the past decade is too damn high. If you see a black girl and her hair is not laid, leave that damn girl alone, please. I am her. She is me. I wish black men did a better job at uplifting dark-skinned women with type 4 hair. Y'all are legitimately... The pandering... Y'all are legitimately gorgeous, and I hope one day we as a collective of black men can love y'all the way we're supposed to. I'm glad y'all found a safe haven where y'all can uplift each other. Much love to all of y'all. Well, um, one way you could do that is to uh, call out and hold other black men accountable for their prejudices against dark skin, colorism, and texturism. Um, but, uh, okay. What helped me love my force here is realizing that the only reason why it seemed hard to take care of was because I was trying to make it fit in with society's ideal hair type straight. If 4C hair was the standard of beauty, straight hair people would go through the same hell that black women go through to make their hair the standard. I also stopped trying to fit in with the Eurocentric standards of beauty in general since I'm black. Society might not like my hair, but that doesn't mean I have to hate it either. I'm not going to lie, sometimes it's hard, but I tell myself the same thing you told yourself. I'm not going to let white supremacy make me look down on myself and my blackness. This video is so powerful. So many of us have are currently going through this journey of loving our hair because we are raised to see it as something that is unmanageable, difficult, and unprofessional. My biggest tip, wear it. Keep wearing it. Eventually, you'll start to see the beauty in it. I definitely agree with that. I had dreadlocks for seven years and found the beauty in my hair only then. I didn't like the sleek look. I just felt too scalpy with my locks and enjoyed how frizzy and thick it was. Fast forward to me combing them out and I have loved my hair even more. I think having locks for me gave me the realization that my hair is beautiful, loose, or locked in its natural state. 
But see, here we go again. Now, now is I don't like the sleek look because it makes my my hair look scalpy. So then it starts turning into I like my hair when it looks full and thick, or versus I like my hair when it's stretched and elongated. Again, your personal um, preferences starts like interweaving itself into that. So. That's why I feel like it's important to kind of dissect, like, what is it specifically that you are longing for out of your hair that you're not getting? A lot of times, I'm going to be honest, a lot of times when I um, deal with this on a regular basis, it's, it's not so much the wearing of the natural hair or embracing the curl pattern. A lot of it has to do with, like, your own personal preferences of what you want for your hair. Now, a lot of that has to deal with like what you see constantly, like thick density is always highly regarded. Long hair is always highly regarded. Um, shiny defined curls are always highly regarded. And these aren't necessarily ideals of a society or of a particular uh, race or anything, but it could just be that's what you want out of your hair. No one likes what they have. That's not true, some people do. It's just sometimes the grass just always seems greener on the other side. But again, that's why I always emphasize like enjoying the journey of where you're at. Because a lot of times I hear people like, how long do you want to get your hair to grow? How long do you want your locks to grow? I just wanted to like be healthy and just be its best self. Like I don't really care about how long it gets or what it looks like or it's shrinking up or drawing up. I'm just enjoying every stage of the journey. I think when you start to like sit in that and over time as you continue to progress in your hair journey, you like you just adjust as your hair continues to grow and change. Like that's part of embracing your hair for what it is and what it isn't. But I think a lot of us are on a race to get our hair to be fuller, be thicker, be longer, be, you know, whatever. Like, just accept it for what it is. I know, easier said than, all right, I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out. I feel like I'm a broken record. We always have this conversation with these types of videos. But thank you for that request. Um, thank you, thank you. And you know what's funny, though? Do you know what's funny? All the people that always say, I'm sorry, I know I said I was going to pull out. All the people that always say, I wish my hair was longer, I wish my hair was thicker. I wish I had less shrinkage. But y'all be the same people. Y'all got the thinnest, finest head of hair. And y'all be struggling with like 80 strands of hair on your head talking about you wish your hair was longer and thicker. Like, do y'all not realize longer and thicker hair takes more work? It takes more work when you go to the salon. They charge you more because you got more hair to deal with on your head. Like, do you understand what you're asking for? I have so many people that have full, long, thick hair, and they're like, oh, my gosh. Sometimes I wish I could just, like, get rid of all this hair. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those the grass is always greener on the other side. Everyone always wants what they don't have. But at the same time, it's like... Are you sure that's what you want? Because, like, most of the people that got there ain't trying to deal with that. I'm Look, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to put things in perspective for people. Because sometimes, why are you calling this out? Look, I'm just saying. Be happy with what you got. All right. We're going to keep it moving with... Uh, B.B. Owens' super chat request, she said, Peak male, relax, and color my hair at the same time. Wow, that sounds, uh, unless she's doing a semi-permanent, um, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> okay, did I watch this already? Apparently, I did. Okay, I don't remember it. A year ago. Okay, look, she's still in the algorithm. Y'all talking about y'all ain't seen her in forever. Oh, excuse me. Do she still make videos? Y'all just forgot about her. Okay, that's what it is. Mm-hmm.
child. Peak male hated African Americans. Get ready. Oh. Okay. Hold up. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me turn that down. My bad. She was kind of low in that last video. All right, here we go. <laughs> so I'm trying to practice what I'm going to look like once my, my hair is done. Because I feel like short hair and glasses go hand in hand together. Like short hair and some cool ass glasses. And like bread and butter. She look like Missy Elliott. So we're just gonna pray and hope I don't fuck it all up. Cook, how so, are you? A lot of couple things that I've never done before. I've never ever colored my own real hair ever in my life. And as you guys can see, I cut my hair again. Yeah. yeah Wait, well, she's relaxing this? <laughs> I'm about to do something really crazy. I'm extremely nervous. Cook said, oh my God, get these darn likes up. Okay, thanks. Going back in my hole. <laughs> thanks, Cook. And today's a day. Today is a mother. Okay. So, visit a barber for them to kind of like, um, Level it up and shape it up and all that shit. But I really don't want to do all that. I just, I just want to add some waves. So I'm going to relax it. When I was doing my little research to determine whether what I'm trying to do makes sense at all. <laughs> they have, a lot of people advise that you relax your hair she first. She don't look nothing if like Missy. Even though I can you know make... what? You might be right. What does Missy Elliott look like? I don't even know what she look like. <laughs> I know of her. I don't know what she... I mean... Okay, yeah, you're right. She definitely doesn't look like her. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. I don't know. I was think. I guess I was thinking of, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking of. <laughs> like, at least two weeks, like, they recommend before, you know, coloring. All hair. black people look the same. <laughs> you burn your whole scalp off. Well, because I can't see far away. And the mirror is quite far. <laughs> Take <laughs> that back. This is so weird to me. I've never, I've, I've never relaxed my hair on camera before. Who? I, actually just do I that don't know who she time. does like, look like. Actually, let me set my timer. <laughs> so I usually do my edges last when I relax my hair. So the processing time is almost up and I'm just going to follow up with the steps four and five, which are pretty much the shampoo and conditioner, like the neutralizer, like the neutralizing shampoo and conditioning steps. And they're both by Mazzani as well. And the step four is a perfecting cream normalizing conditioner. <laughs> yeah. The way they spelled it, it's probably meant to like balance your pH or something. So it says this is the step four. And the step five is a neutralizing and chelating, chelating shampoo. <laughs> and I, I would definitely say, this is probably one of the times that my hair has ever felt like the least fragile right after relaxing. And I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like a process too straight. Like if you get what I mean, like it still kind of look like, I mean you won't really see it well because it's still wet, but it doesn't feel too straight. And that's probably because, you know, I got the fine, slash colored color treated formula but either way like i'm fine with it and um when i do color it i do know that yeah, you don't need it bone fucking alter. all right and it's what like what you're gonna use like an actual color color but since this doesn't require you to bleach your hair first i decided this might be a good idea and it says it's formulated for black people's hair <laughs> like okay. that would make a lot of difference right and it's designed by black women for black women. So I thought, why not? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna mix it up. Then everything changed so when the fast. Fire Nation attack. It's like, I ran out of shower caps. Well, 20 minutes and see what it looks like. It looks like burgundy. And my hair is still not falling out. Because I'm afraid if I wash it off, it's still going to be black in a lot of the areas, like... See? 
leave this in the hair for 30 minutes and I'm so happy right now because my hair is literally not falling out like this nothing in the comb I'm actually surprised at my hair because my hair is not the strongest naturally so for it to still <laughs> be alive and still on my head it's a miracle like if I pull it nothing is literally coming out no waves ever in my hair or oh my hair. god not even on a wig I've always like shied away from it because yeah. that looks like complicated <laughs> And I just felt like, you know, it takes a special um up the waves a little bit. I don't know. But I'm not gonna tie my down. Why is she using the Y2 comb? Products, That's all she has. A lot of moves, like a lot of moves is way better than not enough moves. So just slather it on. Cause that way you're gonna be able to really, you know, maneuver the hair and to be shorter or something. I don't know what is going on on this side. I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Just give me a second. Them finger waves look big as hell. <laughs> Decent. She got <laughs> tidal waves in her head. I'm gonna do the rest off camera, like, so I can really see the mirror, because the mirror is really far away and I can't see. So, hopefully when I'm done, it looks really good. Okay, pray for me. Okay, I did something. <laughs> I don't know if this even counts. She got tsunami. It just looks like I just did like super huge swoops. And then the back is just straight. But I think I'm going to attempt to add some waves in the back. If it doesn't look good, I'm just going to smooth it out and make it straight because I can't see the back. Honestly, I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just going to take pictures from the front and call it a day. <laughs> but let me, let me. Trying to see if I can. Well, I'm glad her hair stayed on her head. Let me look at it in the mirror. She needs a mirror set up. You guys, because I don't want you guys to laugh at me. <laughs> you know, just to jazz it up. My hair for me. Actually, let me try on the glasses. Cause you know, I was looking forward to the whole glasses and the short hair vibe, you know. And you know, we gotta we gotta see what it looks like. It just doesn't mess up my hair. Okay, this is a look. My nose is so tiny. Nothing ever wanna stay up. <laughs> Aside from the nasty makeup. In one day, please. I'm not telling you that you should do it, but I'm just sharing my experience with you guys and how it might turn out. The state of your hair might be different from mine. The texture of your hair, you know, all these things. You gotta put them into consideration. These are chemicals we're talking about. Disclaimer! You get the vibes. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching just as much as I I wanted this. Okay, wait. No. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't risk doing relaxer and, and color. The same day, but um, mm. all right, let's see. When the queen of hair makes a rare return, um, finger waves. All right, looks like everyone's just happy that she came back. Is she still making videos? Because y'all act like she ain't making no videos no more. Oh, shit. You right. Wait. Oh, I'm like, what happened to her hair? I'm like, hold up. Okay. Uh... Oh. Wow, this is a look. I kind of like it though. It it's a little it's it's different, but I kind of like I kind of like the color. All right. I don't know what's going. No, I don't want to. I don't want to full screen. I was just curious. I was just curious. Pull out! Pull out! <laughs> All right. Um, it's giving Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it's
is giving white surfer boy. <laughs> it's give it's giving edgy. It's it's giving um it's it's giving edgy with a bad hairline. Yes, yes, that's what it's giving. Alright. We're gonna move on to um have I been keeping track of this? I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Let me see. Um Thank you, Alondra. All right, next we have... We have Keandra. She said, Will on the whim, maximum hydration. Will on a whim. Thank you for the request, by the way. Is giving Alexander Hamilton, not blonde Al Sharpton. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so I'm guessing it's this one. Okay. Let's see. I get the right link. Make sure. The 20 step hydration method. <laughs> y'all gonna have this woman curse Narada out. Wait, what y'all talking about? I'm sure she's nice. She wouldn't do that. Or would she? <laughs> Old Steve from Scary Movie, old Tommy and Steve. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, y'all wanted me to do this. No, we didn't. Y'all bullied me into doing this. Not a single soul wanted this. No, I, I got receipts. What receipt? Listen, read it. It's all here. What is this? So, this is what we're doing today, y'all. We're doing the max hydration method, popularized by um this girl right here. I said her name wrong. What? I don't know if she kind of just came up with this or if this was someone else's idea, but that's who I saw. That's the. Uh, wait, I'm sorry? The lies! There you the go, lies, there bitch. The I'm lies. telling you trifling okay video that i saw it's for those of us with dry brittle old tommy pickle old steve from scary movie old tommy and steve in a dry desert old it's for those of us with dry hair okay it's to repair and renew and refresh and apparently it just gives you results that you're blown away by here's how it goes step one is to clarify you do an acb rinse step number two you use a co-wash or a, a mask today i'm going to be using a mask hey, step number Lana. three is you use a clay mask which i haven't used in a very long time step number four you apply your leave-in conditioner while your hair is wet in the shower and step number five is you apply your gel whatever gel you like we're going to get into this thing today but before we do a quick message about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by All Black, aptly named that because it's the first and largest streaming platform dedicated to all black content. We got rom-coms, international films, docu-series, original content, shower. Oh my god, why would you do that? Why would you leave your hair for dead? Two whole weeks with yes. no food, no oh, water. Right. And he got these blue t-shirt. What t-shirt? <laughs> Praying ain't gonna help you now, sis. <laughs> You need immediate help. Oh, man, let people there. Okay, honestly, my hair isn't that bad off, but it's definitely time for another wash. Oop, where'd he go? Not Instagram, another flawless pic. Girl, starting off with a little rinse. Um, Will's Warm Water Rinse, TM, where I always start off with a warm water rinse to loosen up any tangles and product. This should take no more than like a minute or so, so like, don't be spending too much time here. Here's my hair right before I do the entire max hydration method so that we can compare it to all the other steps. Let's grab our boo-boo bottle, because <laughs> that's what it smells like. Boo-boo. Ah! Focusing on my scalp first, I'm applying it here and being so careful not to get this in my eyes because that would be a nightmare. It was scary. This is a straight up liquid, so it's running what all down my that? back, all down my shoulders. So we keeping that head tilted 45 degrees. Oh, not the pose, but a thumbnail. <laughs> now I'm just pouring it over the length of my hair and then squeezing it inside of the section because we did sort of use a large section here. Doing the same on the other side as well. I poured whatever I had left onto my scalp. Make sure I don't forget the kitchen. Girl, rip stinky juice. Gone but never forgotten because how could you? Oh, she passed away? Oh. Mm. Rubbed it into my scalp with my well. hands, even though my vibrating scalp massager was a little Oh, right okay. Now, where am I in it? I'll link down below for 50% off. Now it's time to rinse. I worked hard, okay? Like any scrubbing floors hard. Azealia Banks is PR manager hard to get <laughs> this stench out of my hair. But as soon as I caught that stench, that stench, okay, I knew it was time to put that thing on Power Ranger. 
rinse for about five more minutes and here's my hair after the rinse not that much definition but soft and pretty shiny okay now for that let's move on to step number two which is just deep conditioner i'm using mask on by tph by taraji it's really thick um, um it's a little tough to spread but once it's on there it does a really good job of replenishing long lasting moisture that thing on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it out <laughs> okay but what do we do in the meantime we got a whole 15 minutes ahead of us so girl not time out i, I guess I no looking back see now that's an extra 10 minutes yep and no recess she is so Quit playing with me, okay i ain't no substitute teacher. okay and it's time to rinse this out my hair at this point just like any other time my deep condition is just less frizzy and my curls are kind of like stepping more in line with each other like a little moisturized game okay, okay. Jesus. let's put on this microfiber towel dry off the body body yaddy 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 let's go Okay, I'm out of the shower. It's time to do the little clay. What? The, the clay stuff. Child is giving play dough. I have never tried this before. This is the Aztec bentonite clay. Girl, everybody like this. Everybody love it. Everybody scream hooray for this. Indian healing clay. World's most powerful facial. Uh huh? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, girl, I ain't gonna ask no questions. I guess it's um for the hair too. Um, this is messy. I don't like it because it's messy. It's giving um double dare three thousand. It's giving slime. Mm. As as I open it, a few of the um part particles hit that once they hit that throat. <laughs> It's over. It's it's very powdery. Girl, hold it very steady. It says to mix up equal parts of this and water or apple cider vinegar. No, no, I can feel it. My mouth is drying out. <laughs> One half a cup. Is that too much? I'm gonna do a half of a half a cup. If you put some peppermint oil in there, you won't smell the apple cider vinegar. Right. One fourth cup in the bowl. Oh, y'all ain't see that because it's for for whatever reason this 4K camera <laughs> don't be picking up. It's That's gonna be way water. too much bentonite. Why would I do that without measuring it? Take down. Jester, you have done it again. You also have to use a wooden spoon. You can't use like metal or anything because I don't know. I don't know not one thing about mixing it up. Child. I don't know why I didn't use the other side of the spoon. A little splatter got on my mouth. Ah! It's giving potions. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving two eyelashes, pig ears, a leaf from the tallest tree in Africa. Okay, I think this is a good consistency. Not gonna lie. I hope this is enough, girl. <laughs> Make it enough. Let's take this oh, off. Oh, never mind. He this ain't had enough. Bentonite clay, but this is definitely my first time trying this Aztec healing clay. I, I really don't feel like I have enough. In there, oh yeah. Goodness, it's like apple cider vinegar. It's thing. It's more like a. It's more like beer. Yo, it's so lumpy. Oh, it's lumpy, child. It smells like earth. It really do. This is really thick. I thought it was gonna be like dripping all over the place, but no, it's gonna stay in. If it's then it's it's gonna stay in there. Period. Y'all be looking like y'all be having fun when y'all put this in your hair. <laughs> y'all really like this stuff, don't you? When um homegirl was doing this one chest, she was like her curls were like popping and like they were coming back to life and whatnot. But girl. It's, it's giving opposite day for me because <laughs> it my hair is just <laughs> now while you playing this could be just hair dye because i'm digging this color what if i went blonde y'all i could go blonde i'm sis don't tempt me okay so this ended up kind of being enough so i'm not even going to make any more maximum hydration that's the name of the game there we go okay we got the aztec clay mask in our hair that is amazing Girl, okay he had enough yeah. barely you know, the underside how long do i leave this on Okay, let's go rinse this out. Yeah, okay. Back in this thing, finna get crunk, hard as a rock, sis. My hair is hard, but it's low-key defined. The mask clearly dries up with a hard shell, but it was surprisingly super easy to rinse out. Just a little bit of warm water, there was no staining on my bathroom tiles, and there was no leftover residue in my scalp or hair. I, this music makes me nervous. In a way that probably requires immediate medical attention. Do y'all see my curls? I haven't been shocked like this since the fourth grade when I stuck a fork in the outlet. Hmm? What? It's time for step four. Okay, this is where I'm going to apply this the clay always does in that. the shower. Today, I'm using one of the best, cheapest leave-in conditioners on the shelf. It's made by Garnier Fructis. This is the Curl Treat Hydrating Butter. Applying leave-in in the shower is way oh. better than adding water later with a spray bottle. Your hair's cuticles are still open from the heat of the shower, and your hair is already maximally saturated. So applying leave-in now just keeps all of the water in there. So quick, so easy. It also stopped the drippage, so I didn't even need my hair towel. And last, we made it to the final step, step number five, which is to apply our hair gel. I'm using my favorite Wetline Extreme Gel, taking medium-sized sections and Ooh, applying I like that using the spin around thing. Honestly, as often as I remember to, because girl, I kept forgetting. It really does make a difference. What song is this? Does anyone know? I would skate to that. You don't like Garnier? Mm, maybe they've come a long way, but the Garnier back in the day, yeah, nay. Mm. Slippery. Girl, 
Ponte la Crema. We had to talk about some things. Uh, hello. First of all, my hair, When after I washed this out, my hair looked different. I've never really done a full clay wash, but after a, a deep conditioner, which I liken this to, I've never seen my hair look like that. It was just, I didn't do nothing to it. Girl, I do nothing to her. And she very much was just giving defined, soft, no frizz. Everything was just like working in unison. I don't know if it was just this acting on its own or if it was like the whole entire like hydration method. My hair ain't fully dry right now in the back. Girl's giving... Yeah, it's giving yucky. It's giving wet and sticky back there. Even already, this is probably the best washing go I've ever had. In line. Literally the best washing go I've ever had. Me stop playing. Is this the diva cut? The shape looks so weird to me. Some of the things you gotta use it. Girl, use your brain. Use the thing right there behind your forehead. Forehead ball. Some of these trends are truly wild, but this one is, I'm gonna say, good. I really was not trying to try it, because listen, I don't be trying the trends, and y'all be like in my comments and DMs like, do the hydration method, do the hi next hydration method. How about you leave? Oh. Yeah, how about you go do it yourself? But this one is really just a collection of things that I've already tried just in one routine. I did the apple cider vinegar rinse. That one was scary to me and, and stinky. If you don't get the ratio right between apple cider vinegar and water, you can kind of stretch your hair out. My hair was softer afterwards. It just did smell like a... After I rinsed that out, I went with my TPH uh, mask on, and that's always great to me. That's always good to me. It replenished a lot of that moisture. I skipped shampooing. Like, this didn't have a shampoo in the routine. So this was my first time, like, not shampooing, and I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I guess I can go without shampooing for, like, a, like two weeks, three weeks. I usually go every single week, and I, I shampoo my hair. My scalp isn't, like, itchy. It isn't flaky. And that's the power of pine saw. It's giving pine saw. After that, clay wash scared me a little bit i thought it was for the face and not for the hair but when i rinsed it out i truly could not believe my eyes i'm definitely going to be using this like i don't know how often i should be using this but maybe like once a month i don't know the proof is in the pudding and the pudding is in my hair uh -huh. i use my run-of-the-mill cheap leave-in conditioner that i got from walgreens it's a goodie okay you find it and it's like wow this is cheap the ingredients are good if i remember correctly supports. it was just so big i recommend child. you all like try that out. It. It's, the, it's from garnier fruitis which is like Traditionally, we're like, uh-uh, girl, mm. mm, wrong answer. It's a, it really is good. And then boom, my favorite gel, uh, don't got the best of ingredients. So I am still kind of like on the lookout for a gel that does this good of a job. What is that, wet line? It's just a bit more natural. Like this is giving, girl, what's in this? Wet line extreme gel just gives me the definition. Okay. And you can see it. You can see it right here, sis. So my final review of this whole entire thing is that it's a go. It's a go. If you want to try it out, go ahead and try it out. I know I'm super late, sis. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all learned something. If you did, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to stick around, be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and... All right. So, yeah, bentonite clay always leaves your hair really defined for some reason. I think it might be due to the clay leaving some um, deposits in your hair even after you rinse and um, rinse it out or whatever. But my experience with always with using the clay in my hair is always left my hair more defined. I have a couple of videos of me um, putting it in my hair, I think. But um, yeah, just FYI. But yeah, the the clay does pull out impurities, mainly metals and mineral deposits of the hair. So it's detoxifying in that way. But like, it's not gonna be pulling out like danger flakes or anything like that like nah i need the science of that the science behind bentonite clay you can research it but that's why you can't mix the metal with the the clay when you're mixing it because um i believe it has something to do with the um the ions of the mixture uh i believe they magnetically electromagnetically attract to whatever is on the hair that's not supposed to be on there it clings to the 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 clay and then when you rinse it out it washes out with the clay and all of that so yeah just google it it's it's not hard to find but does clay remove grease buildup it's not a clarifier so that's that's something that a lot of people get confused on with the clay it's not a clarifier, it's a detoxifying treatment. So don't expect it to like get out stubborn buildup. That's not what it's intended for. But um sent you the song on Discord. Oh thank you. Hold on. Is it in the music section? Oh, never mind. I see it. I see it. Hold on. I need to pin. Wait, is that the song? Am I in the right section? 
Check out all these damn shit. Oh, here we go. Wait, is this it? Lord. Somebody help me. <laughs> help me, Lord. Oh, okay, it's in the YouTube library. Got it. Perfect. All right, cool. Hey, uh, any other questions? So yeah, as as the the clay dries, it draws out all of that. Um, the clay is said to be good for acne. It's said to be good for eczema. Um, it is said to be good for like um, skin issues, like uh, scalp issues, like dandruff and dermatitis and things. Um, just make sure you mix it well. But do your research and always do a patch test, okay? Because some people use bentonite clay and it's a little too harsh for their skin. So, no, it doesn't dry your hair out. Mm -mm. It might leave your hair feeling, um, it's not really, most of the time, if I recall, it leaves your hair feeling soft. Um, but I wouldn't say conditioned. So, is it okay to use mousse for locks? You can use whatever you want, honestly. <laughs> you can use whatever you want in locks. I strip? No, I don't. I don't think it feels stripped. It just doesn't feel. Um, I. It's been a while, y'all. It's been a while since I had bits not clay in my hair. So don't don't have me lie to y'all. But it doesn't. It 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 never feels bad. Ask somebody else who's done it recently. It's it's been a few years. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Um, but yeah, you can use whatever you want to use in your locks. Um, do I think mousse is necessary? Nah. Do I think it's necessary to use mousse when you're putting it on top of braids and box braids and stuff? Nah. But I mean, you can use it. But just like some mousses can flake when you do rod sets, it can also flake and leave stuff in your hair with locks. So. Just be FYI. I mean, just be, not FYI, child. Just be mindful. Um, whatever you put in your hair, just be mindful of it. Like, there's all different types of mousses, and they all work and behave differently. But, um, yeah. That clay left my hair dry, and I was pissed. It was all over the tub. <laughs> so, yeah, you see some people say they don't care for it. Some people do. Um, all right, we're going to um, move on to our next super chat request from Queen Nakayla. She says, who is sugar? How not to do curl formers? Oh, blast from the past. How you spell sugar? Okay. <laughs> not how you spell sugar. Um, how not to do curl formers. Thank you for the request. Hold up. Uh-uh. Where are her videos at? Quit playing with me. Why didn't... Y'all see this shit? Look at that. Look at that. I literally typed in... No, no. Don't change my shit. Don't change my shit. Put what the fuck I put. They be trying to hide people videos on here. That shit is crazy. All right. Um. What was the question? Um, be careful with Dr. Bronner's, um, uh, make sure you, um, dilute it really well. It is really strong. Um, if you do use it, make sure you follow up with another shampoo, uh, because sometimes it will leave, it'll start to break down whatever is in your hair and sometimes it won't rinse out all the way. So you'll get like white stuff like left in your hair, like near the roots and stuff. Um, so I don't think it makes for a really great shampoo, honestly. Um, but I've seen people use it and have success with it and others not so much. I don't know what caused it to leave that, um, that build up behind, but just be mindful of that. As long as you don't get the residue in your hair. Just, and it might be because it's a soap. <laughs> you know, like soap leaves film. 
So that might be why, but I don't, um, yeah. But again, with pH, like, you have to make sure you dilute it properly. Like, even just mixing it with water, some people put way too, make it too concentrated, and that doesn't bring the pH down enough. So whenever you're fooling around with pH, like, that's that's kind of a big deal. So just, just FYI. All right. Let me um go ahead and do this. Because I think somebody asked on the... Um, on the uh, lock bad video, there was like, um, wouldn't the apple cider vinegar and the, uh, hold on, let me concentrate. Y'all know how my mind works. Wouldn't the apple cider vinegar and the, um, the baking soda cancel each other out? Like, pH doesn't really work like that. When you start to get into the mathematics of, like, pH and how it works, like, alkaline solution, the further you go up on the level of pH, it's exponentially more alkaline than the level before it. So it's not like you take a, a pH of 3 and a pH of 7, and somewhere in the middle you're going to find 5. It doesn't work like that. So just FYI. If that was the case, you could just mix uh, relax with pH, and it would neutralize it, right? Nah, it don't work like that. Hey! A lager mythic, what a la, lager aromatic is that? What BX Tiki said, yeah. What she said. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's check it out. Ten years ago. I wonder how she's doing. PC2 push sugar back with another video. Okay, let's just go ahead and get down with it. No fluff needed. Okay, this is the end result of me using the curl formers. If you wanna know how, I got my head to look like this. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to do it at the end of this little piece of video situation. Okay, so. She is definitely not happy with this. Side. Did it dry? Here is the other side. Here's the back. I don't know what the back looks like because somebody broke my extra large mirror that I got from Sally's. And I have like this little teeny mirror that I have to look in and it's just not what's happening in the street. So I really don't know what the back of it looks like. All right, so um, yeah. <sighs> you wanna see how I got my hair like this? Stay tuned for the tutorial. How not to do your hair. All right, this whole process starts at 7.04 a couple of weeks ago. All right, freshly shampooed hair. I'm using yes. Lotta Body. All right, I love it. Comb, these Wet clips, t-shirt. Which are no-no, as you'll see. And, of course, the curl formers with the hook. In case oh, you're wondering, I do have clothes on, so you're not like, oh, my God. And she's going to be ashamed of herself coming out looking like that. Hey, girl! Shampooed in detangled hair, as you'll see. Now, what I'm going to do first is section off a small piece. See? Small piece that I'm going to attach the curl former on. I'm going to give it a couple of sprays of this here, a lot of body sun lotion that I diluted with water. I'm next going to detangle with the Tanger Teaser, which is the bomb. Next, I'm going to put the curl former on this hook thing, and we're going to make it do what it do. All right, what you see what I'm doing right now is I'm twisting the base, okay? Do not twist the base of your hair like I'm doing. You see that? Damn, so she it, twisted like it all the way up. Hair, but I twist, 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 and that is a big no-no. I'm now attaching the curl former on my hair. If you saw my rant video, it's number 65, I believe, I'm using the curl formers, the long and wide, and they say they accommodate up to 16 inches of hair, but I have more than 16 inches of hair, as you guys will see. So, yes, I'm excited. I'm raising the roof, but I'm not going to be raising the roof <laughs> for too much longer. All right, so... Now I'm down to the last one. I'm just going to show you how I did the last one. Once again, do not, do not, don't 
I say, don't I say, do not twist your hair like this. All right, now basically what I'm showing is to make sure that you put the hook on the hair where it's easy to slide so you're not getting it caught up in the root bed because it will get snatched up in your hair and it's going to be hard to pull it through. So what I'm doing is I am securing the curl former and just pulling the hair in there like so. See how easy that is? I'm telling you, this is so easy once you get the hang of it. Because my hair is too long for these curl formers, I'm sliding the curl former down so that it will cover the ends of my hair. And then what I'm doing is I'm twisting. Once again, don't do your hair like this. Or should. You twist your hair, and I'm just following the tutorial. I said don't do your hair like this. This is a tutorial on how not to do your hair. Okay, so now I'm done, and the total time is 10.44 after shampooing and all that stuff. All right, so now I am finished with all of my hair. No, the shower is not done. Boo me, and it's still not done, although I am on spring break. All right, I'm using jojoba oil, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by removing the clips, which I should have never it, put them I mean, on. I mean, it looks like it's the coming it together back there. Clips. I don't know what I was thinking. The problem with this process is... I twisted my hair one way and the curl former was going the other way. So now what I'm showing is me removing the curl former. You may have to squeeze the opening just to slide it off so that you're not snatching your hair off. Now watch this reaction, y'all. You see that? That is pure. What's, what, what, what am I emoting right there? What is that? What is, that is, I don't know what that is. I have to post it what that emotion was. But, honey, I was really delighted with what I was seeing. But as you'll see, my feelings on this whole hair, hairstyle is going to change. I really like how the curls kind of look. I'm not feeling how the base looks. Okay, so fast forward. I got all of my Shirley hair Tipple. out, as you'll see. Now, for real, I don't like how this looks. This looks like I did this hairstyle at home. Well, sure, you are at home and in your bathroom that hasn't been finished yet. It's been like six months. <laughs> I understand that. But I, in my head, I thought it would look a little bit more professional than this. It looks like some grandmama curls. Well, sure, I'm a grandmama, and my hair don't look like this. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. I'm just saying I don't like how this looks. Okay. So what I'm she doing now is I spent up the video, and I'm just putting some jojoba oil all over my hands, and I'm just kind of going through and massaging my scalp with the jojoba oil, and herself. then just kind of picking through the hair. And what I'm doing now is separating some of the curls, I made the mistake, like I said, like I think I was twisting clockwise and the curl formers were going counterclockwise. Ooh. Okay, what you see in my hand is a brush. Do not Why are brush you brushing it? curl formers. You hear me? Don't do it. Don't, I'm telling you. Well, sure, you about to brush your hair. And I've been following your videos, and this is a tutorial, oh. so I'm going to do everything you did. I'm telling you not oh. to do that. See how I put the brush down quickly? Because I realized, honey, this is not going to work. But when everything is going wrong, you just sing and get your dance on, and you just keep on until you're able to pick, 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 and separate some of those curls to try to make it look a little bit more decent. I did get a compliment on my hair, which I was really surprised. The girl was like, ooh, girl, that's cute. I was like, really? Because I'm not liking it. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking a comb, and I'm just kind of lifting the roots because – it was too scalpy. That's the word I'm looking for. My hair was really scalpy, and it was not was cute in the streets. Like, I, if I was maybe five or six, this style would have been really cute. But because I'm a grown tail woman, this is not a good look for me. It looked really age inappropriate for me with the whole Shirley Temple gone wrong type deal. All right. I kind of like how it looks like this, where it's kind of pulled back off of my face. I do, but, too. Yeah. You know, it's still, I still wasn't sold with this particular hairstyle. And I did a whole bunch of shaking, and it just did not work for me. So I'm telling you, don't do your hair <laughs> like this. Thanks for watching. Okay. So that's it for the whole tutorial situation. Um, I don't know if I like it or not. I may try it again. I don't know. We'll see what the return policy is once I call Sally's Beauty Supply on Monday because they close this weekend, honey. Because if they say bring it back, I'm taking all of that mess back. You know, we watch another Who is Sugar video. I don't know if I like it. The things were not long enough, as you saw. And um, I made the mistake by, like, untwisting some. I was like, let me just put the brush to it and see what happened. No, ma'am. My hair is not made for those types of things. Y'all, this was 10 okay. years ago before we had it all figured no. out. This is how we discovered shit. Um, yeah, my husband likes it. He's like, girl, that is cute. And I'm like, really? Cause I... So. It's cute because you cute, girl. All right, just a quick update on everything that's kind of happened with this whole situation. I wrote a letter to Sally's Beauty Supply stating... You know, Not a letter. Down, as you guys saw from video 65, <laughs> they replied back to me that they will contact the store manager. And hold up, hold up. Who do you think you are? Don't call me yelling at me, girl. <laughs> no, I'm not allowing you to pump me full of bullshit. You know, just go over the what and what not. So I was really satisfied. I don't need for my neighbors, little kids to be throwing balls at my window. Did y'all hear that? See, they, you know what? Okay, focus. All right. <laughs> So they said they would address the issue with the store manager and also the individuals that work there, which I was really re pleased by that particular response. I did return the, cor the curl formers to another Sally's, like, in a whole different city, like two cities over, because I didn't want any mess. And, you know, that was wonderful. Thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers who work at Sally's. It was like, girl, this is what you need to do. So I'm very appreciative of all of that. I also wrote a letter to the curl former people. I'm like, listen, 
I went through this whole traumatic experience over at Sally's and all because you people, yes, you people did not put information on the packaging so that I could make an informed purchase. I mean, I shouldn't have to, you know, it would be nice if the information was there to include, like, on the packaging or some kind of tear-off sheet leaflet facsimile situation for the purchase. So that is it for this particular tutorial. Don't do anything that I did in this video, although, you know, some people are like, oh, my God, I'm going to try all of that. Don't do that unless you want your hair to be looking a hot mess like this. So thank you for watching, subscribing, all that stuff. Be blessed. Peace. All right, Carisha. Mm hmm Nope, definitely won't be watching that. Did she do an updated one? Nope. She did not. Okay, we will be visiting this again. All right, thank you for that request. Don't Sally sell the knockoff curl form formers? She is funny. Yeah, she was hilarious. She definitely is. She is hilarious. And she's like, she's like funny without like trying to be funny. I think that's my best kind of humor that to appreciate. All right, we're going to. Um, first, I'm going to keep track of this video count. It's not working. It's it's not working. You know what? It is what it is. We'll get to the end eventually. Shit. <laughs> Y'all know how this shit go. All right. Now we have a cash app request from Jasmine. Can we watch My Hairstyle EXO 2 Not Braids? Is that not Liz? Girl, did you type this right? Is that a typo? Can you spell? <laughs> oh no, no. That's that's what she that's what it is. Okay. That's um You you can indeed spell. All right. Uh Hmm. Interesting. So this is what you watch in your free time. Her brain, it do move. <laughs> it do move. She can't smell. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Hair Tutorials with My Hairstyle EXO. Before starting, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up for this video. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna have to liven this up a little bit. I know what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. All right. Give me one second here. All right, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you how you can achieve beautiful braided styles like this one here. I call this two knotted braids. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. We're, you're gonna need some, some ribbons uh, for this. You can find this at uh, Michael's, or you can go 
to an arts and crafts store like Joanne's. I particularly like this color. I think it complements my skin tone. Oh wait, no, I'm just showing you how to do it. No, okay, so you're not you're not going to put this in your hair, okay? This is just for me to show you how the braid works. So you're going to take two fingers and twist and loop and flick and then use your other, yep, see? You're going to like tie a knot on top of that metal ribbon and loosely tighten it up. Then you're going to take the, the two fingers again and do the same thing, but on the other side. And so take loop it around, and there you go, another loop. Now, be careful when you do this, because if you do this, and you tie your hair up in a knot, and you can't get that shit out, don't be leaving no comment in my video saying I did that shit to you, you did that shit to yourself because you don't know how to follow directions. I clearly showed you how to do with these ribbons and, you know, that's on you, okay? But, like, if you gotta cut your hair, look. Yeah, you know, I, the way I figured out how to do this, I used to do this, like, to my pins all the time. I would, like, wrap these ribbons around my pins and it would just give this like really cool effect and i was like why not do this on hair so i'm gonna demonstrate this here on my model which is a mannequin yeah okay so you're gonna take the loops just like that like i showed you and tie over this large piece and then and then you're gonna do it on the other side and you, you see how healthy my nails are? Oh my gosh, I, I just love having healthy natural nails, you know? It just really makes the hairstyle pop. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going again. I don't know why I have these extra long sleeves. You know, my arms is really, really cold. It's really cold here in Finland. And so um, I'm anemic and I have to keep my body warm. So I like to wear arm warmers while I do hair because it just makes me feel better. And you're going to keep doing this back and forth. Really, really simple. A really simple style. This is a fun style that you can wear for any type of occasion. Um, whether you're going to the club or maybe you're meeting your girlfriends at the mall. And, you know, maybe you just want to, you know, like give a nice funky little edgy do for that date night oh my gosh <laughs> yes this would be so perfect so i'm um, just going to continue doing that now make sure when you do this that you wrap the braid around so that it gradually kind of gives this swooping s motion okay and so there we go, yes, we're gonna keep it going. You don't want it to be too, too tight, okay? We we don't we don't want to be bon qui qui with uh, traction alopecia. We're just trying to create an intricate braid pattern because this is all that we can do with our hair because it's so limp and lifeless, okay? We have to tie knots into it to make it look interesting. All right, so. I'm just going to, am I done here? No, nope, I'm gonna keep the loop going. I'm gonna keep it going. And um, yes, you can see you can see it here. If my arm warmers will move out of the way. Um, yes, all right, so this is where I started curving it down in a uh, downward motion. So you kind of have to adjust um, where you grab and loop the hair to make it kind of fan out in this shape. So, all right, we're kind of running out of hair here. Um, this only works on long hair, so you, you know, if you don't have the length for it, you can definitely use, um, hair extensions or some, like, clip-ins, or maybe get your homegirl to give you some fusions, and then you can get something like this. So I'm going to show you how I finish this off. All you're going to do is do the final loop here, and... Are we done? No, we're gonna keep going. I'm, I'm sorry, we're not. We're not finished. I thought we were done. 
I thought we were done, but we're going to keep going. Okay. We're, we're just going to knot it up until we can't knot anymore, bitch. <laughs> oh, wow. So, such a beautiful, intricate style. Yes. Yes, just ignore all the split ends and damage. Like, no one's going to pay attention to that anyway. All right. So now we're out of here. So what I'm going to do is just take a little slither from that piece and I'll add it to both sides. And... Whoa, how the hell did I do that? Oh, my gosh. Isn't that so cool? You can have, like, lanyard in your hair. Like, I remember those keychains that we used to do in elementary school. And all the girls would sit there and do that mess all day long in class. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm going to do that on my own hair. And, like, this was the end result. Isn't this just so whimsical and just so amazing? All right, so we're going to continue doing all of these intricate knots here. We're just doing it on individual sections instead of having it travel across the head. And you want to make sure that you kind of direct the knots so that it twists and turns into like a spiral staircase effect. I like to call this the double helix um, braid knot. Yes, that's what I'm calling it. So don't you hoes try to steal my style. I know how y'all do. I came up with it here. All right, how, we're almost at the end of the video. Okay, so you see, it's just going to naturally just keep traveling around. So all you got to do is just keep tying these knots. And yes, it is just as hard to undo these braids. So make sure that you're really careful and that you don't get any loose hair tied up into the knot because then you'll have a ton of breakage and no matter how much oil plex you use, you're not going to be able to fix it. All right, and... I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. Um, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going because, oh, wow, this is, this is a lot. This is, this is a really cute, like, fun, whimsical style that you can do when you want to look like Alice from Wonderland or, you know, something like that. You know, I love doing these in my daughter's hair when she likes to pretend to be Elsa. She just loves this style. And here's the finished look. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So unique. So different. Don't ask me how the front looks. That shit looks a mess. But the back looks amazing. Let me know if you like it. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <coughs> <coughs> oh shit. Um, so it wasn't a mannequin, but I'm guessing she did that on a wig. Oh god, that voiceover was uh, so hard. Child, what the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> I'm not doing all of that. That's too much. <laughs> That's... <laughs> oh my God. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Um, uh, thank, thank you. Uh, you know what? I think we all could use a break. Um, so what we're going to... So what we're going to do is, um, take a brief intermission, and we'll be right back with more video requests. So, 
sit tight, and I'll see y'all in a few seconds. You know what? You know what y'all should do? Y'all should go and send um, Viv Hair Therapy that video. Y'all know she gets all her style ideas from the W's anyway. She seems like just the type of chick to do that some crazy hairstyle like that. Is this one of Aaliyah's beats? Yes. Um, all the beats on that page are from Aaliyah. I actually have been trying to update or at least create a second Be Right Back screen with um, some other music. But for whatever the reason, I'm having the hardest time being able to figure out a way to show y'all the song title and artist while it's playing. And I was trying to work on that all day. Like I spent hours today like trying to figure out how to make that happen. And there's like little to no solution. Like they want you to play the song from Spotify and I don't use Spotify. I, ain't, I just ain't got time for that. But yeah, um, as soon as I figure that out, we'll, we'll make it happen. Um... All right, and with that, we're going to keep it moving um, with, let's see here. We have For What's Super Chat request. She says, any Mentally Mitch video. Let's see who this is. Oh, it's Mentally. Got it. Mentally Mitch. Who... I said mentality, bitch. I'm done. <laughs> pull the fuck out. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. I can't even. I can't even blame it on um, alcohol because I'm not even drinking. Mentality. Yes. Go ahead. Get, get your laughs in. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Get your laughs in. Oh, look at her. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're not going to be able to watch this because of copyright. Because this looks like a bunch of... Let me see. Now, there's nothing special about these memes. They're just random. I just like the title, Boneless Meme, because it sounds like Boneless Wings. Get it? <laughs> Papa John's just introduced its Chicago-style pizza. You know what? I'll try it. I we'll try it and see. Let me let me put the link here. If we have to, we'll we'll just pull out. It's cool.
pizza. <laughs> Got bullet holes in the pizza. <laughs> Yo, is Chicago really that reckless, man? <laughs> when your parents say no eating on bed, but you find yogurt stains on their bed. <laughs> no, ma'am, no, sir, whoever, no. <laughs> this is nasty. <laughs> Two incomes in the household will forever be superior. Exactly. That's why I like my man to have two jobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, she got a boy. <laughs> oh, he laughs like my mom. Oh. If I ain't got to work, I ain't finna work neither. <laughs> All I ask is that you meet my 666 rule. What is the 666 rule? So you need to be over six foot, over six inches, and handle six pints. Can we negotiate some sort of 6 2 10 rule instead? Because <laughs> look, man. <laughs> I got to finesse rules. I got to finagle some inches somewhere now. <laughs> My dad swears he doesn't have a favorite. You got Ryan, the class of 21 from Cypress Woods High School, valedictorian. Then you got Justin, class of 2021, Texas A&M, not valedictorian. <laughs> But hey, look, <laughs> if you graduate with a mechanical engineering degree, you're doing something big now. <laughs> and wait, they don't have valedictorians in college, do they? <laughs> That's definitely iced tea, baby girl. Look. This is just mentality <laughs> not doing it for me. It's like iced tea. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Who put the goatee on the girl now? This is upsetting me and my eczema. <laughs> We're pulling out. We're pulling out. I tried. All right. Um. Thank you. I guess for for that request. You know what? We're gonna do another. We're gonna do another uh, super chat request. We have DeAndra. <laughs> Love 518, the video where they hadn't washed their hair or detangled for a year. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. More than likely, it's a popular upload. Okay, yeah, so we, we definitely seen this at least like two times. So, what we're going to do is watch another one. Six years without combing her hair. Um, why does she go one year without washing combing? Do we do this one? Let's, I guess let's do this one. Thank you, because we're not about to watch all eight minutes of this. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I always end up copying the link twice. <laughs> oh, no, stop. Please stop. Okay. I'm having my son, all of my guts falling out in front of my husband. 
phase. It's just been a lot of tragedy, which affects my um, my energy level. <laughs> We have our beautiful guest today. Travel very far to get her hair detangled. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. How long has it been? It's been about. Roll that music. Mm. Let me see. Maybe YouTube ain't catch it. Um, well, my hair is very long, very thick, um, and so whenever I get it wet, it just coils and tangles. And um, and after having medical issues um, with having the birth of my children, having one half of my small intestines removed from having my son, all of my guts falling out in front of my husband's face, it's just been a lot of tragedy, which affects my uh, my energy level. So it's hard to do a lot of this natural hair that's thick and long. And so once it gets wet, it just tangles up and tangles up. And the more I wet it and I try to wash it and detangle it, it just gets worse. The dead hair falls out and wraps around and it's just, it became a nightmare. And um, I don't want to cut it. So my only option was to just pray and ask God for a miracle. Like, what do I do? I can't detangle it. I went to several stylists. They didn't know how. My family and friends, um, two of us, three of us working at the same time, trying to detangle it, it wasn't working. And so the longer I wait to avoid cutting my hair, the more dead hair will fall out, the more it will tangle. So then I just stopped washing it um, while I waited for an answer <laughs> for a miracle. Um, and in the midst of that, my daughter found you online and she said, mom, this is an answer to your prayer. You have to go to this lady. I live in the Washington DC area. I had to travel all the way down here to my answers. Well worth it because now I get to get my sexy back. Ooh, so please on. help me. And I thank God for answering my prayer yes, and I thank God for you. Oh, I see that. And so definitely, um, been busy. I'm an entrepreneur as well. I have a lot of clients. My daughter, she's our miracle um, child. She's 26. She's had 21 emergency brain surgery. All of that just keeps us going. Then still dealing with my medical issues. I think I have to do my hair too. And so I try, but it is too much. Usually my hair is long and flowing. Um, but once it gets tangled, that's it. Please help. To take off my, my hat and show my hair to anyone outside of my household is not something that I ever do because this is embarrassing. It is personal. It's like seeing me nude. You know, it's something it's, I'm, I'm ashamed, but yet it's me. Head. I stay inside more and I just want to get my sexy back, please. You can tell by here that she has a lot of hair. This is braided. Look how long it is. This is braided. So. Perfect. Hopefully we can get done in two days. We have a schedule for three days, but hopefully we can do it in two. So this is kind of hard in here. This is kind of soft. You know, it's soft. It may be challenging because the webs of the hair that get stuck together. It's kind of famous over here. I'm gonna go switch to real quick. So last time you wash your hair? The last time I washed it was in May. Okay, so definitely do a detox. Okay. I was afraid I may make it worse. Yeah, most people. That's their fear. That's why they stop washing their hair. Like, like, why do people stop washing their hair? Because they're afraid the more they wash it, the worse it gets. She talking. Hey, find someone who knows how to do that. My family said, just cut it off and start from scratch. My husband said, hey, you're in your 50s now. You'll look good with a nice um, shortcut. But I was like, no, I did not want to cut my hair. This is, this is all from a, you know, a ponytail, wearing a ponytail, taking it out, sticking it back in and putting it in a bun. But then it, it mats. And each time that I wash it, it just mats worse. And the dead hair, you know, falls out and, and wraps around and it just gets more and more matted too. It was like, the more you try to fix it, the worse it gets. So it's best to leave it alone and just keep it frozen in time. Mm -hmm. And so that's how, if anyone is wondering how, how does it get like this, it's like, wow. My hair is so long that it tangles easily anyway. Actually, I think I have a detangling service easy. coming up soon. Yeah, I, I don't think it's anything down, you know, on it this level. To the, to the resort. But by that time, it's dried out. So mm -hmm. it's like, um, I put it in a ponytail and put a bun and say, well, this will get me through the vacation until I get home. And by the time you do that and then wash it, it just seems to mat more. It was just like a never-ending cycle until I, I just had to stop and I couldn't do anything to it. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Let me see what y'all saying. I wonder what she charges for that. Ooh. <laughs> um, I hope she's charging enough. She said it's taking three days. That's that's a whole salon day. Like, 
Yeah, we watched a few. We watched a couple of her videos, and we watched um, like maybe two or three of them. Um, I like to solve problems, so I would try to detangle it. But I put a pound of leave-in conditioner in it. No, you need something like actual conditioner because sometimes leave-in conditioner will just dry up. Um, you definitely want to like um, soften up the hair as much as possible. But it's it looks bad, but it's actually not that bad. It's actually a good thing that it's very concentrated. And the fact that she can actually get at the ends and work her way into the tangles is actually a really good thing. Um, her process going in seems to be good. Um, I'm a little more meticulous about it. Um, but maybe, maybe it's something she sees at it. I usually like to start from the bottom and work my way through the tangle. It looks like she's doing that, but maybe she's trying to break up the mass. It looks like, but she's getting through it. So, um, how much do I charge? A hundred dollars an hour. So, um, actually, I need to double check that because I think our prices change. It's been a while since I've done a detangling service. I really don't even take them on like that because my eczema can't handle that. Like my hands can't be in gloves too long to to deal with that. But I've I've done detangling services before. Like I told you, I have a client that comes in once a year. And gets her um, yearly detangle. And in the meantime, in between time, for whatever reason, she doesn't wash it. She doesn't comb it. She doesn't do anything. She just comes in once a year and gets it detangled. So, um, usually most of the time, it's uh, either due to being bedridden or um, mental illness or depression. Um there was one woman who uh, was coming in with her sister to get um, their hair done for her sister's wedding. And um, I'll never forget that day because when she came in, none of us was expecting it. But she hadn't detangled her hair in like over, she said over eight months. Um, and it, it just was a... I got it done that day. I believe it took me six hours because um, she had she had long hair. She had a lot of hair. But I think I think her sister kind of felt some type of way because, like, why didn't you? I, I don't think she knew that her sister's hair was like that. And then when we found out that's what it was, um, she was... Yeah, I'm not gonna put all their business out there, but um, it was it was an interesting day that day. I got it done though, so I usually work really quick. Um, I've never had a situation where it took multiple days. Um, I usually like to just sit there and go through and get it all done right then and there. Um, even when I've taken down locks that were. Um, a little past shoulder length. It, it only took me like two hours to get through like 60, like two thirds of his head. If I had another hour, I could have finished it. But um, of course, the price adds up with each hour. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. People end up being in this situation for different reasons. Um, I'm just not at the, the place in my life where I'm able to like deal with this on the regular. Um, I wish I could cause I'm, I'm, I'm definitely able and willing to, um, but for the reason the universe <laughs> has me cursed, they're punishing me. So she's gotten through quite a bit of it. And as you can see, she is retaining as much length as possible. So that's a great thing. Oh, she's so happy. All right, so this is day two, I believe. Okay.
Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> Did y'all see that shit? <laughs> oh my goodness. Is she getting... <laughs> Is she getting a character smoothie treatment? Jesus. <laughs> oh. Be back. This is me. This is me. I don't know who the other person was who walked in, but I feel revived and uh, renewed, and I'm ready to just live, guys. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> back. Two days of the Tango Man. Oh. oh, sorry. I forgot it was loud. Sorry. <laughs> um, that's what's up. Yeah, but she always does like the the smoothing treatments. That's what she always does after the fact. So that's that's to be expected. My bad, y'all. My bad. These quiet ass videos. Look. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not gonna read the comments because I already know what's down there. All right. We're going to move on to why does why do they want me to watch this? It's like they want me to watch this. I refuse. I'm not watching that. Ooh, excuse me. Hey, let's see. Uh, we're going to watch Erica's request for Tiffany Monroe layered faux lock tutorial. Thank you so much, Erica, for the request. Let's see. Uh, Tiffany. Oh. Okay. Hello, hello. Happy New Year, everyone. It's Tiffany. And Bailey Tiffany said, watch it. No. Nope. I absolutely adore. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Here are the products I use. Let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. 14, 18, and 22 inch. And here I'm just showing you what they all look like. Besides that, everything else is parted with my fingers. And um, I just sectioned off the rows this time so y'all could see them for the video. Now this is for C. And we're gonna start with this one in the very back. The hair comes pre-lubed, but one thing I like to do is unravel it a bit before I install it, just to make it easier to wrap around my hair later on. So once you have your part, you're going to split that section into three, and then you're gonna put the lock onto one of those sections, and then braid your hair as normal. And then what I do is I'll split one of those sections into two and then twist the rest of the way down. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that twist looks so nice. All right. So again, you're going to split that section into three. You'll put the lock onto one of those Let me sections, out the way. braid down. and then split one of those sections into two, put those with the other two sections, as you can see, and then just- Ugh, this music. It won't let me be great. We're just gonna watch it. Let's just see what she does. Sharita said, y'all, touch that like button like he touched the boost, what? The boo say it don't cost a thing, but this message cost me a timeout in the corner. We on the same page. I, I, <laughs> girl, what? <laughs> Not the bussy. <laughs> Wait, 
I'm so confused. Who put you in the corner? <laughs> and then you'll do the 18 inch, and then at the very end where the 14 inch will go. All right, what are we doing with these twists though? I thought this was a classy party. Not the French bussy Bousset. Le Bousset. <laughs> Men is probably dead. You know what? You're probably right. All right, so what's she doing? She wrapping it around. Oh, thank God for crochet braids. Wait, is she pulling out tendrils? What's happening? Isn't Jay-Z wine called Bousse? She did all that work and I don't like it. <laughs> it's, um... It is a lot of work. It's like a... It's like a triple process. <laughs> The takedown Tango City. It shouldn't look like it's two weeks old already. No, this looked like four weeks old. The roots are grown out. The hair is like mad disheveled. But I guess that's the look. Too much work to look fashionably messy. <laughs> Making my eyes hurt. It has it has that aged in look. Very very aged. Age. Mm-hmm. Very age. Um, trying this look definitely make sure to tag me because I love seeing y'all in these styles y'all always Ooh, look the baby so cute so tag me so I can reshare them and don't forget to follow on insta if you want to keep up with me or my style baby otherwise nips. I hope y'all have these a safe and blessed 2022 they're baby nips <laughs> not the super sticker <laughs> uh, Jay, I can't even spell that Aj, like A G with it. Oh shit! Everything heavy won't oh, Shit, I was jamming too. Shit. <laughs> um, how does hers look? The style is different. I don't like the style of the the dreads. I don't. Oh, the distressed butterfly locks. That's right. Mm. 
Yeah. Why well, put M Tiffany? Bitch, you can't type now. All right. Hers look nice, not five months old. <laughs> See, hers look better. It it does look better. I, I just don't like the style of it. Mm, so much hair, though. Yeah, Um. y'all have fun with the faux locks. Y'all can have fun with that. All right, we're going to move on to uh, who's next? Crazy Natural Princess. Truly talented beauty getting my natural hair dyed professional for the first time ever. I knew it was only a matter of time. Gotta get that hair color corrected. See, if y'all just go in the first place, y'all could be saving yourselves the trouble. All right, let's see. Um, I don't mind the stress, but damn, you start off looking rough. The <laughs> Oh my god. You is stupid. Oh my god. All right. Y'all, I've been thinking of the the idea of doing a podcast with Aaliyah. I'm gonna be honest though. I don't I don't think she's ready for that. I don't I feel like a podcast could lead to some messy situations. Because even though me and my sister share the same womb, she she built a little different. And I feel like some topics Aaliyah just hasn't lived enough, been exposed enough, see, like talk to different people, um, different lifestyles and things. So sometimes she can be a little close-minded. Wait, y'all secretly twins? Mm-mm. Y'all are too funny. Do it. You know what we will do, though? Um, I'm thinking I'll start, like, maybe, like, in the middle of our watch parties. Maybe we can do, like, a little fun little Q&A or fun little game situation. Like, um, I want to do... One thing I'm tossing around in my mind is... Um, what's that one where it's like you... You marry one person, shag the other, and kill the third person. Like, you got to pick between, like, three people. I was wondering if we could do something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just kind of slowly integrate it in and maybe see how that goes. Kiss, marry, avoid. Not shag. I heard somebody say shag. That's why I said it. I, I don't use the term shag. Fuck Mary. <laughs> well, I guess that, that explains why they said shag instead. Smash, Mary, kill. Let, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Now hold up. The thumbs up is free. Now look, this is this is like the fifth time somebody done told y'all to hit this thumbs up. We need to get the thumbs up. Quit playing now. Y'all see here tuning and see y'all y'all try to do this crazy shit last week with the damn um what you call it the damn crowdcast video now all of a sudden it's like a thousand people trying to register and get in and watch the live stream where was y'all hoes at when we was trying to get the thumbs up up now y'all y'all be mad fake I know I know it was them lipstick alley hoes I know them hoes took up all that fucking room on them live stream I know it was. Mm, I ain't even go on the website to check. I already know what it is. Tripping on. Bump, marry, kill. But who would we do? Would we do celebrities? I thought about doing, like, other YouTubers, but that might be a little too much. <laughs> that that might be too much. But I think it would be fun, though. Like, why the fuck not? Like, who, who the fuck gonna trip on that shit? Like... But we don't have enough, like, male YouTube vloggers for me to do that with. Mm. Taking a break till the thumbs up is up. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Until we get to 500, I need to go pee anyway. 
anime characters, celebs. See, I don't be tripping on celebrities like that. I'm I'm not really attracted to most celebrities. I like more the guy next door. I'm not really into like, oh, he buff, he a model, oh, he fine. Like, I'm that don't do nothing for me. Anime? Wait, hold on. What? How? Video game character. That is weird. Two truths and a lie. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make a community post, and then y'all can give us some suggestions for like little games that we can do in the middle of the watch party. I think that would be fun. So Tom Holland is your type of is your type, aka Spider Man. I don't know who that is. Let me see. Ew. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? I thought you had to use the bathroom. I do. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Come on, y'all, so we can watch this video. Shit. Chris Evans, who is, hold on, let me see, Chris, Narada would destroy Tom Holland after they finish, girl, what is you talking about, ain't, ain't, finish what, is Zendaya and Tom together, Tom and Zendaya Finally confirmed their relationship over at Instagram, over on Instagram on her 25th birthday on sep sep September 1st. Okay. Now, who is this Chris Evans? Definitely not. Definitely not. It's a no for me, dog. What about William Jackson Harper? So y'all just gonna keep putting that? Okay. He better be fine. He better be fine. Mm-mm. No, 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 I'm sorry, no. <sighs> no, no, sorry, not my type. I was going to ask how the date life going, but I'll wait for our exclusive Patreon. Girl, you ain't got to wait too long because ain't nothing going on. Shit. <laughs> then who, then who, in the, I told you I don't like celebrities. Y'all thought I was playing. Why 
Watch Party 904-111-05 is perfect for telling people to hit the like button. Hold on. Let me, what you talking about? <laughs> now I'm curious what, what's going on. Let me see. You said 904. Was I cursing y'all out? I'm mad you got the timestamps. They're a one note stylist. This is all they love to do. You know, I can't even be mad at it. This is what they do and they do it well. Huh. Oh, I look tired. Rod a lit. Am I? I'm lit, but these thumbs up ain't lit. I need y'all to hit that motherfucking thumbs up and quit fucking playing with me. I will shut this shit off. Fuck with me if you want to. Where my shit at? I'm shutting this shit down. Hit that motherfucking thumbs up. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> that explains it. Oh, that was the margarita. Oh, shit. I ain't lit, though. I ain't lit. Y'all ain't seen it yet. Y'all ain't seen it yet. You <laughs> 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 stupid ass. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what... Uh, we just gonna go ahead and um, yell at us like I yelled at them kids last week. I think Michael B. is a lot of hype. He's not ugly, but very funny looking, especially with the mustache. He looks, he reminds me of a chipmunk. It always looks like he has something in his mouth, like he's like stuffing his cheeks or something. Then I was like, well, maybe he has braces or something. But I was like, mm. All right, here we go. We're finally going to get to the... Damn, it's 10 o'clock. All right, come on. We got to move, y'all. How many videos we watch? 11. Okay, we, we making good time. That needs to be a sound, but shit, it just might be. <laughs> All right. Damn, girl. Good 20 morning. minutes. That's actually really dramatic, considering what is about to happen. <laughs> He looks like a puppy. Oh. Welcome to Tis the A squirrel day. with muscles. Wow. It's fine. Wait, he got a mustache? Are y'all talking about this mustache? Or this mustache? He looks fine right here. Mm, yeah, um, if he hit on me, I probably wouldn't give him any play. All right, moving on. Um, this time, the stylist asked me, my stylist Regina, um, this time Regina asked me to come in with my hair slightly defined so she can kind of see my curl pattern and I'm assuming assess and kind of see. Um, I still got my little blonde, she's in there. And you know, funny enough, put in manual labor, you expectations just because I literally do not have that same curl pattern. So I'm excited to see how that color um, and even how that color application process is going to look given what I want. And if you guys don't know, this is what we're going for. Okay, this is what we're going for. This is this is what I'm asking for. Um, so I'm excited to see how everything turns out. The appointment is literally in like three minutes, you guys. I brought a bag full of snacks because I'm literally going to be in here for four to five hours. And yes, I'm eating like a bird. Unless you about to um, unless you about to snatch my waistline yourself, I don't want to hear nothing about it. Come 
where she's gonna apply K18 to the hair. Okay. So what, what does that do? So this is K18. It's gonna help the fabric of the hair. Okay. While you're while they lighten. So this is a mist. Okay. We're gonna just spray your hair with water because water's gonna help the hair swell up and this is gonna be able to penetrate the cuticle. So this really focuses on not the bonds, but more so the polypeptide chains of the hair, which is basically like the the deepest innermost foundation okay. of her hair. Super important. It's like um, keratin essentially. Um, keratin that's found in our hair and nails, not keratin treatment. Okay. Straining treatment. Keratin is protein found in our hair and nails. And if that gets destroyed, the polypeptide chain, then the hair will not be curly. Okay. Or it'll be very damaged. So this is what kind of helps keep my curls intact. Exactly. This is the okay. first step. And this is like, you know, a preventative and a protection. And then, then you get the second part, which is the mask that we're going to do while you are getting the color that we are achieving. Can you see? Yeah, super excited. Your curls are going to be on point. Yes. <laughs> Now, what's this about K-18? I ain't never heard of that. Yeah, Marlon was okay. Sean was overrated, though. Marlon's kind of fine to me. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really have a thing for skinny guys, but he's kind of fine to me. I, my face, I'm sorry. It's These styles be, like, killing me with these explanations. Because I'm like, this ain't nothing but a... a Dog, like a bowl of dog shit. Like, <laughs> when he was in that one movie where he was about to, I, I forgot what movie that was on movie night, and he was about to put it down on that girl, and then he was acting like he was humping the damn, I, I forgot what, what movie was that. I was like, damn, I wish I was that pillow. The way he was putting it in, I was like, ooh, okay. Ooh, the foils are cute. It's like rainbow. A haunted house? Was it, was it that one? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Y'all can have Sean. Sean... Oh, what's this cape thingy? What is that? What does that do? So this is, if you ever want to try something new besides Design Essentials, I like the Design Essentials a lot. I'm so sorry if I got you. No, you're fine. But it's very similar to where it has like a nice slip. It's made for thick. Sean seems me. <laughs> and I think that they may be a little bit cleaner than Design Essentials, but mm -hmm. I still love Design. Ombre is more not so blended. Yeah. Ombre kind of goes like from one color to the next. Mm -hmm. And balayage is really more blended, and it grows out more nicely. And but yeah, I am loving this place. So much. I don't know. Them curls looking a little limp to me. <laughs> Y'all said Method Man is fine. Okay. music what music is this let me just look this up all right don't know what music this is so i probably can't use it you crazy method man is fine what do you look like now section into two or you can apply it into smaller sections and you won't use as much product of course water 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 is our best friend oh that music because <laughs> that's how you know it has enough it has enough water on there because okay. if it's dry if it's not it's dry okay and you want it to be squishy 
and you know you have a good amount of hair so we're going to be kind of testing it out and seeing what you know how much is on it i think this is actually pretty good no mm -hmm. Damn, that color thinned the fuck out of her hair. She looked like she should have way more hair than that. The way she just gathered all her hair up, it was like... Child, this little half-ass shingling she doing. Okay, so yeah, a lot of people ask me this. YouTubers get licenses to use certain music from certain, um, I don't know what you would call it, music distributors. So they may have the license to be able to use the music, but I don't have it. So that's why they wouldn't get copyright for it, but I would. Um, I have a license to use music. Let me show y'all what I use. I have, I pay for a yearly subscription to use licensed music from Thematic. And so they have different tracks and things that you can play. They only ask that you post the link to said songs in the description so that's how music works with youtube like just because they can use it and they don't have any issue with it doesn't mean that i can so yeah that's that's why all right take it out All right, I mean. I was, looking, I was like, the three C girls put nothing on Oh my God, I'm done with you. Why you say that? Never, you would never thought my hair was more on the tighter coil side, the way it's doing what it's doing right now. I'm exactly, no, it's true. But I mean, that's the thing. That's how you really can tell what the curl pattern is when it's defined. When it, it, the shrinkage and all that, it just, you know, that's a part of it. But I would definitely, like, I would say this is 4C here. Like, this is a 4C texture, but you have also 4A. Oh, child, I, you know, I'm not even about to push no buttons. All right, you may even have some 3C as well. You have a pretty good mix, but I say this is 4C because... That hair like, is a limp. I'm gonna, yeah, you see how it's like... Now, see, she has curls, and as her hair dry, dries up, it's going to curl up. But I can tell, like, between the color that she did on top of the color that her, the stylist did, it's definitely, like, left a toll on her hair to wear... Her curl elasticity is not as um, strong as it once was before all the color. Um, and you can tell just from how limp her hair is after the color. That's why she's surprised to see her hair look like this. And it's, yeah, the products and the, the gel and everything is weighing it down. But the way her hair was before, if I recall and remember, it definitely had more spring to it than this. Um, but, yeah. Like, it has definition, mm -hmm. but it's not like an actual S-wave, mm -hmm. like the, um, like the four, four A's. Yeah. But the fact that if you can get it defined, like your hair is in great, great shape. And I, I noticed that when she gathered her hair up when it was wet, I was like, damn, she just got all her hair and put it into like one fist. Like, she got a head full of hair. The fact that she put all that hair up and had it in a small little tiny ass ponytail, I'm like, where the fuck did all her hair go? All that color bleach, like, thin her hair the fuck out. It's, it's definitely not as full as it used to be. But, I mean, that's that comes with doing color and stuff, so... Not to say that, you know, she can't ha enjoy her color and her hair and stuff. It's just not the same thickness to it. Okay... I like the dimensions. Um, let me see what she says. Like, my hair is dyed. Whoa, here is. 
is the final look. It is actually two days later. Um, I allowed my skin some time to breathe, and as you can see, she's still still acting up. Um, I went ahead and I used my stretch method that I do for my wash and goes, and I honestly have these in one, two, three, four, um, because my roots are actually still very defined and very stretched, even though I have volume. So this is day three. This is day three of hair. Oh my God, I look like the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Natural edition, like I just, <laughs> I, so first and foremost, I've literally still been processing that I wake up and look like this as default. This is what I look like as default, as someone who has literally been natural to toned, at most burgundy, recently brown with a hint of blonde, like waking up and it's not transferred, like you, this is you, this is real, this is me, this is how I look when I wake up on Christmas Eve, like every day, like, <laughs> huh? Oh, change the pin video. Oh, shoot. It's too late for that now. Damn, I don't even know where the damn shit. <laughs> I know I typed it somewhere, damn it. What's her name, Truly? No. That's what I get for burning my mouth. We did all that, taking a break and hitting the thumbs up, and I still ain't talented. B U T. Right. Oh, like I'm just like, what? She's spicy. You know, she's caliente. We have dimension, which is just so crazy. I think I'm excited to see. You know, oh, we have a tone to it. We really know where you're trying to go it's definitely not as scary okay i i like it i wish i could see the the lighting is a little too harsh for me to really see it yeah i like it i like i like how she broke it up i like the different levels of red she put in there um yeah, I like it. All right. Damn, she was real happy about that color. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. Uh, we're going to move on. Let me see how many uh, cash app requests. We have about three more cash apps and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And like 10 super chats, I believe. <laughs> what caused the limpness when she colored her hair and what could be done to prevent it? Um, just the color, like, again, anytime you are taking away from when you're lifting the hair, you are compromising the integrity of your hair in the strength. That's why she said all that with the K-18 and the this and the that and the Olaplex and the bond treatment and all of that. That's what they're trying to protect from. When you're just putting on a semi-permanent, you don't have to really worry about losing your curl pattern or anything. At the most, it will it could just make your hair dry. It might adjust your porosity. Uh, it might make your hair texture feel a little more wiry or, you know, drier or whatever. But that's because it's only depositing. It's only adding to. When you talk about taking out, like, just think about when you strip, like, you bleach your skin. Like, your skin starts to, like, suffer because of it. It's the same thing with your hair. So I just think with all the processes and things, like, I just think it just left her hair stressed. It's like the same thing that happened to, uh, what's her name? Hazel Goddess. <laughs> um... Like, yeah, she could finesse her curls and have it look good. I think for her, it's just when it was wet because the elasticity just wasn't as strong as it was before with her virgin hair. It just, it looked more limp with the water weighing it down. Um, but it's not really anything you can do to fix that after it's happened. That It's just, it is what it is at that point. So only thing you can do is transition it out. But obviously, it's not affecting her hair as far as, like, styling and getting the look of her wash and go. It's just her elasticity is just not as strong as it was before. That's all. Bleach eats away at the cuticle. It does. It eats away at the cuticle. 
Um, and it also um, compromises the bonds in your hair as well, which is why all these people are always pushing and promoting Olaplex as the, the, the fix-it situation, but it doesn't really fix it. So let's see. Um, but yeah, that's why it's not necessarily like heat damage. It's more elasticity damage and like you start to see it in those types of behaviors that's how you start to see like with your hair behaving differently when it's wet or when it's weighed down with product versus when it's not that's why when she was like 4c i was like girl what what is she talking about like can we just can we just throw out the chart at this point because literally 4c means anything all right next we have lavana she said anything about locks and rose water it ain't really much about locks and rose water. I don't, what is it about people with locks and then like emphasizing the rose water? I don't understand. The what the rose water don't do nothing. It's just water with a fragranted smell. It, it ain't got no, let me see. Let me just type it in and see what somebody said. I just say that because I used it one time and it left my hair feeling so dry, like drier than if I just used water. That's why I was like, why is everybody tripping on rose water? Let me see. We have reasons why you should be using rose water on your locks. And then we have how I moisturize dry locks, rose water, and glycerin review. Hmm. Let me see. Let me just type in rose water and see what comes up. Skin. Why rose water is a must for a drink. Let me just see this. <laughs> so let's talk about what I was not prepared for before I started. Oh, mm -mm. not with that music. All right, my locks, which is how itchy my scalp would be. This has nothing to do with Okay, I don't know what she's talking about. Next! Alright, we're just gonna watch the, uh... I feel like this is clickbait, but I'm very curious, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna click it. <laughs> I guess that's the point, right? Latoya Clark. Let's see if she likes it. Just use water and rose essential oil every once in a blue moon for a nice smell. That's what I do. And yeah, and then you you can't even smell it after it dries. It's like apple cider vinegar. Like once it's gone, it's gone. That's it. Hey guys, so recently I discovered rose water and glycerin. Um, I usually just use the regular rose water on my hair and I get it off of Amazon. Um, but one of my girlfriends um, mentioned to me this rose water and glycerin spray. Um, she asked me had I ever used it and I was like, no. Um, but I have seen people on YouTube using it. I've seen people on like Instagram using it. And I read the reviews and it had some really high reviews. So I kind of wanted to try it out on my hair and see how I like it. Um, typically when I moisturize my locks, I use like just a spray bottle with water and coconut oil. Um, and sometimes I add like vitamin E oil in it or I'll just use 100% um, rose water. Rose water made my hair feel crispy. Okay, I, th I thought it was just me. You know, I don't like to speak in absolutes, but I thought it was just me because that was my experience. I was like... Is this supposed to be better? Because um, it's seen the definitely not. I've glycerin before, but I was skeptical because I was like, what the heck is glycerin? Glycerin is supposed to help, um, I guess, um, help saturate the lock so your hair even more or help keep the moisture in your hair, I'm guessing. So um, I'm going to try this rose water and glycerin and see how I like it, guys. Um, just picked it up off of Amazon, and I will link it down below in the description box um, after I've used it to let you guys know how I like it. Um, yeah, let's just get into the video. So we're starting with fresh hair today. I haven't put anything in my hair in the last. I love pure glycerin on my face as a moisturizer. Your, your skin don't be sticky? Probably a week or so, so my hair is real dry, y'all. Look at it. I washed and retwisted it about. Girl, uh, just spray some water on there. On it since. So I guess that's what she's about to do, right? Girl, <laughs> what are you doing, child? So, yeah, I'm going to get it together. I'm going to try this rose water out and see how I like it. Um, 
typically I moisturize my locks um, maybe like every two to three days. And that's like I said, just with like water, coconut oil, um, just like natural products. Um, not a lot of heavy products. I have what you call, I think it's called like low porosity hair. So my hair does not do good at retaining moisture. So I have to um, put products in it that are just try to like seal the lock that moisture in. So I'm hoping that she got low porosity completely wrong like that's the complete opposite of low porosity but i guess i'll go ahead and hit the little situation rose water and glycerin will do that for me y'all we're gonna see we're gonna see all right so on the front of it, it, I says, it. it is kind of sticky acts like a great primer you can okay trust, got it harsh, i can't tell y'all know i can't tell moisturizer you can trust harsh weather defense so let's see just gonna spray some can y'all see that? Girl, you gonna need an actual spray bottle. Okay. Come on now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it sprayed on my forehead. Get it locked. Oh, it smells. Y'all, this is why I love rose water. You never used rose water before? It smells divine. Like, it just smells like someone went and kicked roses. Yeah, this ain't like, doing nothing. You don't like how roses smell then. You this ain't like doing it. nothing. So Can you guys see that? Hope you're not taking my hair. glasses off. It feels really good. I feel like it's taken to my hair good. Okay, we might be on to something here. Rose water and glycerin. Yes. I can feel it all in my fingers and I feel like it's doing really well at saturating. You'll be so happy to get your hands wet. <laughs> this is so <laughs> when I spray just like regular water on it. Mm. Okay. My hair be so dry, y'all. Rose water smells like farts. I, I remember it smelling hair. good. And it felt really dry. I wish you guys could stick your hands to the camera and feel how dry it was. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I noticed a difference already. Oh, Curly okay. Nella, ain't nobody got normal the, porosity right anymore. It's not the letter, y'all. It's oh. only two, low or high. I like this. I'm not going to spray a lot because it's water. And I know it's going to make my hair frizz even more. Even though I have like frizzy hair anyway. The natural frizz, I love it. Alright guys, so I hope you guys can see. Then you'd be wondering why your hair is dry. What? This, this is why I be talking. Like, so wait, y'all. Do y'all want moisturized hair or do you want it to be dry? Like, I don't. It's already frizzy. Like, what are you worried about? See on the camera, you guys can notice a difference from when I first took my bonnet off to now. No, I don't but see it. I can feel the difference. Like, okay, maybe, maybe you can. Maybe you can. Much more moisturized. They don't feel dry like they're hanging on for dear life. And then I'm just going to take some of this Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla. I mean, um, it didn't look that bad when you took it out the bonnet. I know it has almond oil, um, shea oil, or has shea butter oil, <laughs> sweet almond oil, um, jojoba oil, and I just like to spray that on my scalp. I mean... If it's shea butter in oil form, wouldn't it just be shea oil? So usually when I moisturize, I spray something on my scalp and I also spray something on my locks. Remember, it starts with your scalp, guys. It starts with your scalp. And I've been tripping this week. But, um, so far, so good, guys. So thank you so much for recommending this product. I see why a lot of people in the lock community use this product. Um, to me, I do think it's better than the regular rose water. You didn't even let it dry up yet. Keeping the moisture in your hair. Um, when I spray 100% rose water, I don't feel like it moisturizes my hair completely. I feel like this did. What? So I got this off of Amazon. And like I said, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box. So if you want to pick up some, you can. Um, I think it was like $8, $9, $10. I don't know, guys. I think it was less than $10, but please don't quote me on that. But yeah, good stuff here, guys. All right, guys, so if you like this video and you would like to see more videos. Child, you can get you water, vegetable glycerin, and rose essential oil for, like, half that price. And that's only because of the essential oil. If you like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe button, button, subscribe button. Also, guys, I keep forgetting to tell y'all. So it was, it was clickbait. I did get clickbaited. It's fine. If you have starter locks, don't put glycerin in your hair, especially if you go outside and it's the summertime. It will draw the moisture out of the air, and when you wake up, some locks will be unraveled. What? Excuse me, bitch! That, no. No. Like, <laughs> no.
it'll be frizzy. But no, it's not going to make your hair unravel. I live in the desert where there's little to no moisture in the air. So glycerin draws the moisture from my hair instead of from the air. So be careful in dry climates using glycerin. I have heard that. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, tip for low porosity hair. Open your cuticles by rinsing hair with cold water. Like as cold as you can take in the shower, like two to three minutes. After that, spray the rose water on your hair shaft or scalp. Then seal with either sweet almond oil or vitamin E oil or whatever your hair likes. Most important step is opening your cuticles with cold water. Cold water also eliminates the frizz from warm water. So every time you wash your hair, always do a final rinse with cold water. Thank you so much for this tip. Never thought to use cold water. Cold water closes the cuticle. Yep, it helps seal in the moisture. I remember a beautician telling me that years ago, but of course I forgot. Thanks for your comment. Just wanted to ask how you feel about lock extensions. Um, I don't particularly care for it, but it's, it's one of those things, do what works for you. If that's what you want to do and what you like, do it. Um, usually, more often than not, I tend to see more people experience issues with starting their locks with lock extensions versus like having a good healthy foundation with their lock journey with the lock extensions just help growing it out starting with a longer length um so that's been my experience but i live in atlanta and everybody's locks here is raggedy so that might be why i'm just saying uh uh, da, 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 da. Damn, I gotta go to the bathroom again? Did I even use the... Hold on. I'm sure I went like three times already. Winter time only. It's moisturizing. In summer or dry weather, it dries hair by stealing moisture from it. That's kind of what I heard about glycerin. The lie! There you the go. Lies. There you I can't deal with this. Trifle. Everybody, everybody is completely wrong. Nobody, nobody knows what they're talking about. Everyone's just regurgitating shit that they heard. They putting their own fucking spin on it. Nobody knows what's happening. What's going on the side? They don't know nothing. They just throwing words around and hoping the shit makes sense. I can't. I can't. I'm. I'm pulling out. All right. I'll be right back. I can't deal with this. water when you got tea ah all right now what y'all talking about y'all talking about me i see y'all talking shit
summertime yet? <sighs> okay. Okay, finally sitting my ass down. I don't have rose water tea, but I do have watermelon and lime tea. Mmm, mmm, good. I forgot I made tea. Unsweetened, just like I like it. All right. Thank God, not chia water. You know what? I should have made some. I should. I should go in the back and make some right now. Uh, let me see. Now what? What was we saying? Oh, so I meant to say, I'm. A, I'm gonna need y'all help so we can start do, working on doing another tier list for. Um, the lock community. So we're gonna do a locked, uh, what is it called? A locked version of trends tier list. Okay. Um, so we're definitely gonna have Rosewater on there. Um, we gotta find some other trends that lock people like to do. So I need y'all to do some research. I'm going to be um doing a community post soon, and we can do make that happen. Yes. Trends in the lock community tier list. That's what we're going to do. Add Chia Seeds to the tier list. You know what? Since all of y'all want to be a hater, y'all going back to this Be Right Back screen. And I'm going to go make me some Chia water. Yup. Show sure Liz. Y'all just couldn't leave it alone. Couldn't just leave it alone. Y'all couldn't just leave it alone. So you know what? It's fine. I need my fiber. I need my protein. This is what y'all wanted. Alright. So... <laughs> Next we have, um, shit, whose request is next? Uh, oh, we have Hey Siri. Um, they said, Super Chat request, Mel's World testing the Dyson Corral on 3A. Let's check it out. Does that shit really cost five hundred dollars? And y'all got the nerve to complain about my prices? Mm mm. No, ma'am. All right. 
guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this week's video. Me and Coco, can you see Coco? Can you see her? She's down there chilling, and I thought I would just do an impromptu video, okay? I received some things in the post. You already know what it is, okay? It's my Dyson, okay? Your Corel, Corel, I don't know. But I've received it in the post. I thought I would do an unboxing and just test it out with you guys. Go and get your tea. I've got mine, okay? Take your seats, okay? Call your friends. We are going to do this, okay? What kind of tea is that? Oh, she was loud. Turn that down, son. Coffee headband on because I'm growing my edges back and I don't want you to see what it looks like now. For those of you who are following me, I am on a one month challenge. Check this one out right now and get on the challenge. I've been growing back and if I show you now, you, you're gonna know it's not gonna be worth me putting up the, all the, the whole month I've been recording. Bundle. Anyway, okay, right. So in with the bundle came this. So this is a Dyson designed paddle brush. Yeah, I'm very excited to use this. And it's very nice and weighty, I've got to say. Very. Child, how much is this fucking brush? <laughs> Y'all gots to be kidding me. Y'all gots to be kidding me. Hold on. No. Y'all paying $40 for a brush, $70 for the brush and comb combo. What in D fuck? <laughs> like, what? Child, even Pattern Beauty wasn't this damn expensive. What is going on? Oh my god, okay, sorry. Weighty, it feels, you know, robust. It looks like it's gonna really take on some arm work. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I reckon this could be my new, probably detangling brush, or let's see how that goes for me, creating a really nice definition in my wash and goes. But also what came with the bundle is this Dyson designed detangling comb. Oh, I've gotta say, they have got this right. This looks like a good detangling comb. This is again, part of the Dyson Supersonics. It's not even ergonomic. <laughs> accessory. Now for the creme de la creme. <laughs> oh, I love it. I also love it because it's a woman of color on the front. Well, she's a lighter colour, but it's fine. She has textured hair, so we're, we're, we're having that. Apparently, it's very good on textured hair as well. Uh, we're going to see, OK? We want to see if it's worth their coin. So, oh, I don't even want to break it. Let me just do it nicely. You get a really nice case. Isn't the dim in like $40? Ah, 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 35 And there's no other brush like it on the market. They have similar ones where they don't have the bristles and stuff, but that right there is just a regular old Degula paddle brush. You can go to any Walgreens, get you a Connor paddle brush, and it'll look just like that. However, I don't see the dimming on the shelves. I'm excited. It better be good after spending this much of my own coin. I did contact Dyson, but they were like, who, who are you? They weren't willing to give me a, a product for free to advertise for them. The Rev Air were, they were really great. They were like, yes, Mel, we don't care who you are, just take it. All right, so this is the stand that you get, so I'm gonna put that together, and then. Not there's Rachel. Oh, Alexa, shut up. All right, so as I was saying, I'm gonna put this together quickly off camera and then I'll come back, okay? Okay, so recently I've been doing a little experiment on my hair and I've been leaving it in its stretched out state. So I've been wearing my hair like this into a twist or I've been wearing on occasion a twist out and it's been working for me. Now I don't want to damage my hair which is why I wanted to opt to using technology like Dyson. Heat training my hair is something that I want to start doing. She says, could you see the head is providing this tool and intelligence that prevents it from overheating. So Cara, you are going to do something for me, okay? So I'm going to leave one side curly and then straighten the other side. I won't need to put any more uh, anything in it, probably some heat protectant. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> so the heat protectant of my choice is the Silk Infusion by Chai or Chi. Let's get it on those ends. <laughs> Slightly nervous. <laughs> All right. All right. We are on 185. I, I don't know, will I need the chase method? I shouldn't. Just showing off of this. How did brush. you make the tea? Oh, I'm making it in a batch. I just uh, boil a big pot of hot water and put like eight tea bags in there. Evenly. And just let it heat around. Kind of brew. Really softly, and the teeth don't pull the hair. Oh, look at the shine. 
yeah that's um better be hair burning <laughs> okay oh my goodness that got my hair really straight that ends how the ends no look? it didn't I might take a little bit off them okay you can watch me in speed up time it don't move I can still see the texture. Where's the silk? I said, I'm not keen on the smoke, but I think it is. Oh! The, um, oh I, you know, I to put right, let's, let's keep going. No, I'm not allowing you to pump me full of bullshit. Okay, okay, okay. It's not getting it bone straight. She I'm likes to rave from housewives. That would have to be, you know what? To I see it. Higher. We're not going to pay a ridiculous amount of money just to get it straight and heat damaged. So this will do. This will do. Maybe if I do. Maybe turn up the heat a notch. No, it has the heat intelligence technology. It turns down the heat when it thinks it's getting too hot. <laughs> they can't turn the shit up. Because this part is really, really straight, and that's. I think these parts are too big so it's got to be really small sections note to self even right. the flat iron's like right. no too much this heat this is uh the finished look can you see how nice and free it is Ew. it's not bone straight how we expect it to be but you mean to tell me in all them nigga ass cities y'all can't find nobody to do your hair how dare you still got a bit of shine my hair is a little stiff still got oh movement. my god so what I like uh and it feels different so not bad huh I was tempted to put a little kink in it, but I'm for, gonna leave that. For <laughs> five five hundred dollars? <laughs> at least. Five hundred dollars. So, I think that's kinda of done it. I don't know how many times a year I'm gonna be applying the heat, but for sure. For five hundred dollars, you can go to the salon and get your hair done way better than this. <laughs> what the no hairstyles for hair growth or protective style purposes. At least I'll be doing it with um heat controlled devices. Uh, that five hundred dollars, that's like three I trips to the salon. Style. I am tempted to put some curl in my hair, but you know. I don't want to get too happy now, <laughs> you know? You get too happy and then you're left with one strand on your head. No, I'm, I'm, no, it's not, my channel's not about to be one of those channels, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this very impromptu video. I will see you again in my next one. Give it a like, it really helps my channel. And oh, course, who coming in the door? And family don't know oh, is that the cat? It's giving wet and wavy. It's giving, my curly hair is so frizzy. <laughs> Let them know about it. There we go. Let's hello to everyone. So let's say goodbye now, Coco. Thank you so much for me and Coco for joining us on this week's video. We'll see you again in our next one. Child, the dog's hair looks better than yours. That's saying a lot. Like, oh my God. <laughs> hey, Mel and Coco. Wow, your hair is so beautiful and so long. Flat iron. Lovely. Yep, it did a great job of getting your hair straight. Oh, it did. It did, huh? The lies! There you the go, lies, there bitch. The I'm lies. telling you. Trifling. All right, let's see what else we have here. That's what I needed to see. I have the Rev Air Dyson hair dryer, and now I need this too. Thanks for the demo. Excuse me, bitch. Oh, girl, that's expensive. No, it's not expensive. You just broke, bitch. That's it. Damn, bitch. The Rev Air wasn't enough for you? You went and got the Dyson, too? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It was smoking because she had so much product on her hair to begin with. Yeah, I was wondering. It looked like she, uh... That's why her hair was so stiff when she flat ironed it, cause I don't know what she put on it, but um, yeah, that that wasn't working. Um, all right, so thanks for that. I I think at this point we all know not to get the the Dyson Corral. Um, okay. Janae says she wants us to watch Jawan Ahmad reacting to natural hair fails. Ooh, a reaction to a reaction to a reaction. Or maybe just a reaction of a reaction. Yeah. 
unless he's reacting to someone reacting, then, you know. But more than likely, he's not. One. I oh I always copy the link just like twice. I always do it. It's a bad habit. Oh, nice intro. Welcome to Here, and in today's video, why did I just do like that? In today's video, we're going to be reacting to a couple of hair videos that I found. Let me turn them up. I thought would be funny. I got my Can you turn it off? Can you turn it off? Chats are the worst. How do you turn this? Do not disturb. I have my all day. So the first video we're gonna be reacting to is this girl. I like she tried to silk press her hair, her natural hair, and it failed. Stay away from the silk presses, you guys, because obviously they're not good for your hair. Get you some chia water. That's right. You know you want this. Don't it look good? Look at that. Look at that. Look, look how. It, let me swish it around for you. Let me swish it around. Mmm. Oh my God. Delicious. Mmm. Ah. Okay. natural. I think it's not a problem if you get it done like once a year or something like that, but. Let's just see what you look at. Before we get into this video, let me put you onto a product that I've been using in my house for a while now. I just picked up another one and I'm absolutely obsessed. I put this device in all the seats in my house, even my kitchen, and I recently bought this one for my bathroom. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of dead bugs. Of hair, <laughs> you can install this sink strong within a couple of seconds. The hair wraps up neatly around the cylinder. So when you get ready to pull up out of the drain, all of the hair is in one place, ready for you to clean it up. And then it just takes for you to pull the bottom down to remove all the hair. And if you have pets, it helps with animal hair too. I just love this because it's not like an invasive. This mess is. Hold up. Let me like the whole picture. Hold up. Hold up. Pets, it helps with animal hair too. I just love this because it's not like an invasive installation. It's easy. Wow. Whoa. Man, intros like this be killing me. Like the whole picture slash. I was like, I think I did it in the past, so I can't talk too much shit. I used to be so good at doing hair. Mm. With flat irons on mm. short hair, I guess because it's been a minute. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But if you're interested in looking at this video, stay tuned because this mess is crazy. <laughs> like your girl over here. Like, damn. Damn. I don't know what could have been prevented. I don't know what could have been done. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, oh my goodness. I'm about to show another video with this hashtag because you know what? I'm bringing it back. How about that? Okay? Okay? I should have known from the start <laughs> of me blow drying my hair that day. It's the Florida Evans mini fro for me. What I did was I washed it and I blue dry it. I fro what you talking about? I don't know if I enough or what, but I should have known right from the start that it would break my heart. Why is this thing I echoing? Oh, it helped you. Hey, why are you trying to straighten it? Hey, baby loves. Can y'all guess what I'm doing today? <laughs> Ew. What? Repay it, baby. Hey, baby loves. <laughs> Not baby loves. Y'all guess what I'm doing today? Something that I can't see at the moment. <laughs> I am flat ironing my tiny little afro for the first time in six months since I got it cut. Already um, blow dried and all that stuff. Does I have green? Oh my god. Protect that, no serum, no nothing. Just bam, let's just go right in there with the flat iron. So that's just boom. <laughs> If you give me copyrighted, I'm co it's your fault. I'm gonna see you. A I'm gonna give you. Oh, you need to get that fork up out my face. Messing with my money. I'm with you on that though. <laughs> she got that. <laughs> she got that poet just. Damn, how many times she went over that one section? All right, all right. Let's let's fast forward this a little bit, cause just. Yeah. Yo, know, I should have stopped right there. <laughs> like, I could have saved my whole day, but at least I know how much my hair grew because it has grown a lot. No, everybody got that. Everybody, mama got that yellow comb, like that yellow orange comb. Yeah. So I that hate that is comb. Not what I expected. 
when I was doing my hair. What you thought it was gonna be? What did I, I just do? I could have told you that that was gonna. I could have told you that. What you thought you was gonna have? Why did you wait to do a reaction to start eating and drinking and shit? Oh my god! Oh my god! I know folks be like annoyed with me and my reactions, but god damn! Like what the? Like dang! Like long tall tall she big speech she got? Like what the heck? Let us stay later, whatever. He landed side down. What thing you used to have that later? She's trying to do the Fantasia. He's cold. I don't know. You say fail, my first fail, hopefully my only fail, because I don't aim to fail on my channel. Like, what? You knew, you knew damn well. It's fun to play with, though. Mm -mm. You heard she said, she said, it's Is fun he to eating play with. fish? You already know. You watch my videos, you know I do not like to play with my hair. I like somebody, Auntie. Damn, how many times are you going to watch it? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. It's a slide show. Y'all love slide shows. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. Why are we... Child, I, she got the family portrait. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a little different than an attempt to slick back my hair. As you can see, my hair is in um, its natural state. No perm or texturize or anything and good. honestly i never can get to slick my hair down that's why i don't keep my hair out and i don't want to relax my hair because it's pretty it's growing pretty good so i just want to keep it natural like but sometimes it. i do want to wear it out so i've been looking on youtube for other people's advice on like how to you look at me. i guess i'm forced you to look at me. if you guys think i'm these are the products that i'm going to be using today eco styler gel um hair sundry one of my daughter's hair bubbles and this scarf <laughs> what you need a hair bubble for so first thing I'm gonna do is take some of the curl enhancing smoothie so I can get my hair a little soft. Like Which one was going around that Cantu had changed the too much for that, just to help my hair Cantu stay changing the ingredients. I don't see how y'all be doing y'all hair dry. My hair be soaking wet when I be doing it. Because how... I'm with him on that. So like this is basically what I got. Uh, Oh, okay. Is it because she's trying to get a ponytail? What is she doing? This is my small little ponytail. I tried nah, to get it on. Listen. I just... You didn't detangle your hair. Everybody knows you got 4C. Your hair's a little bit more coarse. You need to make sure that your hair is saturated in water. Separate your hair into sections and gel. It can all sleek and be unified when it's time to put it up in a bun. You just don't throw it in a bun after you put that one section in. It's not, yeah, it's not sleek. Yeah, it's I, I feel you, Juwan. I feel you. Fine. Yeah. If you're going for a sleek bun and you got to get into the hair strand and detangle your hair. I can tell her her hair's not detangled. That's why I failed. You can see this thing is not slick. You might need a little bit more than five inches too. Go back. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's not slick. Like, it's not slick. Did she put gel on it? Yes or no? Did she put gel on it? She had the gel on the counter, but did she use it? Or did I miss a step? Was the chicken or the fish I was eating that good? I don't know. Damn. Not the chicken or the fish. It's not working out, but yeah, I'm gonna tie this down and see what happens and get right back to you guys. So guys, my son woke up in the middle of this, but yeah, I basically just tied my hair down. Oh my god, I thought she was breastfeeding. I was like, hold up! Aww. Aww. Check out. So hi guys, I'm back again. This music making me nervous. So I have tied down. That's really changed. <laughs> you right, it got a worse. I know worse is not a word. You gotta detangle your hair, guys. Detangle, detangle, detangle. The girl like I was watching her video, she took like a piece of Ah, it's so loud. We would like to see it. Braids. Yeah, so she just took the braids. You don't need a lash. So this is like good enough. This is about like what she had. And then what she did. Not her hairline interesting. It's a lot of people that have that type of hairline. I don't know what it's called, but. She's ready. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so she's right, right, right. Oh, no, she's not. What are you doing? <gasps> See, if you had spent more time detangling and smoothing your hair than you did making that picture slideshow, this shit could have probably looked cute. 
She need to watch Tupo. If Tupo know how to get her hair slicked back, you can do it too. And get me, like, let me know what I'm doing wrong. So oh. as you can see, this part's already raising up. Oh, you done use edge control. You done use gel. You done use, what the hell is that? Just stop, stop recording. Abandon ship, it's over. <sighs> Hair is narrowly slicked down. You see, like these edges here are just sticking out. And then you got the nerve to do baby. These are not baby hairs. They're baby naps. But for what she was going for, it didn't work. All right, you guys, and that is all of the videos that I have to watch. I, I had enough, honestly. Um, if you like this video, then thumb it up, of course. If this is your first time watching me and you have yet to subscribe, then make sure that you do so because it's free. You know, I'm not charging for that. Are I'm going to do a reaction collab with him. He just can't be eating no damn fish and chicken while we reacting. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's, that's not going to work for me. Um, yeah, we just going to pull out. The way baby hairs have a chokehold on us. I don't understand why no one can do a video with a hair tutorial and not have baby hairs. Like, I don't understand why that's a thing not a thing like do we have to put baby hairs on every single style like legit it's interesting to me don't you think all right um next we have jermaine hold on jermaine what did you want to watch again because you said my latest but did you say something else i can't remember get back to me on that I'm going to skip it for now. And instead, I'm going to go to Kai. She says, hi, Narada. Let's watch My Curls Did Not Revert by Deborah Bombs. What happened to the curls? Hold on. Did you reply yet? No. Okay. Oh, not me posting the link. Son, I do not have to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop drinking. Let me get one more drink. I'm gonna be pissing all night. I'm not gonna be able to go to bed. Hold on, one more time. Oh my god! It's the chia seeds. No! I have to go pee again. How many times is that? The the last time didn't even update. It should be like five now. <sighs> Alright, y'all gonna have to sit tight for me. We'll we'll be back with Deborah. Oh man. I need something to suck up all this damn water. I'm gonna just eat these blue tortilla chips with no salt added. Oh, this shit gonna be nasty. All right, Deborah, what's going on, sis? Wait, does that say five or six? <laughs> Deb Deborah, okay, Deborah. <sighs> I'm gonna be up all night. Hold on, let me check. Do I got work tomorrow? Mm, I 
sure do. I'm glad I checked because my ass would have slept through that appointment. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Did I post the right link? Okay, yeah, that looks right. All right, here we go. I'm going to be that vlogger. A slow press is basically a temporary hair straightening method, which is usually done on Afro textured natural hair. Lord, is these so the Africans again? Process, whereby you can literally see curly natural hair become sleek, bone straight hair in one sitting without the use of chemicals, just heat. So, watching videos of silk presses became a thing for me at some point. It was very relaxing and soothing, and always very beautiful to see the end results with, you know, juicy, bouncy curls. So yeah, it had always been in my pseudo list. It had always been in my explore list for my hair. Did we watch her before? Things with my hair. So yeah, I decided this to looks familiar. Hair. The steps are quite simple. Shampoo, deep condition, blow dry. Yeah, I remember this. With heat protectant, of course. All the steps were followed for my process. Like I said, the style is quite temporary and should revert back to natural if everything goes as planned. There are a series of steps when trying to revert from straight back to your curly natural hair. And if everything goes as planned, if the process was done correctly, if you use enough heat protectant, there are just a lot of factors which will determine the success of the reverting process. So on this particular day, I decided to take out my silk press between two weeks and it was time to revert back to natural. Good morning. I am about to take out my silk press. Can you believe that? I am hoping that I don't have any damage. I'm a bit scared because when I have my pad, these strands usually get wet. Like the strands at the back of my hair usually get wet, but they don't curl back up. They don't. They don't shrink back. <laughs> and it just got me really scared. So because I'm a bit scared that I have heat damage already, I went ahead to buy this sheer moisture. Jamaican black castor oil to strengthen and restore the treatment mask. It is made with shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. Okay, so it's like a treatment mask for heat styled hair, chemically processed hair, and natural hair. So we are going to dive into this. It comes sealed, which is a good thing because some of these hair products don't come sealed. What? <laughs> it smells so divine. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna be using this. I also have my spray bottle. That's only like a very small section. I'm working in sections because I don't want to, what's the word? I don't want my hair to tangle. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that I get it. The city of my hair, it's going to take a while for the moisture to really like do its work. I will just leave this in. I think it's going to revert. I'm hopeful. Really First step to knowing that you've got a heat damage is by just using ordinary water, just water to saturate your hair and then see how your curls form from that moment. What is going on? What is going on? It was at this moment that I began to really get scared. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. My hair. So um, basically, heat damage is when your hair remains bone straight after applying heat, or when your curls do not return back to how they were before. So basically, your curl pattern is distorted. So I used to have thick, fussy natural hair, very curly, thick, tight curls. But I noticed that my curls were no longer tight. This was when I started seeing my curls. And so they were loose, they had lost elasticity, so they were no longer shrinking. I'm actually still natural, doing this in sections. <laughs> Just wet your hair. What are you worried about? Tangling? Okay, <laughs> about this one. So scared. 
so it's usually advised that after getting heat styled hair you do a little bit of protein treatment because basically whenever you use heat on your hair it removes keratin which is a protein that makes up your hair the hydrogen bond so is just kind of like floating around protein treatment, right? it's just it's like kind of like doing whatever so when the keratin protein is lost there are holes or let's say gaps that form within your hair cuticles so the protein treatment right after that would help to fill in those gaps by reconstructing the protein that have been lost so now um basically that's why i use the mask that had a little bit of protein in it as opposed to the afoji two-step treatment which i was seeing every other youtuber use when they got a heat damage so that's a very strong protein treatment and if used wrongly it could cause your hair to literally break and fall apart so i went with a milder protein treatment if you do the protein treatment wrong you could definitely get a protein overload which means too much of protein in your hair so basically the level of protein and moisture in your hair is not balanced so it makes your hair to become unusually dry very lifeless split ends stiff and it could literally fall off so yeah this was basically the reason why i went in with a mild protein treatment using the sheer moisture um strengthen and restore treatment mask okay so i followed that up by rinsing it out first and then using a shampoo to cleanse my scalp and cleanse my hair Oil. You're right, it is giving Gina curls. Oh, big time. My hair is literally in this right now. Time to be a straight natural. I'm going to try one last step. This is all that I have. One last step using this conditioner. So I decided to deep condition using this sheer moisture conditioner as well and I actually noticed that while I was applying it my hair began to look um, fuller but um, it still didn't build as much so Just a waste of time What am I going to do? I have no idea but it's not much it's not much I can do I don't know maybe i should have done like a proper deep conditioning treatment but the hair was already gone before we even got to the deep conditioning step so yeah that's basically how i lost my hair so from this clip you can see the damage you can see the bone straight you can see 3a you can even see a little bit of maybe 4a 4b you can see 3c so there was just a lot of curl pattern going on in my hair strands so you can see this part was just completely bone straight so i had to reach out to the salon and they asked me to come in to assess so that they could assess the situation okay so i got there um in order for him to see the damage of course he had to wet my hair so we ended up doing like a protein treatment and a deep moisture treatment as well wait you went back there you went you went back you went back and let them touch your hair again This is what you wanted. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's hard to find a good salon where she's at. But child, that was not the answer. And then um, I eventually had to cut off the strands that were, you know, damaged. Okay, so because the strands which were damaged were at the back and at the sides. Oh! I needed to see the oh! So they come in every week for complimentary protein and maybe deep moisture treatment just to help revive the hair. Oh! But I had to assess the whole situation. And I said, um, if you're being honest, the hair is going to be There's no point in the hair. Yeah! So I assessed the situation and looked at everything and after it myself still looks bad ago, i decided to get a big chop so basically i cut my hair you did all that and then went home and cut your hair i couldn't stand the different textures i was seeing on my hair and i'm a natural hair influencer I cannot he really tried to make that shit look cute. Then they're seeing damaged strands, so I just decided to basically start from scratch. You can even see from this, like my hair was just very lean. No, you just need to cut lifeless. everything. Just cut it and some down to the had scalp. Damaged strands, some part had curls, so it was just not looking healthy. So I just decided to chop everything off. So yeah, um, the salon actually took 100% responsibility for their actions, and um, like I said, they gave me like complimentary, um, what's it called now, treatments every week. But I couldn't just do that. It was just not. It wasn't realistic if we're being honest because the hair was just damaged from like from all angles okay so um the owner of the salon actually reached out to me and you know they all apologized and i'm like well what's done is done okay the damage well, has at least happened. they apologize like, i have to move on from here now i told her that i cut my hair 
I, like you guys. This is gonna be choppy as hell. Know that I was, I was in a very bad place mentally, but I just decided the best thing was to cut it off. <laughs> the way she's cutting his hair. <laughs> oh my god, um, yeah, girl, you're not helping the situation. As a complimentary hair care package, so they sent me their products for me to basically kickstart my natural hair journey. Again. Wait, they did what? Hair, I, like you guys don't know how sad I was. I was in a very bad place mentally, but. I just decided the best thing was to cut it off so that I just don't keep on thinking about it, okay? So oh, she was depressed. Hmm. It's okay. You are not your hair. So, um, yeah, I also got, like, a full range of their products as a complimentary hair care package. So they sent me their products for me to basically kickstart my natural hair journey again. And, um, yeah, so that's that's basically how I lost my hair, you guys. That's this shit didn't help me keep my hair healthy. And this is, like, my fourth big chop that I have done voluntarily. Like, without maybe, maybe when I was a kid, my parents were like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, Whoa, well, how do we end up here? Did I hit the button? Oh shit, that's what I get for being stupid. My hair, I don't know, but the ones that I know of, this is like my fourth big job, so yeah <laughs> welcome to a new journey you guys Same. okay my loves so this is me <laughs> this is me real time right now i'm coming up here i want to show you guys what my hair is looking like in person right now and um i have my hair in like finger curls currently and trust me i am loving every bit of it and so we are we're back to square one literally so i just wanted to say um, i feel like you guys are going to acknowledge or what's the word appreciate this journey because this is a journey i'm not stopping um natural hair content mm -mm. now nah, it's just in me to try out new things with my hair i love seeing the different things that i can achieve with my natural hair which was what drove me <laughs> to do a seal press but um yeah i'm not stopping creating content so i'm still gonna be creating content and i feel like yeah you guys are gonna appreciate it more now because you're gonna be seeing, makeup looks um, so good pro, you're gonna see the progress and everything so you guys would basically follow through on the journey and you know see what works for me if it works for you perfect and all of that so the techniques also matter so i'm sharing some techniques which i'll be using to basically get my hair up to speed okay so yeah <laughs> oh god i can't believe i'm this happy like one week ago i was in a very bad place mentally i was like girl you just cut off one source of your income like you just cut off your income source <laughs> but um my mentality has definitely changed within the past couple of days i i can still create content like if i want to show you guys how i got these finger curls now that's content for me because that's natural hair content <laughs> so um yeah it doesn't stop even with a big chop that's still content for me because um i love trying oh lord the pressure to have hair and showcase hair on a video is immense apparently or you know short silly weenie afro content um how to do stuff even when your hair is short you know the vibes <laughs> but yeah okay and also when it comes to the salon where i actually got the silk friends done honestly i hold no grudges against them if i'm being honest with you guys there's no there's no hate at all my review still stands it's an amazing salon when it comes to taking care of natural hair they do silk presses on a normal day i just don't know why mine was different and i'm not going to use just one um one failed experiment to kind of judge every other thing right i've gone there before and i, I enjoyed that service um but this one so you ain't learned your lesson. All right. Um, but when it comes to heat, I will just tell you, do not, do not. It doesn't matter the, the salon you're going to. Just Stockholm don't get a syndrome. Press. It's not worth it. It's really classic not. textbook. Case. It's really not. So don't just get a silk press when you're using heat. I've just just avoid heat basically because you never know. So I hope you guys will come with me on this journey to growing a healthy long hair because I believe I can get healthy hair. And long hair at the same time which is my goal this time around uh, um, that's basically it um please stick around with me for the journey by subscribing to my channel down below like this video if you enjoyed it <laughs> also comment down below what your thoughts are how do you like this i feel like i'm rocking it well but mm, your opinion still uh, i'm asking for your opinion but i feel like i'm rocking it well but yeah let me know what you guys think 
so um yeah that's basically it for this video thank you guys so much for the support so well, I can definitely say I appreciate the salon taking accountability, offering complimentary services, giving her free products. Like, they definitely held themselves um, accountable and tried to accommodate her. So I think outside of that, it wasn't really too much else that they could do. So I'll definitely give, give them that as far as, like, customer service and professionalism. But... I mean, unless you're going in there to be a straight natural, mm -mm. the salon is trash. I mean, if you, if I know how to burn food, like if I if I know how to burn some eggs, that don't mean I know how to cook. That just means I know how to fry some motherfucking eggs and burn this shit. Like, I feel like the same thing goes with here. If you don't know how to do um, a, a heat styling service, without completely compromising the health and integrity of somebody's natural curly hair, like, you need to brush up on some classes, pull back on the heat, like, you need to brush up on your, your, your cosmetology, bro. It just ain't, it ain't, mm -mm, it ain't a good situation. It's not a good look. So, um, yeah, the salon gets a no from me. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we have next? Um, I believe we have a, a cash up here, and then let me find out. Jermaine, did you ever answer my question? I forgot I asked you. The makeup, this makeup is making her skin look so rich. She was already pretty. Yeah, and it matched her skin tone, too. <laughs> <laughs> fun shade. Child, a lot of these Africans, they'll go and put up all the makeup and then be like five shades lighter. You'd be like, wait, <laughs> what? Is that the look? Wait, hold on. I hope chia seed water becomes a trend for growing natural hair so you can hate it as much as we do. <laughs> Girl, don't be taking out your frustrations on me because them damn kids is uh, driving you up the wall. I, me and my chia seeds ain't do nothing to you. Why y'all be hating on my chia? You know, I wish I could drink this shit. Look at it. Look at it. Respect the chia seeds. Respect it. They do nothing to you. I'm going to get a little sip. Now, Jermaine, I'm trying to find your... Okay, I give up. Someone make a video about chia seed water for hair and be extra about it. You know what? I'm going to look that up. Actually, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Chia seed water for hair. Let's see what comes up. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? Look at it. It's right there. <laughs> You know what? Thanks, Jermaine. I'm going to use your request to watch Chia Seed Water. Y'all can thank Jermaine for that. Actually, I was supposed to see... Let me see. So, yes, that's what we'll do. Then we'll do Lisa's Cash App request for Jermaine's Mish Leave In and Twisting Something. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. So y'all want to hate on my chia seeds, I'm going to drink this shit every chance I get. I'm going to take it to work tomorrow, and I'm going to cheer it up. And you know what? I'm going to get me a, a background situation. I'm going to get me a shelf. I'm going to put the shit right here. Well, I, I can't put no shelf. I'm going to get a table. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to get my Barack Obama chia pet, and he going to sit right here on the fucking screen blocking your view, and y'all ain't, ain't going to be able to have shit to say. Respect the Chia Seeds. Respect my Bar Barack Obama Chia Pet. As racist and offensive as that shit is, I'm still gonna put it here. 
Because you're rude, you're disrespectful, and it's going to stop. <laughs> oh my god. No, I did try to find the Barack Obama Chia pit. I couldn't find it. However, they do have the, the Bob Ross. But I know I've seen the Barack Obama one on TV. I don't know if it was a limited edition one, but I'm going to find me one on Amazon. If y'all find one, be sure to give me the link. All right. Hmm. All right, let's check it out. Hey, everyone, and welcome. Today, I'm going to be telling you about my little secret, Chia Water. I am very, very, very excited to tell you about this little gem. Um, okay, so where it all began for me was I used to use rice water and I did use it over and over and over again, but I know- Hold on, y'all said Jermaine changed his request to Curly Guy. Okay, somebody gave me the option to pick one. All right, Trina let me pick one, so I, this'll be Trina's request. All right, thank you, Trina. That I didn't get the best results. It wasn't really working for me. Hold on, which then... Curly Guy video was it? Just so I know, which, which one was it? Can someone elaborate, please? Oh, curly guy, follow Katie Diz, Bianca Renee video. Okay, got it. And I used chill water, and I found that my hair turbo speeded in growth. I found that my hair grew at such a rapid rate, and I was able to maintain the growth as well. So I came up with this technique because, as I said, rice water really wasn't working for me. The smell was horrible. I noticed it really dried out oh, my hair, water, so okay. much so that the back started to break. So as it wasn't working for me, I had to think of an alternative. So as you do, you go to the internet, you start Googling, you start researching, and I stumbled across some information on chia seeds. Um, I researched a little bit more and I found out about the origin of chia seeds and their history. So chia seeds first came on the scene 3,500 BC and they were found and discovered by the Mayan civilization in South America. So these chia seeds became a integral part of their diet. But not only that, they used the chia seeds for medicine, they ground it into their flour, they used it to press it into an oil. So I thought, okay, this seems pretty interesting. Let me find out more. Um, Chia in Mayan actually means strength, and I thought, yes! Now you're talking, my hair needs strength. Um, not only that, I found a whole list of benefits. So let me just read you the list. What is wrong with okay. you? You ready? So, chia seeds have a high content of phosphorus, an ingredient proven to encourage hair growth. The chia seed contains nine amino acids, which also relate to stronger hair, skin, and nails. We all know that protein is essential for hair growth. As well as that, chia seeds are rich in Eat the damn chia seeds and, and stop slapping shit up they in your hair. Just eat the and shit. Like, honestly, I could go on and on and on about the benefits of chia. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you the technique that I use. God damn, that's a lot of chia seeds. No, see, my chia water don't look like that. She put a whole bunch of damn chia seeds up in there. Ooh. Maybe I should blend my chia seeds. All right, who's gonna... You know what? I'm gonna do a chia seed treatment on my beard locks. Just so I can troll y'all. Sure am, sure am. Yes, all right, I love it. T-shirt, wet T-shirt. <laughs> it is legit wet T-shirt. <laughs> this is literally what all the like influencers do. They go and find something on Google that ain't nobody doing. And they're like, oh, chia water, let's use that. And I'm just going to get on and say, this has been growing my hair. And just sit here and do this one treatment in the shower and claims that it grows my hair. Girl, you've been had long hair since we've been watching you. Like, why do y'all do this? And then why do y'all buy into the, the, the bullshit? I, that's what I don't understand. It'd be one thing if the person was like doing this 
for like years and years and years. Like the old girl who was like gung ho for the water only washing. She did that shit for years, and half of y'all was like, "Yeah, my hair can't handle this shit." So yeah, I, I'd have more respect for it if y'all could just be like consistent with the shit. But no, y'all just want to every every month, every month is something An updated routine, updated wash it. Like, why is nothing ever consistent? <laughs> It's never the same. Ooh, it looks messy. Yeah, get that get them bits out of your hair. Is that gonna wash out of your shirt? I appreciate her for wearing the top over the bikini. It's the new treatment, it's the new oil, it's the new this, it's the rose water. It's like, can, can it can it just be healthy hair care? Can it just be that? Nope, that's too simple. That's that's too simple. Too much work. Just give me give me something to fix all of my problems. This is it. to love using the chia water you can make a whole jar and store it just just make sure you store it in the fridge you can make it as and when you go it is amazing i do find when you're applying it it has such a nice slip it easily coats your strands i would highly highly recommend this technique because it's easy it's cheap to do and you can do it from home the first time i tried it my hair immediately felt so soft and it felt so strong after my curls were juicy. You can you can probably see now. My curls are, were so, so juicy. I'm telling you, you will be amazed. So because of my results, I've continued to use it over and over and over again. You know what? I've thought several times I should probably call it a chia conditioner because it feels so luxurious and silky on my hair. It, it feels more like a conditioner than actual chia water. It feels so creamy. You don't even need to massage it. No, it I'm not allowing you to pump me full of bullshit. Girl, just glide shut for the... The lie, there you go, bitch. The lie. Telling you, trifling. Okay. And I put an elastic band at the top and bottled water. She got the chia water leaving. Literally just spray and off I go. And y'all thought I was gung ho for chia seeds. Water and the chia seed spritz leaving. I just love both of them. I'm super, super happy with the results that I've been getting from them. And I can honestly see why the Mayan civilization loved chia seeds. They are fantastic. Try take into consideration that everyone's hair is different, so everyone will get different results. Um, I've had excellent results. Oh, I tried look to at her. And she's going to be ashamed of herself coming out looking like that. Heat. Hey, girl! Oils, and I find the chia seed water has really enhanced my hair routine. I've got a pretty simple hair routine that I do stick to, and I find with my hair, less is definitely more. I really hope you enjoyed this video and give me a huge thumbs up if you did. This is the first video I've made Chia corrected my scoliosis. Um, remember as well, when you do try the chia water, come back, write down, tell everyone Chia seed saved my marriage. Let others see that it works. All I have to say now is thank you for watching. Chia seeds repaired my broken hydrogen bonds. Bye. Oop, speaking of fixing a, fixing a marriage. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> All right, YouTube is definitely listening. I will be right back. Um, Y'all know what time it is. Um, yeah, just just sit tight. Bro. I need to get all this water out of my system. Chia seeds raised my credit score. 
that was not fun shade. That was a tr- yeah. That that was a, a, a poor taste in the joke. I, I definitely stand by it. That was a that was a bad joke. Divorce is definitely a serious uh, serious thing. It shouldn't be made light of. So I I definitely take uh, <laughs> I, I take uh, you know accountability for that. All right. Um, I hope they work it out, though, for real, for the kids. Hey! Chia seeds cured my lazy eye. Chi- I saved a bunch of money by switching the chia seeds. <laughs> chia seeds grew back my edges. Chia seeds bought my bundles. Chia seeds brought me back from the dead. <laughs> Chia seeds made my mom and dad get back together. <laughs> All right, so let me see. Jermaine wanted to watch uh, Curly Guy. What, what was this? Uh, did I spell it right? What video am I looking at? Somebody help me. I miss Chia Pets. Chia seeds cure my depression. Someone give Glam Fam some Chia seeds. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Y'all not going to leave. We, look, we going to leave Glam Fam out of this. Watch after Katie did be awkward. Wait, who 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 did what? That's about her name, right? What am I missing here? Am I not typing it right? Should I put the watch after? Let me see. Oh, Katie. Wait, you're saying Katie requested it. Oh, okay. You're saying watch after hers. Oh, okay. I get it now. I was like, Katie did. Who is Katie? Like, who who are y'all talking about? (laughs) I was confused. My bad. It's late. My brain is mush like chia water or a chia smoothie. Well, before we do Katie's, let's do um let's do Lisa's request for Jermaine's Mish Leaving video. Let me see. Is this the recent one? I haven't seen it. Wait, do you always post on Thursday? It seems like you always have a new video on Thursdays. Got it. Chia seeds paid my student loans. Chia seeds fixed my erectile dysfunction. Yes, sir. It's 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Okay. We love us a consistent king. Okay. Because y'all know it damn show ain't me. (laughs) Okay, here we go. Welcome, welcome to Jermaine Unnatural. I am Jermaine Ryan. Hey, a fortune teller. And <laughs> continuing on with Mesha Madness. I can't be as loud because it's late and people are asleep. Mesha Madness. I'm, I'm ready to. I'm ready to style. So using the rest of the things that were in my box. And remember that any videos that pop up above will always be linked down below in the description box for you to watch after this one. They also might be in the end cards too. So I will be using the Mish Lavish. 
leave-in conditioner. And for the first time ever, I will actually be twisting my hair with butter. And I'll be using Quench, the hydrating and twisting. Butter. I normally use creams to twist my hair, so this should be interesting and different. Hair is freshly washed and deep conditioned. Beep. So now what it says is that you want to do this on, after, wash, after washing and conditioning, you want to do this on damp hair. So I have on my nice microfiber turban and... Your hair is still pretty damp. As I have mentioned before with the other videos that I've done, this Mish Madness um, is that the ingredients are all good on here. So water, aloe vera juice, Behetrimony Methyl B. You got your Cetero alcohol, avocado, shea, you got castor, nettle, you got sage, you got horsetail, chamomile, lavender, rosemary. This sounds like a tea. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that smells good. Everything just smells Why is that so funny good. to me? Jeez Louise. If I were going to, wow, that is real, real creamy. If I was going to compare this to a lotion, this would definitely be like a normal, normal to dry because it's creamy, but it's got some thickness too. It's the smell. Damn. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. A strawberry Jolly Rancher. Oh, I like strawberry. Mm -hmm. Either cherry or strawberry Jolly Rancher. That's what it smells like. All right, and going to apply. Did I mention that I was going to be doing a twist out? Yes, I did. <laughs> Ooh, when that bass drop. Maybe strawberry or watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's, it's one Ooh. of the ones in the red bag. <laughs> Your hair hears the command, break. Better be gentle with that brush. Alright, so let me go ahead and section my hair off as I have mentioned in several of my twist out and stuff videos is that my number where my hair I think looks the best is anywhere between 18 and 24 twists. So let me go ahead and section it off and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll start on with this. Voila. Like. Okay, got all of my sections done here. I do have a nice angular part that's going to be happening here. Quenched. Ooh, whip head. <sighs> Oh, my nose itches. So it smells very similar to the lavish. It smells like the bag of red Jolly Ranchers. All right, now how do you use this? Section hair apply even to clean damp hairstyle as desired. It says for maximum moisture and definition, lay on top of our lavish leave-in conditioner. Spritz hair with water and then apply even the section <laughs> hair twist the braid. Um, and same things with these, all great ingredients, very clean. Um, what do we have here? Water, behetromethyl, cetero, kapasu, water. Ooh, sesame seed oil, sweet almond oil, cast. No chia seeds. Skip! Seed. Slight bit of cream, but mainly thick. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. The way this clip is just Let hanging. Make sure it is good and detangled. Boom, there you go. First one, done. Uh, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good indeed, precious. All right, gonna do the rest. <laughs> Damn, he got through his hair quick. <laughs> solid hour it's so consistent it takes me an hour every time to braid my hair or to twist my hair but yes um here's how they are looking and i have a total of 24 twists yeah! and so as you can see there i've got my scarf already ready so i'm gonna go ahead and tie this down for the night and i'll probably come back take it down and i will talk about what both of these two things said what they did and if there is anything that i need from them all right. Um, hey, it me. All right. It has been a the Mickey awesome Mouse shirt. <laughs> Y'all know how it is when you put twists in your hair and the intention or braids or braids or flat twists. When the intention is to take it out a couple of days later, then you realize like, hey, I don't actually have to do anything to my hair. I'm going to just let these sit in for a few more days. Yep.
Yep. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting ready to go to work. Y'all already know how it is when I'm getting ready to go to work. My energy is more than higher than higher than high, and I'm talking a lot faster than normal. What? So I'm going to go ahead, take the twist down, do a light fluff. So to take down my braids, I'm, of course, going to use the polish, the hair and scalp oil, made with argan and jojoba. 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 Not Jojo. But it's pronounced jojoba. But ho ho. <laughs> All right, so just a couple of drops because y'all know I use too much oil. Greasy. All right, so I'm gonna rub that on. Starting to, oh my gosh. Ooh, everything smells so good and delicious. All right, first twist. Boom. <laughs> delicious. Bam, right there. It look good, yeah? And I'm gonna go ahead and separate these now. It's crazy because I'm subscribed, but I don't find you around my as subscriptions say, to see to if you're live. And the way they are mm. not coming apart on their own, I'm going to have to make them. YouTube is such a hater. That's how this area looks. They so don't want to see me win. The rest. All right, all taken down. I actually haven't even looked at it yet. All I know is I can feel this definition that's happening in here. I it know do that. move. <laughs> all right, so, oh, and also, also just to note, I think... That I successfully took down all of my twists. I don't think that there are any left in here that are still twisted together. All right, so let me do y'all a quick 360. Ooh, definition is good. Wow. This is unfluffed, unpicked, very simply taken down. All right, so, oh, top, top. You have to see the yeah, top. it does look really moist. Okay, so let me get my big pick, <laughs> that, that, that pattern beauty big boy, and um, I'll be right back. That All thing right, is so big. Lifted, yeah, <laughs> That's what he said. I didn't really separate too many more of the twists. Y'all know I like to give it a few days like this, kind of similar to my wash and goes, and then kind of separate as the week goes on. Um, but right now, wow, this is impressive. Wow, this is impressive. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go now. Um, so I will come back, talk about what it said, what everything said, what it did, and if there's anything that I need. There is so much definition here. It's it's almost like I twisted it with the gel because it's just holding so well. Okay, let it me does go, look like I'm that. sitting on Marvel at this. Hey, it me. All right, so it has been about two, three days since I took down the twists. Let's start with the 360. Ooh, that's salt and pepper coming in full force. <laughs> what are you doing? Why does it sound like rolling thunder every time you turn? <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what the thing said, what they did, and if there's anything that I need from them. So very, very first on the list is the Mish Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. So per the website, moisturizing, detangling, moisture-rich ingredients. Hair will be feeling soft and replenished. And then it also says that you can use it as a detangler. Now, since I had already started detangling with both the shampoo and with the deep conditioner, my hair was well detangled by the time I got to, so the other dying. things. Moisturized, mm. conditioned, yes. Oh my gosh, this, okay, so I'm not gonna spend all day on the smell, but fabulous, magnificent, delicious. <laughs> what That's color would you dye if you wouldn't hit it? Reviewing the niche things from what I've experienced so far with the smell. Okay, so we never have to guess that. We never have to wonder. It's gonna smell good. Period. My hair is so super soft. It went on really, really easily, and it did absorb into my hair really quickly, which is something that I really did like about it. Soft conditioning to this day. Like I'd be sitting at my desk, and I'd just be like, I'd be finding them, and I'd be like. <laughs> And they just come apart. So soft. A brown so easy. Bleach. Okay. <laughs> I, I think that it did everything that it said that it was going to do. It's nice and creamy. You don't need a lot of it to go into your hair. I, 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 I would like a brown. Really well. I'd everything. like a good I need brown. Nothing from it. Next. Quenched. So extra hydrating butter replenishes and revitalizes dry, thirsty hair. Uh, the buttercream can also be used as a light hold styler to achieve defined and moisturized braid and twist outs. Right, and then it says that it also has moisturizing and sealing properties with the butter that are in here. Soft and hydrated. Perfect. Yes. So, this hair, right? Three to four days after taking it down. You might be like, mm, a bit frizzy, Jermaine. A bit frizzy. <laughs> well, remember, I was ripping through my hair. I wouldn't say ripping, but I was really going through it, and I was not taking my time when I was taking down my twist, because like I said, I was getting ready for work that morning, and I had a solid 10 minutes. The other part of that, as I always mention, is that I'm still working on perfecting my twist outs. And in taking it down, very particularly with this section, like right over here, it's the most frizziest. Some of the twists over there were smaller than others, and so I over-separated them. 
I'm still working on it, but for the ones that worked out well, where like the patches where the twists were all the same area, stupid, mm. stupid definition. And there's still tons of defined twists that are in here, just all over the place. They're just, like I said, at the same time, I have been sitting at my desk and I've been like, do do do. Get your hands doo-doo. out your hair. Do do do. Separate. <laughs> they're so, they're, because they were so defined. And, it's a, and, it, and it is a really solid medium hold, but my hair is really soft. So had I not been separating, basically playing in my hair for the last couple of days and separating them very randomly throughout the workday, then it would look the same way that it did. All of I these first hydrogen bonds, just everywhere. Just all, all of the friends is going I every which way. I like it though. And then my unknown area here that doesn't have real definition is still good. Like it's, this, this part of my hair does really, really good with twists. You may notice my ends are not the best on some of them, but you know, I'm in that time. I think that it was good i think that so i'm definitely going to do another twist out i'm going to try it again not rush through it do it on a day where i don't have to rush to take them down and i'll kind of do an, up, an update on it just to kind of give you like what it really looks like why if you do it they properly, call it jesse it. <laughs> bussy smoke but other than that I, I think that both things performed well they both did everything that they said that they were going to do another thing about this like i said my first time using butter. my hair is not heavy it doesn't feel weighed down when the wind was blowing it moved <laughs> This was a good cherry pop. Is that too vulgar? Oh! I was or like, wait, what? First to do a twist out. I, it was, this is the new That caught me off guard. Polished. Yes, I think that it was lightweight. Using it just on my ends when I twisted it. Put a little bit in my area here that is a little thin. I never got any that dripped down into my face. It was, it was really, really good. And of course, the smell is amazing. I highly recommend. I highly recommend. But um, this was really good. Super solid and impressive. All right, so let me know between the lavish and the quenched. Have you used these? Did they do everything for you that they said that they were going to do? Let me know down below in the comments. All right, make sure that you like this video. Press the red subscribe button down there to the time and it's just the beginning of the year. My niche madness isn't over yet. Feel free to share this out if somebody else may want to know how the Mish lavished and quench and or quenched, quenched work. Punch the notification bell so that you can stay. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Bryce, I will not post my videos. And again, thank you for tuning in to Jermaine on the draw. And I'll see you in the next. <laughs> what was this? I'm so confused. <laughs> this nigga just broke out in song and dance. I'm so done. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. We gotta where were we at? So many videos. Okay. Um So where are we at? Let me let me count how many we, we got left. So we have Bailey's Request, Peace Jewel, Day Young. Deandra, um, A N. Katie did what? And what is that like six? Yeah, I think that's six. Okay, I think I think that's it. Oh, and then and then Jermaine's video. So that's what seven seven. Okay. All right, so next we got Bailey, huge flat iron mistakes. Stop burning your hair off. Marcel flat iron. Who is still using a Marcel? Who got time to be putting iron in stoves? Time to get cute, mama. I thought Marcel's were st the standard in salons. Um, in most beauty schools, they train you with the electric ones. They might do a quick little how-to with the traditional iron ones. Cause honestly, the electric the electric ones don't hit like them, them iron metal Marcells do. Like nothing really silks out and gives that shine to hair like like traditional Marcells. So 
I will say that it, it it don't hit the same. Actually, maybe we should watch a video on it one day. So today is going to be a topic that you asked for, and it's highly important that everybody needs to know, which is the how you iron and not burn your hair off. And I feel like I am the perfect person to discuss this topic because I have burned my hair with these things. Not one, not two, but three times, and my hair is still here. It's not gone. So I have learned, and let me also mm -hmm. tell you that I am in no way, shape, or form a licensed cosmetologist to do hair. This was the first time that I burnt my hair, and y'all could just imagine how my face looked. And I wanted to cry. Like, I really wanted to just break down and cry, and I could just hear the sizzle on my head. And you know what that feeling is, and you have it on your head, even with a flat iron. And you know you done effed up. <laughs> like, that's the only way to put it. Like, you done effed up your hair. So at this point, I have the Marcel iron on my hair and I can hear it sizzling and I didn't even want to take it off because I knew that if I took it off, my hair was going to come out with it and show. Now this, I burnt that thing all the way off. So I went out there and showed my husband and everything and we laughed. So that was number one. But it's grown back so much, you can hardly even tell that I even did it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And I have a couple other spots in my head that we're going to get to in this video. So make sure you're watching. So now we get what we pay for. If we want them salon results in the house, we have to know how to get those salon results properly. Now I just got finished dyeing my hair red, so I felt like today would be the perfect day to go ahead and record this video for you because I'm going to go ahead and pull out the Marcel iron anyway. Now I have all of this red dye oh. on this thing. I know I'm wrong for this. Oh. You know, this is a rookie move. You know that when you dye your hair, you're supposed to put something on the top of it. Oh. And I clearly did not do that. But I tried to put some bleach on it, and it's just not coming up still. What do you guys suggest in this situation if you dyed your hair and got all this hair down on the sink? Like, please let me know because I do this all the time, and I, I know better. I know better than that. Acetone? The hot stove that we have right here that I'll be using. Oh. That been using. It's oh. Then everything changed when the fire nation attacked. I attack. have learned plug up your iron and let it warm up at least, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes. Because if your stove is not hot and then you go in to put your iron, you're going to be spending more time oh. trying to heat your iron up and the stove is not even hot enough. But you want to over the Oh it my does God. Make, like, this loud noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like a buzzing noise. Now these are the Marcel iron that we have here. I have several of these and they all are different sizes. This is the one that I normally use. Ooh, boy, this. this is giving me anxiety. This one I used to use and you can see that it's bigger, but I think I left it in the dang on stove one night. It's messed up. It won't close all the way. And I think what I did was when I turned my stove off, I left the iron in the stove and it must have altered the metal in it. And ever since then, it has not been the same. And I'm really upset about that, but um, I'm just gonna have to get a new one. But that is definitely one thing. Again, you know, trial and error. Do not leave your Marcel iron in this position after you turn your stove off. Now I also have a, another size that's bigger than this and fatter than this, but I can't find it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I think it's in my closet somewhere. And I don't right. like looking forward y'all. But when I wait, and that's another thing that you wanna have use on my fork because I just don't have time to play around with it. But your finger and your ring finger and your pointer finger and your pinky finger is on the outside. So you really have to make sure you keep your hands still because these things move and they rotate. You know, hold it and be able to move the flat iron up and down. So once you get the hang of that in and out motion, you're good. So just practice that. Now the next important thing that you're gonna to need to make sure you don't burn your hair off is to get a white towel or white cloth. So this is an old t-shirt that I'm using. It's still clean. I used this yesterday when I washed my hair and dried my hair. So I'm not gonna dirty nothing else up. And the main thing you want it is for this white part right here. So when you take your iron out the stove, you're gonna run it across. And if it turns brown, like a strip of brown, then you know your heat is too hot. And you're going to let your iron sit to the side before we put it on our hair. Our iron is still heating up. I'm going to give it about five more minutes. And then we're going to be ready to rock and roll. Also, I feel like what you put in your hair while you straighten it plays a part. So I normally use some oil. That's what I do in my hair anyway. I don't put grease in my hair. Now, if y'all know about them Softy. hot combs on the stove. And your mother put that hot comb right on top of that grease. Oh, you heard that sizzle. Okay? And you always would think, is your hair going to fall off at that moment? <laughs> now, the other option you can use is the Dax. You know, that actual hot comb grease. It'll come in a white bottle. 
and it's specifically for hot comb i like that too i just don't have any more right now but that's definitely a good one when i'm doing my hair as well so just pick and choose everyone puts different while cooking the same way when you i want to see her put this iron on she's gonna be there all I had this little stupid part right here is sticking up but luckily my hair yeah yeah go ahead and put out iron in the stove so now i can go ahead and put the iron in and i normally just lay it flat like this or you can turn it this way i like to turn it this way and then leave it open that way the heat can distribute on all of the steels versus just sitting like this but let me know if this is correct like i said i'm not a licensed cosmetologist this is just and then take it out so the first sign to know if your iron is hot after you take it out the stove, sometimes you'll see it smoking. Right now it's not smoking. Um, so what you're gonna do is take your white shirt and if you see like a big brown streak, then you know your iron oh. is too hot. Let me see if I can get it really hot so that way I can show you what you don't wanna see. Ooh. If you get a yellowish or brownish tint on it, that means your flat iron is too hot and you need to let it sit to the side. I don't know if you can see it that good, but this part right here. That Damn, that right shit here, burning like the cotton. Color, that means that that flat iron is too hot. And that's after two minutes of leaving it in the iron. So don't leave it in there for that long. Now that's how I burnt my hair before. The first time was I didn't realize that this yellowish part right here meant that it was too hot. But the shirt will tell you, even though you can't really see it too good on here, just make sure you pay attention to the color on the shirt. If it's you can know what to look for when you take your iron out the Oh, hold on, Megan. Too hot is if I run it over top like this, I would hear it sizzle if it's too hot. But I don't hear that. Oh! Turn it. Then you want to take this piece. Oh! She ain't hitting them roots. With it, you want to make sure you don't burn yourself. And then once you get good enough with it, you know, you want to be able to grab those baby Oh, her face is right there. Oh! We're gonna put it back in the stove. Once you get it hot to the temperature, you know from there you don't have to keep it in the stove for too long. Just enough time to see it smoking from the stove. If you don't see it smoking from the stove, once you pull it out the stove, you should see some smoke coming off of it. As long as it's light, you're fine. Again, come on over. And even as you're flat ironing, you can feel the heat on it and you can see it smoking. And then from there, we're going to keep it going. But you see, it's no burn and it's straight. Okay, ladies? Hopefully, you're getting the hang of this and I'm answering all your questions. And the good thing is, I want to be. What's the difference between using cloth and paper towels? You got to ask somebody else because they okay, always I, told us to use paper towels. YouTube, but this is the first time I heard you putting it on the shirt. They burnt their own hair. But I'm here to tell you, and you have seen live and up close, that you can burn your hair but it will roll back, so do not fear. And that's the one thing with the YouTube videos that I have watched in the past, is that they'll tell you, you know, certain things about the Marcel iron, but of course we want real life situations, knowing that you can actually burn your hair off and what it looks like to burn your hair off. So I'm here to give it to you. I'm gonna show you all and tell you all, because those are the type of videos that I would wanna see and wanna know about my hair. I know I told you, is already um, straightened and as you can see even with no oil in it it's still fine so we're gonna go ahead and continue this process and be back she said no oil i may do it after the fact once everything is already um straightened and as you can see even with no oil in it it's still fine Last burnt part of my hair and this is oh oh shit! your hair here is the command <laughs> break so the hydrogen bond is like okay break it don't move these are not really there. Wow. Look at her. And she's gonna be ashamed of herself okay. coming out looking like that. Who, who the fuck is Brad? That'll do. Mm, 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 mm. Girl. This was a sign from God. Take it. Put the Marcel down the top of my hair but it's and it's right at the crown which is hard to lay down but, but i'm gonna show you the way i style it you will never know for more marcel iron tips and tricks make Damn, sure you go like ahead and front. subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other hair videos you'll learn a lot there too see you later
I'm sorry. I want to see another one. Hey, look, I'm not even ready to tie my hair up yet, so I'm feeling rich. To make it straight. Oh. Come on, girl. I just want to see you use it. Damn, that shit is smoking. She can barely see past the smoke. She says she will not get rid of these Marcells. She said, I don't care if I burn my hair off two times, three times, five times. I'm going to make this shit work. I will be a straight natural. Girl, you done put a flip in it. But y'all see how it's silking it out? Like, nothing else silks out hair like this. Like, they try to simulate it and recreate it, but it don't, it just don't hit the same. But child, ooh, is it worth it is the question. A beautician burned mine out like that and didn't tell me that heifer. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Okay, um, all right, we got videos to get through, so we're going to go ahead and keep it moving. With Peace Jewel, she said, enjoyed the stream last week. Yay! Big thanks for keeping me kiki in. Taste pink skunk stripe wig. All right, where's Katie? Okay, Katie's at the, she's near the end, so. All right, let's see. Yo, how the fuck she changed her font? What type of... What type of witchcraft is this? She got me. Yup. <laughs> That's messed up, though. I burnt off my friend's hair with an electric uh, hot comb. I told her, I was like, um, yes, yeah, so I probably shouldn't do this anymore because I definitely just burned out a chunk of your hair. It was electric, though. I'm like, what the, f what the fuck? The first swipe, too. And I think I tested the, the iron, too. The paper didn't even turn brown. I was like, after that, I was like, yeah, I'm not touching this shit no more. Mm -mm. Okay. Other things, you can have more fun. And so I wanted to create a rectangular shaped section. And this is where I am going to, you know, create the colorful vibes. So I've already prepared my bleach mixture. For this process, I used a 30 volume developer. And what I will say is I knew I was probably gonna have to do this entire process twice in order to lift the color on this unit. You guys can see it's visibly darker. So it's a little bit darker than your standard natural color, but still, I'm like, you know, I'm game, I'm ready for it. And this is the color that I ended up with the first round. What do y'all think about this? Now, I didn't want to use 40 volume developer because again, I was being a little cautious and 30 is like the perfect medium for me. So again, I'm just repeating this process, hoping to get the section lighter, which I did. And I also noticed with this particular unit, the knots towards the front were bleached well, but I did have to go in and use some of that same bleach mixture to go in and place it on the interior of the cap to bleach those knots. Wasn't happy about doing it, but since I'm bleaching the hair already, might as well. Now, you know, I like pink. I'm obsessed with pink. Like if you didn't know, now you know. And so I'm combining these two colors. And at first I used about half of the bottle, but honestly, again, I noticed I was gonna have to repeat this process. Yeah. And I'm using the watercolor method because I think it's easier. It's honestly a lot less mess, a lot less time consuming. And I think it's more beginner friendly. And with the watercolor method, you know, the less water you use, the better because you are not diluting your color. So I think this works best for me. Make sure that your mixture is uniform.
Oh, I hope this beat don't get me copyright, but shit, this this beat is slamming. And that typically happens unless you're working with like 613 or if you lift the color of the hair substantially. And now, as promised, I did this process twice. I just used the remaining portion of the dye in the bottles, went in for a second round to create an even more vibrant color. What's crazy about this is that I actually wore a unit that's similar to this color, this makeup back in 2017. It's so crazy how trends just like, they come back. Like they were popular at a certain time and all they do is just resurface. Yeah, that's literally uh some heat protection to the hair because I am going to go in and blow dry this unit. But I did allow this unit ample time to dry overnight because I knew I was going to curl it and I am not going to play around with a unit that is slightly damp in the slightest. It needs to be completely dry. But look at the gorgeous color. Like, I did that. Like, it looks a little red, like deep magenta, but it's giving. Now, I like my units to be incredibly comfortable and I definitely wanted to go in and remove the combs that are on the left and right sides using a seam ripper. I show this process throughout some of my videos, but honestly, if you want your unit on flat, flat, and you don't have time for the ball cap method, remove the combs, you will notice such a difference. And it won't snag at your edges, your hairline, or your crown. And I have a seam ripper linked in the description box if you all are interested. And for me, I love trimming the lace around the ear tabs before I go in to install the unit. Okay, now tell me, what do y'all think about the color? Like, for me, it's giving, the lace is a little bit tinted, but I don't care, I don't care. I knew, you know, I gave y'all the bust down middle part in the last video, so I said, let me do a little bit of side part action. <laughs> and I'm using rubber bands to figure out the exact length or where I want to trim the hair. Human hair cuts so much better than synthetic hair. So if you're used to working on synthetic hair, it's so much easier with human hair, but be careful and be as precise as possible. I would rather cut the unit longer than cut it at a shorter length because you can always take away hair. You can't put it back once you cut it. Did a little bit of layering. I didn't really show the process here, but honey, I layered the hell out of this unit. Like y'all saw the intro. And I just love that I'm ready to play and have fun. If it's not for you, that's fine, but <laughs> this is my channel. It's for me. You know, minimal, make it look cute. I don't wanna do too much. The color is already doing the absolute most. And once I beat the face, you start to get, you know, the full effect. Now, I definitely played around with my makeup. I was experimenting. But, you know, here I have just the plain brows, but y'all saw the little, you know, pink brow coming in. But, honey, I love curls when I do a bob. I like the color placement. Now, it's important to fluff the curls and then use a rake comb to really get the curls flowing in the right direction. Oh, my God. Look, girl. Come on. I did that. in the curls this is giving me like a little bit of Keisha Cole vibes back when she used to wear the blonde y'all remember but I'm gonna show you the bust down the duty coming very very soon first of all I did that you know what I'm saying but I also wrapped this hair because I knew it. I'm like let me switch up my brows let me wrap it let's do the duty vibes because I want to preserve the curls and you know honestly this is a lot easier wrap your hair and wrap your wig at night okay honestly wrapping your wig just makes life so much Damn, easier you gotta wrap your wig too? Wrap. I do that I did that one thing about it, I don't care so it looks cute in my opinion I love the look the allure it is stunning you still get some bump in the hair you get the volume and you know just a few slight touches and you're good to go but one thing about this unit i noticed the curls did fall so now do you guys like the curls or do you like the bust down doobie because the doobie is a little bit more subdued i kind of like the curls a bit more this but it's gorgeous i love this it is cute too. Section, how did i do thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more looks i appreciate the love on these videos you guys are awesome and slay the day any way that you see fit. The world is yours, honey. Yay! Thank you. Thank you for that request. That was nice. All right. Um, I would love to see a dark jade or emerald green. Those eyebrows, though, you also create two different looks. Yeah, she did. Okay. Moving on. 
to Day Young's request, Chabley Pat- Peterson, Hair Growth with Placenta. Um. Excuse me, bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come again. That's not what I copied. Child, I need my chia seeds. Now, see, I've heard of consuming your placenta, but using it for your face and your hair. You know what? It ain't for me to understand. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're just gonna watch it. Um mm. oh, ooh, oh my god. Okay, this is kinda oh. I don't know. It seems a little I've seen placenta being sold for hair in beauty supply stores. Yeah, I don't I don't know how normal it is for people to consume or ingest their placenta, but I've heard of that that makes sense so that you can like continue to pass on all that nutrients to your your child, but like to like help your face and like to Nourish your hair. I don't know. Something about that just seems a little vain to me. Um, but okay, it it ain't it ain't my body. Shit, it ain't my placenta. So shit, the fuck. You guys want really nice long hair? I'm talking about recent. This is the secret. Hold on. Let me slow her down, and let me turn her up. Stay tuned. Whoa. So I'm going to make a hair repair treatment with my own placenta. So we're going to be using mayonnaise. Make sure you have mayonnaise. We're going to be using eggs, extra olive oil, and a lemon because it has to smell good. And my placenta. So let's get down and washing and cleaning this placenta. And we're going to be using a blender. What will they think of next? All right, so I'm going to rinse this off and clean it with <gasps> water. I've never seen one before. What? Is that? Oh my god! Get all the blood clocks out of there <gasps> and be very gentle with it. Oh my god! Um, a couple different pieces because it'll be easier to. How is this still on there. YouTube? Don't they flag your videos if you have blood on it? How is this possible? What is this? And you can use any blender you want. <gasps> I just use the smaller blender that I have because it's easier to clean. I'm going to blend it by itself without mixing any products with you it. You're going to put your baby juices in the blender? Oh, 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 I don't want oh, the pieces to get stuck in my hair. Placentography provides a natural source of nutrients for cell production. This is too much! It's too much! What? 
Okay, so now I'm just going to use a little bit of this lemon peeling and I'm going to put a little bit of that in there just for smell to have a nice citrus smell. <gasps> and actually, it does not have a smell because I had it in the freezer, the placenta, but this would help. Okay, so now you want to get your jar ready uh, in a glass bowl. And I'm going to add a little bit of extra protein to this hair treatment formula. I'm going to add uh, two eggs and uh, four spoons of mayonnaise and one teaspoon of honey. And I keep going over blending it and blending it because I need it really, really fine. It's really hard to blend a placenta. Don't eat it. Her house. I'm gonna do one spoon of honey. Her placenta so juice is on the kitchen counter. Get rid of frizz. The it's, mayonnaise is used for uh, conditioner treatment. Oh, the to spoon. Oh, my damaged hair oh, and to bring shine oh, and great hair color. Oh my god. And growth too. <sighs> is the ultimate natural hormone supplement. Oh my God. Placing the placenta in your hair will give it a rich source of testosterone and estrogen. And they both promote healthy hair and stimulate fast growth. I'm looking for a nice consistency. I probably have to blend it a little bit more. I'm going to add some of my vitamin E hair cream and skin. Please tell me it's almost done. I need a really fine consistency so it'll be easy to rinse out of my hair. RNA production increase antioxidants which kills free radicals. Reversing the aging process of the skin and hair. Oh! Oh, it's, it's everywhere! It's everywhere! So that tells us that placentography has many uses. There are a lot of shampoos and conditioners out there using placenta as ingredients, and now you just created your own. So this is the finished product, and I have another video at the end of this video if you guys wanted to see the process of me putting it in my hair. But this is the outcome, and it really defined my curls, and I believe I did get new hair growth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and like it. Give me thumbs up. Just give me a second. <clears throat> Great video. Wish I would have kept my placenta. Wasn't expecting it to be your own placenta, but I'm so here for this. Amazing. So how did it work for you? Yes, but next time I'll make less. I will make more videos of this soon. Oh my word, lady. My God. That's disgusting. This is a recipe that's been used for ages by women of multiple cultures. Lots of benefits. They teach it briefly in school. Be mature. You live with it for nine months and it came out with you. So guess who is really disgusting? I mean... We came from semen, too, but that don't mean I want to put the shit in my hair. Um, 
Okay, so I don't, I don't, I don't want to be um, ignorant. This is, um, this is very new to me. Can, can, can a woman please um, make sense of this? Really, like, is this, is this really a thing? Is this something we as black people do that I'm just not aware of? Like, I, I don't know. I've never heard of this. Um, I'm going to ask Henny about this tomorrow. Uh, I, I do know Henny said she wanted to take her placenta after she gave birth, but the doctors wouldn't let her do it, which I think is really strange. Um, how the fuck you going to keep a part of my body if I'm asking for it? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Um... People do it, but the CDC discourages that practice. The CDC don't know what the fuck they talking about. I've seen it being put in a smoothie. I can and will be ignorant. Do not mix your bodily fluids in the kitchen with household items and appliances. That's unsanitary. I've seen it used as a mask, but yes, consuming the placenta is very healthy. Been around for centuries. Okay, I've heard of consuming it again. I've heard of consuming it, but that has been my understanding. That's to help the baby, nourish the baby as they are growing from the breast milk. I, I don't know about just eating it just because. Like, I don't. Like, what's the point in that? Because they do experiments on black body parts. Yeah, I believe it. <clears throat> they used placenta for stem cell research. They should have let her take hers. Yeah, she fought them on that, but... Imagine giving birth and you said you want the placenta to barbecue on the grill. Now people make it into pills... I am unnerved. This topic is making my stomach sick. Whose liver does she farm? If they want nourishment, then drink a green smoothie. Um, some island folk buried them under trees. Okay, um, this is interesting. Not flame broil placenta. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, I'm, where's my emojis? What is happening? I'm spamming the chat. Y'all not gonna do this shit. Damn, I got too many, uh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're, um, we're done. Pull out, pull out. Sorry, sorry. Pull out. I, I realized my mistake after I pushed the button. Okay. Um, oh, boy. Um, we have three more videos, and I have yet another bathroom break. So if you would please excuse me for approximately 30 seconds, I will be right back.
<laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do with this video, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just yeah. Okay, so let me see. What's what's next? We have three um three more I keep saying three. We have four. We have DeAndra a N and we have Katie did what? Followed by Jermaine's requests. So DeAndra's video says, Can we watch a throwback DeAndra video? Sure we can. Let's see, what's her most popular video? I'm pretty sure it's her flat iron video. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, we got Flexi Rods. Damn, her video got 26 million views. How, how, like, how, that's just with one video. Like, some people's channels don't even get that many views. Jesus. Okay. Um, dang. Which one do y'all want to see? I ain't eating at her house for sure. She came into my job back in the day. Oh. Yeah, she's lost so much weight. As you can see from her her picture, she's lost a lot of weight. Um She's gotten married. I'm just telling y'all all her damn tea shit. <laughs> I'm spilling all the damn tea. Well, Shit, let's see what uh, what's going on in this video. Let's see if she used the Marcells. So the totally twisted is what you see here, and I'm going to put a whole lot. Oh no, you don't, Yandra. No, you don't. Let's see. From curly to straight, straightening my natural hair, and yes, I'm 100% black. And she's from South Carolina, South Kekalecki. Okay. Okay. Her intro was cute. I'm curious how to turn this matted old twist out that I was supposed to comb out and wash days ago so to go from this to this keep watching so hey guys so as you see here i am okay well since we can't hear anything we're just gonna speed it up really fast oh back when youtube didn't give a fuck about copyright oh the good old days <clears throat> yeah, T Under had bundles. Bundles and bundles. How the hell does YouTube know the music like lyrics versus her actually talking? That's weird. They really be listening. Do a voiceover. I am not doing no voiceover for no 20 minutes. I'm too tired for that. Oh, let me set my phone so I make it to this appointment. This woman better not give me a hard time tomorrow. She getting fired. That's no cap.
<clears throat> Alright, what's going on here? Retreating the hair. What is that? Mixed chicks? Something. Decondition it overnight. Yes, people, deep conditioning overnight is not a good thing. Don't do it. Damn, that was the quickest blowout ever. Can't stand ugly dogs. Ooh. Oh, I missed the whole dog. Damn, we didn't even really see nothing. Girl, you know with all that hair, you need you a bigger flat iron. <laughs> she need her the two inch, son. I didn't see an ugly dog. That dog ain't ugly. Little dogs are feisty. Look, I don't like dogs, so I ain't got a dog in this fight. How about that? Okay, the ends don't even look too bad. They just need a little dusting. Oh, waist slave. Actually, that's past waist slave. That's like hip lathe. <laughs> about my process so this is officially it i've shown you everything i do um pretty simple i make sure that my hair is properly moisturized before i straighten it and i don't put in a lot of products after it as i showed in the video i use the, um i don't put a leave-in in usually mainly because my hair has been dc'd overnight so it's pretty well moisturized by the time i straighten it and on top of that i don't want to put oils inside of my hair and have them burn as i straighten my hair so um i wash out my dc and then i spray it with mm -hmm. the chi character mist as I showed in the video, is this focusing? Yeah. So the she carried to miss, and this is um protein pretty much. So it's gonna fill in any gaps that I might have before I straighten it. And then on top of that, I use the Nioxin, uh, this thermal heat protectant, and I use this before I blow dry. So this is my heat protectant, and this is um water based. So I don't spray this again after um after brain fart after I blow dry my hair and I already have it semi straight and this also has um, protein in it as well the first ingredient is water and the second is hydrolyzed wheat protein so I'm putting in a whole bunch of protein before I straighten my hair to strengthen it a bit and then for my silicone because this is just loaded with silicone and silicones help to um, pretty much block out the humidity which I don't even know why I straighten my hair and I'm gonna show you why but you guys wanted to see it so I figured I'd finally do it because the weather ain't gonna change anyway but I use the Chi Silk Infusion so the cheese silk infusion, and like I said, this is my silicone to keep everything from um, pretty much from going, you know, getting all frizzy. But the reason why I keep avoiding um, doing, you know, straightening my hair is because for the past month, I promise you, the month straight, the weather is looking like this. Oh! So it's been raining every single day, and it's even raining right now, but... You all wanted to see it, so um, I decided to let you see it. And so I don't have on any clothes, not for real. Right now, I do have on this little thing I've used. Oh, I was gonna say, girl, don't show us. I believe you. I'm gonna head out with a friend to take her to lunch because she's been feeling bad. She had a death in the family, so I'm gonna put on clothes and then I'll come back to you guys and show you, I guess, the complete length of my hair. And I'll be back. Okay, held 
up in the rain. Rain don't care about straight hair. How do y'all get talking about dogs? Y'all must love y'all some pets. I hate animals. <laughs> Dude, I hate animals. Aaliyah got a cat. I was like, you is not bringing no cat to this apartment. All right. Oh. I think I am very aware, Lord, of what I look like physically. You pointing it out doesn't change it or make me want to change it either. You're wasting your breath, but great job trolling. Be blessed. Wow. Hmm. Let me see. What's the most recent comments? Damn, 60,000. <laughs> Jesus. This video taught me how to straighten my hair almost 10 years ago. I believe it's still working for me. Glad to see your weight loss journey. This look like it's going down the drain anyway. Oh, look, she still responds. Have a great day done responding to you. You most likely want to be white, though. Need to call me a troll because she couldn't answer the question intelligently. I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, usually with these type of videos, I'm pulling out. <laughs> Thank God I ain't got that many views. You know what? It's a blessing in disguise. I don't need it. I don't want it. All right, next, uh, AN's request, Joyelle Halloween here, horror stories. P.S. Not sure if y'all watched this already. I haven't been able to watch um, the stream in the longest. College is a bitch. But I love you, Narada. Keep thriving. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you. Is this the one where she was outside walking her her dog or something and somebody snatched her hair? No, it's not. Okay. Cool. I remember that video. I was like, um, wait, what? <laughs> I can't tell if they I think they, they grabbed her hair right, or did she, did they hit her? I can't remember. We watched it a long time ago. Looks like a Manosphere troll. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey everyone, it's Joyelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am collabing with 4C only and telling some hair horror stories. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. If you're the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, please send me an email at jermainjoyelle at gmail.com. But let's get started. 
So today I'm gonna be telling you a couple of natural hair horror stories. Well, you guys watch me wash my hair using the 4C only line. So no ASMR, and just a voiceover with some stories. So let's start the wash day. But this first story has to do with going to Wyoming to visit some family. Very, very small town, not very diverse, about an hour outside of Yellowstone. But one of the days that I stayed there, I decided that- They I hit her in the head with her fro out. Oh, that's right. Was right. It was something crazy. So I thought it was a 20 minute walk, but it was really a 20 minute drive, but a three hour walk. As I'm on this walk, I happened to pass by a gas station. That day, I don't, I had my hair, my natural hair out. And I, as you guys have seen, my hair is much, is very long now. It's very thick, it's very dense, it's very Afro-y. Everything that I love about natural hair. But to the people in this town, it was not something they have either A, ever seen before, or very often see. I'm walking by the gas station when I hear, is that a mop on top of your head? And I kid you not, I literally stopped dead in my track, but I was like, excuse you? And I looked to my right and there's this old man standing next to his truck, just gawking at me and using his hands like this to motion just how big my hair was. I turned to him and I said, no, this is my natural hair. Obviously, I'm in shock that someone would just yell that at me. Then to make matters worse, he goes, well, we don't see too much of your kind around here. Fear, absolute fear struck my heart. I was like, this man is about to take me out. Like, it is so obvious that I am not very welcomed here. And he just stared me down and I didn't really know what to say because obviously I was caught off guard by what he said. I just nodded, I told him to have a good day and I carried on. <laughs> downtown that's honestly probably one of the weirdest things that's ever been said to me i've never had damn not getting before. the black girl also, treatment just the outbursts that <laughs> that came from this man and also being told that he clearly or that the people of this town clearly don't see too many black or biracial people which i'm not shocked everywhere i went I stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> this next encounter, or this next story, is That's something that tends so to happen weird. to me quite frequently, even living they here in so Arizona, especially weird. as my hair has grown out. Once more, we were visiting family. This time, we were up in Oregon. I'm originally from Washington. My fiance's family is from Oregon. We had made a stop at a store downtown. Again, a really, really small, not diverse at all town. Very small, predominantly Caucasian town. We made a stop into this little feed store, and this guy, another older white gentleman, is just staring at me like hardcore and this day I had my afro worn out. As usual, it's how I typically style my hair. It's what my hair just naturally looks like and how I love wearing it. But he's just staring at me. As soon as that I is look creepy. at him, doesn't say a word to me. Doesn't doesn't say anything. He just goes, whoa, whoa. And again, I'm just like embarrassed because it's just like, why does that need to be pointed out? I am fully aware of how my hair looks. But here's the thing. This tends to happen to me a lot, even here in Arizona. I was grocery shopping just a couple weeks ago. When I look up, for, I was looking at some fruit and I look up and this man just walks by and he just goes, I don't, I, I don't know why, I don't know why this is a common thing, and it's usually with men. It's with men. I don't usually have it happen with women. Men, for some reason, it's like they just lose all, it's like they lose the ability to speak, and they, for some reason, have to motion with their hands how big they think my hair is. It's very weird. It makes me feel very uncomfortable, and I don't know why that specifically has become a common occurrence. Wow, that bothers life, them very, so very much. Odd. Another weird, kind of odd encounter I had was when I was still working my 9 to 5 job. I used to work for a desk, and I was volunteering and filling in a spot for a girl who had called out sick. One of the patients comes in, and obviously, I'm a new face to her. She doesn't recognize me, but she just goes, oh my gosh, I love your hair. But then she got really, really weird when she goes, can you stand up for a second? I know you're mixed race, I wanna guess what it is, because I see your hair, and I wanna guess what you're mixed with. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> Why does this happen to me? This is so weird. Like, I swear. Oh my like, God, you that's that, like, so African fucking rude. Or black people or biracial people, they're not like an alien. We're not aliens. We're not that rare. So I'm always quite surprised by how people tend to react to black people, to biracial people, to people with natural Afro hair. It's very uncomfortable. I have a very specific memory of being very young and my mom happened to have combed my hair out that day. I don't know what happened. They were like in the aisle over or something, but I just felt this hand reached down into my hair and scratch my scalp and I'm like I stop because I'm like who's touching me and I look up and it's just this older couple again or older white couple just 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 knuckle deep into my hair and I'm just like I don't know you don't oh touch my me. Like, gosh. I, I didn't know what to do and then of course luckily my mother rounds the corner and is like excuse me don't touch my child brings me Yo, to her my aunt I was I was at the grocery store with my aunt one day and she did that to this little white boy and I was like I was like, what the... And the little boy looked at her like, what the fuck did you just... Like, I'm like, yo, she's about to get us lynched. Like, 
And we in Charleston. This woman about to get us lynch in this grocery store. She going to take her hand, put it in his hair, and then ruffle it up. You know how they used to do back in the day? Just fuck up your fucking hair. That was the dumbest shit ever. My mom used to do that shit to me all the time. That shit pissed me the fuck off. Um, I don't know if that's just like a Southern thing or, or what. I feel like that's... I feel like that's something they used to do back in slavery time, like just go and fuck up your hair, like, cause come here, boy, let me just fuck up your hair, like, what, what are you doing? Why are you fucking my shit up? Like, if I was a girl, you wouldn't be doing that. Like, why are you doing that to me? Anyways, um, yeah, nothing happened, but it was just like, what the fuck? Like, why? And I told her, I was like, why did you do that? She was like, oh, I was just touching his hair. I'm like, she had a, this nonchalant attitude. And I was like, you can't do that. And, like, it was like I couldn't tell her anything because she's older than me and, like, whatever she says goes. So I'm like, okay, you, don't do that shit around me because I'm not about to get lynched. You're not, you're not getting me lynched up in this place. I know you think it's cute because you went at the grocery store pushing your little shopping cart. They still have it out for you. This is the slave capital of the South. I'm not, I don't, I don't play those games. No, ma'am. You on your own, sis. Don't, don't do that shit with me. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm like, girl, you just assaulted that little boy. I, I felt bad for him. I felt so bad. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I love her hair. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not a petting zoo. We're not animals. My hair is not an invite for you to just touch me whenever you feel like it. This next story is also probably one of the more awkward, definitely one of the more awkward instances. Not you that... being scary. Child, this is, we talking about Charleston, South Carolina. Like, they still have slave houses that are still standing. If you can drive by the road and you can still see the shit. It was a bunch of homeless people living out, out of them. But yeah. Like, we, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. This ain't Atlanta. This ain't Atlanta. This ain't no nigga ass city. This ain't Atlanta. <laughs> I have been involved in, but I was once again working up front, front office. We were supposed to be waiting for a lady to come in to pick up some retainers. And she comes in and introduces herself. But instead of just going to sit down, she comes and leans up on the podium and she's just staring at me. So I'm like, how do I make this less awkward? I don't know if she just wants to stand or if she wants to talk to me. Well, she wanted to talk to me. As we're talking, she just kind of blurts out, are you mixed? And I said, yeah, I am. She goes, are you half, half black? And I was like, I am, I'm half black and half white. And she goes, oh, I have one of those too. Now my first thought is, you have one of what? Like, you mean you have a biracial child? But the way that she says, oh, I have one of those too. It's like, lady, we're not, we're not like a mixed breed puppy you just adopted. That don't, that made me, that alone made me feel completely uncomfortable. And I was like, this conversation needs to end. So I'm just like staring at her. But then this lady takes it to a whole other level of awkwardness. And also, not only is, does she make this more awkward, she also insults me at the same time by going, except she has good hair, like mine. I'm laughing now, but in the moment, I was not laughing. I was incredibly pissed off and annoyed that she had said that because I was wearing my afro that day. And I'm like, so you look at The me, fact that she has so many of these stories sort of, just like you know, off the rip is like And your child is a sort of, some sort of like mixed breed dog. But you also choose to insult my hair by saying that your daughter has good hair like yours unlike mine. Instead of exhausting my energy by giving her any more attention, I just stared at her. No motion. And clearly she, she realized she messed up because she just started awkwardly laughing and got very, very nervous and just kind of backed up away from me and then sat away from me. I had kind of let her know that this conversation was done and that you have crossed the line. Another horror story that I had was actually right after I had bit chopped and I would usually go into a Sally's store that was up the street from my parents' house. When I still had my relaxed hair, this was actually a week before I bit chopped, I walked into the store, the girl up front, you know, you know, hi, how are you? Please let me know if you need anything. You know, stayed up front the whole time, no issues. I come in a week later after having big chopped, you know, I have shorter, a TWA at this point. And I go in because I was actually picking up some braiding hair for my mother. My sister and I were gonna help braid my mom's hair. I walk in, no introduction. You know, I wave, I go over to the braiding hair section, and I happen to look over up to the front, and this girl is gone. I'm like, okay, maybe she's helping somebody. No, she was down the other side of the aisle, peeking around the corner, staring at me, like watching me, and pacing up and down the aisle. Clearly she doesn't recognize me from last week now that my hair has been cut. But that was one of the first instances for me where wearing my natural hair made it more obvious of my blackness. That was my eye-opening moment of how 
my hair was going to change how people interacted with me. I'm able to kind of laugh at some of these stories now, but like in the instances that they happened, obviously I wasn't laughing, I was hurt. And then the last story I'm gonna tell, and I had actually uploaded a video on this, you know, about, I wanna say it's probably been about two years now, where I was walking my dogs at night, had my hair out, had my afro out. Almost oh no, came, almost back to the this house. is the I'm story. Like up from the house when a man on a bike decides to ride up behind me and smack me as hard as he can in the back of my head, just open palm, smacked me as hard as he could. I mean, my head flew forward and everything. Never saw his face, I only saw his back, it's night. He was wearing like probably navy blue or black, I can't, I can't it's so, a dark color. So clearly I never got to see this man's face. And whether people are purposely trying to hurt me or just out of curiosity, the only part of my natural hair journey that I've not enjoyed is that people for some reason feel invited to put hands on me. But of course this doesn't change how I view my natural hair and it doesn't deter me from wearing my natural hair. You know, this is me. I love every inch and every kink on my head and I have just come to terms with the fact that some people just can't handle it. Some people just cannot control themselves in the presence of all this. The compliments, the intimidation, you know, however I make others feel, I'm not changing me. <laughs> when I first started my channel, I used to get a lot of comments about how it was a shame that I had such nappy hair, but I never felt that way. And as my channel has continued to grow, you know, those comments have died out. It just goes to show like the more you stand up for yourself, the more you appreciate yourself. It doesn't really matter what those people say. So I hope that those who are on their natural hair journey, whether you are just starting or a couple years in like myself, you know, keep going. Your hair is unique and beautiful just as much as you are. And you gotta stand in all of its glory. No matter what it brings, that's you. And I wanna give a shout out to Forcey only for not only providing products to help those with Afro textured type for Forcey hair take care of it, but for creating a platform that glorifies All right, thank you for that. That's, ugh, that pisses me off. Like, and I don't think she's making this up. Like, I, I really feel like because of the way she looks and then also because of her hair. Because look how everyone else responded to her when she came out and, like, her video started floating around. Like, everybody was treating her like this this weird unicorn thing. And it was, like, it was weird to me. Like, so I, I do feel like she's an easy target for people, especially in like the areas that she's she's lived in. So that's um that's fucked up. But see, this is why I say, like, stop trying to make this like a whole dark skin people have it the worst, our nappy forcey hair has it the worst. Like everybody has different experiences with their hair. Like it's very few people I've heard where they've had issues with people slapping them in the back of their head because they have 4C hair. I haven't heard that, you know? Um, and not to say one is worse than the other. I'm just saying everybody has their own experience with it. And to just, like, dismiss somebody else's experience just because, oh, you're not dark-skinned, you're biracial, you have white privilege, and this and that. It's just like, okay, that's intellectually just lazy like you just yeah um but yeah that's that's really messed up yeah fetishize i i don't know if it was fetishizing but they definitely like yeah i i guess that's what it was i don't know i think people were just like really dumbfounded of the fact that oh my god she's biracial with kinky hair i to to the to this day like people saying that to me it was like I wanted to like just be like, what the fuck? But I, I'm just like, well, maybe they just never encountered too many biracial people. Cause, <laughs> but then it just goes to show you how a lot of us, even though we've been natural for so long, we still associate kinkier, nappier hair with being closer to Africa. And you know, if you have any sort of white in you, that pulls you away from that. Like that, like we're only a monolith of one type of person when you're black. I don't know. Um, it just it speaks a lot to our our mentality and our thinking. So, um, all right. Um, let's see. We got two more here. I believe we got Katie did what. And she said, Bianca Renee's The Natural Hair Community is toxic. Let's see. I feel like, not me still sipping this tea. Man, I'm going to be up all night pissing. Boy. 
word. Well, this is good. At least I, I get my water <laughs> and take from these watch parties. But child, it be hell when it's time to go to bed. By the way, um, I'm still planning on doing a 24-hour stream. I'm just being real lazy with actually planning and setting the shit up. And a part of me low-key want to be like, you know what, maybe I should just wait on it. I think that's what I might do. I wanted to do it around my birthday. Maybe not on my birthday, but maybe like around it. But uh, it's been a lot going on. I've been really busy, so maybe I'll just wait on that. All right, let's see. Do 12 hours. Oh, no. That's easy. I do 12 hours already. Like, I remember we did a watch party on here, and then I got on my gaming channel and did, like, three more hours. Like, that's nothing. It's not that I can't do it. It's just I have to plan my day around it. I really want to do it. Like, that's not... Doing it is not the problem. I may not make it to the full 24 hours, but I at least want to try to see how long I can go. Um, whether that be 16 hours, 18 hours, 21 hours, 20, 24, who knows? So doing is not the problem because I already got sleep issues anyway. What y'all don't know is even though I be tired and I be done with the live stream, I still sometimes be up until like 4 o'clock at night. So staying up ain't the problem for me. Um... It's just, yeah. And then I was like, should I do it on Crowdcast? But Crowdcast have you break up the stream, and then everybody may not be able to watch it. So I don't think I'm going to stick to YouTube, but the idea of all the copyright and shit just kind of kind of scares me. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just just stay tuned. When I, when I figure it out, when I know, I'll let y'all know. Okay, that's what we'll do. All right, did I post her link? I did. All right. And let's pin that and let's check it out. The Damn, 20 minutes? The natural community is heavily divided and toxic. Why I finally broke up with the natural hair community. The natural hair movement has failed black women. There is a serious problem with representation even among the natural hair community. These are just a few of the headlines that I have found on my own in regards to how the natural hair community has become or can be seen as toxic. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Bianca Renee. You're watching Bianca Renee today. And today's hairstyle is this little like band. Hold on, what you say? Someone says it cuts off. Oh, never mind. I must have misread something. Sorry. <laughs> and two braided knot crown while also rocking my curls. So let me show you exactly how I created this look and let's discuss this controversial topic. So where do we even begin? Let's start with just the definition of the word natural. And that's what slightly stems some of the issues because everybody has their own definition. Some people define the natural hair community as a community of black or biracial women that rock and embrace their textured hair. Already, some of you are already pissed off because you aren't black of any sort, but you wear your hair curly, you have curly hair, and you feel like you are also part of the natural hair community because you wear your textured hair. Then there's the naturals that are just like, I don't relax my hair, I don't straighten my hair, I wear it in its natural state, I don't use any chemicals, I don't even dye my hair. People have actually told me that I am no longer natural because I have highlights, or like when I dyed my hair, because it wasn't my natural born hair color, I was no longer natural. <laughs> and if I'm no longer natural, I mean, some strict terms. A little bit of natural hair channel. Then there's the naturals, probably like me, that might still dye their hair, do highlights or something, but don't relax it, don't straighten it. But then there's the naturals that might not use a relaxer anymore, but they still blow out their hair, they wear wigs and weaves, so they're not really damaging or manipulating their natural hair. So they're still natural. Her sound is only playing on one side, so it's, it's not me. And that's natural. But there's just so many definitions, and depending on who you talk to, if you do one thing more than the other, they might just kick you out of the natural hair community. <laughs> and that's the part that sucks, like this whole natural hair community was supposed to be such a positive thing. Like I feel like it started off with really good intentions and then we just kind of like got lost out of control somewhere. And within all these articles, they all kind of touched on the same thing. And there's definitely discrimination within hair types, hair textures, and hair lengths. And we definitely see that specifically with the type four, or even more specifically type four C hair representation in media. These pictures in the market. background so though. Or as you were born with, that's it. But we put so many rules and regulations on if you're allowed to sit with us that people now don't want to wear their hair natural. And that's the part that really bugs me. Like I literally made my channel to encourage people to rock the natural hair they were born with. So it'd be a positive thing. But if people are getting bullied 
that's not gonna make them want to rock their hair even more than the detangling styling process. So then they're just out. So I don't like anything that makes people like not want to rock the beautiful natural hair they were born with. I really want you guys to join the conversation throughout this video. So leave your comments below. Let me know how do you define the natural hair community? Is it limited to just women with black hair? Is it limited to just those that don't use relaxers? If you straighten your real hair, are you no longer natural? Like what rules apply to you? By the way, I am starting off on freshly washed hair. I'm trying the niche lavish leave-in conditioner with aloe vera and avocado, three-in-one leave-in conditioner and moisture before we have them. And I asked you, do you think the natural hair community is toxic? And I got a pretty close, like maybe 40 to 50% ratio on my personal Instagram. And then I asked you, how do you feel judged by the curly hair community? And that's where I got a lot of interesting answers. I read that a lot of you feel judged or get judged by the type of products that you use, the amount or cost of the products that you use. You get judged for straightening your curly hair. You get judged for the length of your curly hair. You get judged for the type of your curly hair. I think that I could have might have, do, play a part in what makes you feel judged. Raise your hand if you've ever felt personally victimized by Bianca Renee today. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about avoiding certain ingredients. You know how I feel about straightening your hair. If you ever felt like, I don't know, like even I bully you, I just want to apologize. She no, got heat damage. Never no, her elasticity that. just saying, like, um, the opposite reason of me having this channel. I you get know, so just many little lacking of people like sad that they've damaged their hair because they straighten it all the time. Or I get messages about people's like moms don't let them wear their curly hair. What is she doing? Want to, but is she job, banding? Doesn't think it's work appropriate. Like that kind of stuff just really bugs me. I just don't like personally when you feel like you have to straighten your hair to look beautiful. You feel like your hair isn't beautiful for special occasions. It isn't pretty enough for work if you feel like people will like you better if your hair is straight. That's what I don't like. That's why I discourage straightening your hair for those reasons and for the fact that you might get damaged. So if you're someone that used to straighten their hair all the time and you've had all the success in your journey and now your curls have looked better than they ever have and you want to straighten your hair because all of a sudden you don't feel confident in your curls because of something that someone said, then I'm like, oh, I mean, you can. But you've worked Good night, so hard Coco. The Thank you for the uh, super chat. But if you're like, I just do it because I want to. I don't straighten my hair because someone is- What is she talking hair. about? Well, you could try what I recommend. And if that doesn't work, it work. But if you don't have any problems when you straighten your hair, when you use silicone, when you use sulfate, then just use it. How would they know? Let's do two on each side. Some of you also said you feel judged by the natural hair community based on the type of products that you use. I had a comment where someone said like, I really like using can too, but I feel judged. And I was like, why? And she said that the natural hair community is a mean place. And I was like, sheesh, like if it works for you, it doesn't work for someone else. And that literally can we talk about real fucking issues? This, oh, people feel some type of way because I use conditioner or can too, or because I straighten my hair. Like that's not a fucking issue. Like. That's an issue with yourself that you put so much weight in what other people think about you and what like what you got going on like, but like what get to the root of the question like the toxicity ain't got shit to do with that. It has nothing to do with you. That's like their problem. So if you don't use high end products or products from Sephora or Ulta and you like your products from Walmart and Target, do you? It does not matter if it works for your hair. You know I, I know that I review a lot of high end products and I'm trying to even review more. Are we gonna talk guys, about you? Mistyping your hair for views? Can we talk about that? It looks like. No. Okay. Might as well do what you want. Another common discriminatory thing within the natural hair community is curl types. I've never been a fan of curl types because we know how many different curl types there are in the world. So to divide them into three categories with basically six subcategories is just not enough. And it would have been fine if we just used it for basic information, but we started to use it to like make one hair type better than another. And I did see that in the main media and marketing with branding and sponsorships, there definitely was a lean towards looser curl patterns. At one point it was like the wavy loose curls. Then like the type three, like my hair got popular. And to this day, we do see a little bit better representation of type four hair, but still not as much as we should be seeing. So then there's an issue with that. But discriminating for someone's hair type is just as ridiculous as discriminating for someone's skin tone because we literally were just born with that and we had no say in how we were going to look when we popped out of the womb. So some of you even said, you feel like you get messed for rocking your hair curly because it's wavy and like people that with wavy hair aren't curly enough to be considered curly. And with my hair, it's like, that's the hair that everybody wants. So then I sometimes can get hate from people with tighter curl patterns. And it's just like, why are we hating on each other within the same curly wavy community? It's just unnecessary. 
Another issue that I see within the 4C community, which I've just been reading, if you actually have 4C hair, please chime in, leave your actual opinion below. Don't want to speak for a hair texture that I don't personally experience. But what I actually read Where's was Cameron that, and Elise when, when you need her? <laughs> hair, all the tutorials and videos and like the pressure is to then make your type 4 hair look and appear looser. So you have a bunch of videos. But you know what? Twist outs and how to stretch You know what? Cam if Cameron and Elise, like when she do a video like this, she get a whole bunch of backlash and pushback on it. She do this, and everybody's like, yes, I so sympathize with everything you're saying. Everyone's judging me. The natural community is toxic. Like, it's it's just interesting, the two um, responses. But. Hair using heat. And it's just like, so Let you're rocking your type 4 hair, but you're kind of trying to manipulate it into not looking like type 4 hair because you're trying to make it looser and longer and not look like your actual... Curl type. I'm gonna try this eco style. Hold on, um, say what? So you have a bunch of videos on like how to do twist outs and how to stretch your hair using heat. And it's just like, so you're rocking your type four hair, but you're kind of trying to manipulate it into not looking like type four hair because you're trying to make it looser and longer. And Let me back it up a little bit more. It's like, that's the hair everybody wants. So then I sometimes can get hate from people with tighter curl patterns. And it's just like, why are we hating on each other within the same curly wavy community? It's just unnecessary. Another issue that I see within the 4C community, which I've just been reading, if you actually have 4C hair, please chime in, leave your actual opinion below. Don't want to speak for a hair texture that I don't personally experience. But what I actually read was that even if you do try to rock your natural type 4 hair, all the tutorials and videos and like the pressure is to then make your type 4 hair look and appear looser. So you have a bunch of videos on like how to do twist outs and how to stretch your hair using heat. And it's just like, so you're rocking your type 4 hair, but you're kind of trying to manipulate it into not looking like type 4 hair because you're trying to make it looser and longer and not look like your mm. actual... Curl tight. I'm going to try this Eco Style um, Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil. Maximum 10 holes. I mean, she ain't wrong. <laughs> so I found this quote that I want to read to you guys online. It says, I think there's beauty in every texture. I think it's just learning to accept it and knowing what you can do to make it do what you want to do. I'm glad to help you learn how to take care of What is she doing? Hair, I don't want you to be mad that it doesn't look like mine or like someone else's because that's literally just not, <laughs> that's not the point. The point is to learn how to do your hair. Okay, I'm going to attempt a Bantu knot. I haven't done this in a long time. Ooh, do I remember how to do this? I could also just do braids, which is not turning out cute. <laughs> this is also easier and looks better with a tighter curl pattern, I believe. My fine hair is too loosey goosey. Wow. Let's just do braids. So as I braid my hair, let me just read some of the many responses I got on Instagram asking why you feel like the natural hair community is toxic. Some people will measure your blackness on how thick or curly your hair is. I have experienced that. Even being a mixed girl, not playing the victim at all. I know that, that I have privileges to being mixed in many different ways, but at the same time, I'm also sometimes too black to be white and too white to be black. And I've had people tell me that I'm not black because I'm mixed. And I would love for you to tell that to my very black daddy. It's just like an unnecessary discrimination within our own people. So I can I can see that being a thing. Some folks are too judgmental. God forbid you ever straighten your hair. I can see that one. I can probably be part of that problem. <laughs> so once again, I apologize. If you want to straighten it because you want to, fine. I just really hope that you're not doing it because you feel ugly with your natural hair. Too many rules, too many absolutes. Everyone's hair texture is different. So everyone's hair might need different things and you should be able to do what works best for your hair. I need to put more hair. My hair is so fine. I can't even hold this little knot. It's so small. It's my way or else. Never open to trying new routines or products. Your way is wrong. Yeah, once again, you should just do what works for your hair. Unfortunately, those with looser curls are pushed in mainstream. Yep, we have seen that. It is getting better. Fun little story. I was actually rejected. People just love complaining. My hair wasn't curly enough. And, you know, part of me was like, I wasn't mad because, you know, we need more type 4 hair representation. So that's what this brand is doing. But it does just kind of make you go like, hmm. And it is weird to witness not getting something. Not because you're not talented enough. Not because you don't have the experience. It had nothing to do with my actual skill set. But just because of the hair I was born with. And that is something that... Type 4 hair deals with all the time. I think there should be representation for all curl types, obviously. All skin tones, all textures, all of that. But on the flip side, I also don't think we need to force brands to use all hair types if their products do not work on all hair types. I don't want you to lie to me and say all hair types because if you put a bunch of type 4 hair models in your commercial and your products do not work for type 4 hair and then people with type 4 hair go out and get it, that's gonna be more of a problem because now you're gonna get canceled because your products quote unquote don't work. I think it's best to just be honest and better yet, Make a complete curl line that has a product that will work for all hair types, textures, porosity, and density. Now going back to the word natural, and I got a lot of comments from girls with wavy hair, and this is where it can get a little tricky because I have a very large Hispanic or Dominican audience, Latina, or even actually Indian, where in your culture, natural curly hair isn't accepted and your mom or your grandma or someone in your family always made you straighten it, just like we've experienced in the black hair community. But 
some people that's not considered natural hair. And that's because that word was really coined for black hair because at one point we were forced or felt like we had to straighten our hair, relax it. And that's what made it look presentable for work. So we literally needed another word to describe when we didn't relax our hair anymore. And that's how like natural came about. Technically, if you have straight hair and you wear it straight, that is your natural hair type. <laughs> but that's just not something that you would say to somebody with straight hair. Like, oh, you're going natural because you your hair's straight. It's just like, no. But when your hair is straight and, or maybe your hair is wavy and then you are like, hmm, should I straighten it or wear it curly? I can see why you'd say like the opposite of straight is curly. It's either gonna be straight or curly. You don't say, should I wear it straight or wavy? Like, I don't know. I just don't feel like that's what is said. Does your hair actually have a curl? Like a loop? Edges. Okay, now we can go back to the rest of my hair. It's a little dry. For my gel, I'm also gonna try the Mitch Sculpt Curl Defining Gel. I might have used this once. I don't really remember. I wanna say this is the black owned brand. It's new, small, smells like- The style know. looks cute like <laughs> oh, that. It's like goofy. So why did I make this video? I just wanted you to maybe hear and realize like how ridiculous we all can sound by caring too much about someone else's hair routine. And maybe even I need to do better. I am a sarcastic person, so I will like, you know, joke about it, <laughs> but I never want to hurt anyone's feelings. If I straighten my hair, you guys would literally execute me. I have no personal desire to straighten my hair, but I do like how I look with straight hair and I get a wig and I really like how my straight wig look. But at the same time, if I straightened my hair, if I wanted to, there would be no doubt that you guys would know that I love my curls. <laughs> you would know that I'm literally doing it just to switch it up. And do you have to love your curls? No, you don't have to change your curls to straight hair or your straight hair to curly hair, change your routine, change your products, change your hair length, anything to please someone else. Do what generally makes you happy and will make you confident. Now I'm going to diffuse this for the final look. I can't believe I'm losing sleep for this. <laughs> just to shine it up a little bit. I don't know if I'm like blown away, like run out to the store and get it now, but. If you do care about the ingredients, they're all sulfate, paraffin, silicone so free. They smell good. You can be supporting a small new company. Ooh, this, this oil though, so you need to run out and get. I am gonna add some jewels so you can see them. I got these off of Amazon. I'll link them in the description box. So you just open is she them. done? Like that. that kind of stuff. It should be celebrated because it is beautiful in every texture, density, length, shape, curl type. So I really want us to all try collectively to get back to that and just supporting others, whether their routine is different than yours, whether they like different products than you, or whether they like to straighten their hair once every blue moon. I hope you're able to look at yourself and see where you may fall into those judgmental categories. For me, I could definitely say it's the straightening the hair and the ingredients. So I'm gonna be more mindful on how I wear things. I want them to be considered as suggestions for your betterment, for the healthiness of your hair, not to shame you in any way. So if you are doing any type of discrimination, whether it's curl typing or judging people for doing one thing or another, let's just stop. Let's all just stop and make this a more positive place so more people will be excited about rocking their curls. If you enjoyed this video, waste of time. <sighs> she added nothing to the conversation. <laughs> she added nothing. Like she just literally just went through the list of people complaining and say said that we're all judgmental or the community is being judgmental and we should stop. Like, but outside of that, like, what did you really offer to the conversation? Pull out, pull out, pull out. Girl, I do not want to see your hairy cooch in my whole page. Lord, this is this is too much. It's too much late at night. We got placenta smoothies. We we like it's it's okay. Just all right. Okay. Now what what curly guy video was we supposed to watch? I know the super chats are non-refundable, but what about our time? Mm-mm. 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 You said curly guy, right? What video was we supposed to watch? Oh, his thoughts on it. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't know he reacted to it. Okay, I'm curious. Did I copy it? See, here I go, copying it twice. Gotta make sure. It's my worst fear to, like, post a link, and then I don't realize I post the wrong link until, like, a week later. Oh, God, are we gonna... He's not gonna react to her, right? He's just giving his thoughts. We gotta listen to her again. 
No! <laughs> okay. Curly guy, please save us. And I am back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the natural hair community because I feel like the natural hair community needs to be talked about. Um, there are just some things that have been going on in the natural hair community that just doesn't sit well with me. So we're going to dive right into that. So if you want to see this, then just keep watching. Hey guys, it's Dewan from the future. Um, I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know really quickly that I did to apply to the Sephora squad. I did post a like, post on my feed as well as on my Instagram, but I wanted to go ahead and put it in a video because I know some of you guys don't see that stuff or some of you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which is curlyguy underscore 13 if you do want to go follow me. Um, but yeah, I'm just leaving this. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can click on it and leave me a testimonial if you guys want to see me being part of the um, Sephora squad. There is a lack of representation as far as men that look like me in the natural hair community um so i just think it would be nice to shake things up a bit and get me in the sephora squad i already have quite a few testimonials but the more i get the better so if you guys could please 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 leave me a testimonial at the link down below that would help me out a lot and yeah let's just get back to child they're not gonna pick you you ain't marketable enough for the video okay so and there ain't no shade it's because he's a guy that he ain't marketable enough. i'll be surprised if they pick him i'd be surprised so the topic of this video, as you can see probably from the title of this video, is that the natural hair community has become very toxic. Um, and I don't mean toxic in the matter where people are fighting and, you know, it's a bunch of drama. I just mean it's like, you know, passive-aggressive toxicity. And the reason I say that is because there is so much going on with natural hair textures and texturism and colorism and all of that stuff. But for me, it's, it's on a more basic level. So recently I was watching this video by Bianca Renee to... Why you think he's not marketable? Um, the same reason why they don't use men to market to natural hair products. You know, we always stay talking about um, representation. If we don't see enough for us, see. Well, we don't see a lot of brands promoting black men with natural hair either. I mean, now we definitely are seeing a lot more like on Instagram and stuff, like them reposting people using their products. But like... Um, if it happens, I'm definitely happy for them, and I'm glad to see that the times are changing. But just in my experience from being in this hair thing for a long time, like, there's been a lot of um, opportunities that was skimmed over me because I was, number one, gay and a black man, and that's not really marketable when you're trying to sell something to women. Not necessarily women of color, but just women. So today, I'm sure you guys all know who she is. If you watch my channel, but we'll you see what happens. And she made some very good points in her video, but I want to add and take away from some of the stuff that she mentioned in her video. Um, first and foremost, one of the things that she said in her video that didn't really sit well with me, um, and I don't think she intentionally did it, but she made the statement that the natural hair community was comprised of you know, women with curly hair or black women with curly hair, something to that effect. But there are so many men in the natural hair community, and just because it isn't in mainstream media or you don't see it online as much, that doesn't mean we aren't still consumers, we aren't still purchasing, we aren't still considering ourselves part of the natural hair community. Even from people who have dreadlocks or, you know, froze or whatever, we're still part of the natural hair community, whether you see it represented um, in the media or not. I just want to make that correction, because that's just one thing that... I think you don't see it because men have always been natural. Y'all just didn't promote it. Black women had to literally go put down the chemical to go natural. Um, mm-mm, mm-mm. Trust me, ask any male. Like, it, it was hard for a lot of guys getting brand deals and stuff because, like, they weren't, like, really looking or checking. First off, men weren't getting the same amount of... I, like, it took enough for us to even be acknowledged in the natural hair community. Like, it, it's it's not that men were always natural, because men have been rocking jerry, jerry curls and perms just like, uh, just like women have, and texturizers and everything else. So we've had the same experience, the same self-hate, and the same prejudices with our hair that y'all had. It's just that y'all get the shine, y'all get the highlight of it all, and a lot of times men just, we're kind of on the back burner like, oh, okay, well, you're a guy, so hair isn't important to you, or it shouldn't matter to you, or it's not really your thing anyway. So that's not accurate. And then um, we also had to break the stigma for men to even grow out their hair 
to even be able to embrace their natural hair because anytime there was a man that had hair or a man that wore his hair curly, they would often be associated with being gay, being fruity, being less than a man, into girly stuff or just being girly. Like we had to, it was a lot of stuff that we had to, barriers that we had to break down and obstacles that we had to get through just to be able to get to this point where now seeing men on YouTube with natural hair or even in public and on the regular is a regular thing. So, mm, no. <laughs> I didn't really care for the way she put it. Um, but anyway, going into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is being in the natural hair community. Now, as a influencer myself, I consider myself a, um, how can I say it? I just consider myself one of the um, OG uh, natural hair men in the community. And there are a few of us. I mean, I'm not familiar with all ton. Obviously, we're outnumbered by women. Oh, and let me just say that my hair is still partially wet. I did make sure that my hair was still wet to some extent for the purpose of this video so that I could point out a few things. But yeah, if you're wondering why I'm kind of giving wet dog right now, that's why my hair is not completely dry. Um, but I do know there are a few people. Um, there's Geo's Wave. There's Will on a Whim. Um, I think Terrell McDonald still make videos. I'm not sure if he does. Um, that's just to name a few, though. Um, if I'm leaving anybody out, my bad. But yeah, so there are a few of us in this natural hair community. And let me just say, a reason why we aren't more prevalent in the natural hair community, or more so at the forefront, is because companies do discriminate. Um, people do discriminate against men with naturally curly hair. I have had people say to me in my comments, as well as in person, they make this thing, they be like, oh, your hair is prettier than most females, or your hair is prettier than a lot of females. Okay, and I take it as a compliment, but also I can see sometimes they're throwing shade in a way because sometimes they're saying, oh, you shouldn't have this hair, or um, I don't know, sometimes it just come across in a very demeaning way, and I know everyone don't mean it that way, but sometimes it does come across that way, and I just don't know what they expect me to do about it. These are the genetics that I was given, and this is the hair that I have as a result of it, um, and that's just that on that. So that's just how I feel about that. So let me move on. Um, Moving on to natural hair versus curly hair. Okay, there is a distinction that needs to be made, first of all. Um, natural hair is an overarching umbrella. Then underneath that falls curly hair, coily hair, wavy hair, you know, what have you. And one thing that, one of the biggest issues in the natural hair community is the curl pattern situation, is curl typing. Um, you know there's type 1, there's 2, AB, 3, ABC, 4, ABC, what have you. I've always found it problematic to curl type because we know based off of research and based off of product applications and the way they perform that your curl type is not what determines how the product works. More so, it is the porosity of your hair, the density of your hair, you know, the length of your hair, things like that determine how much product you need and what type of product you need to be using. However, product are marketed towards certain hair types and there are a lot of companies that are guilty of undercover discrimination in the natural hair community, I will say. Um, just to name one that I don't mind naming because I feel like they've been problematic anyway. Um, and if I had to say, I would say Diva Curl. You guys know I used Diva Curl years ago, um, and I haven't really used it since. You know, they were canceled last year and all of that. But Diva Curl products, in my opinion, have been geared towards people with hair like Bianca's. Um, you know, hair that is wavy to curly. You know, that ideal curl, that hair that stretches out almost completely straight when they're styling and then some kind of magical way, of course it's elasticity, but some kind of way it seems to bounce up into these perfect ringlet curls. I always felt like Diva Curls products were geared toward them. Their styling products, um, I know they had like an ultra styling gel that was, I guess, geared towards, or not geared towards, but it was able to be used by people with more textured hair because that's what I would use, the gel that they had. Um, but even myself included, I feel like I am also in that number of people who, um, are discriminated against in a way because my hair is curlier than like a four, I hate to use these type and hair type of things, but just for the purpose of this point that I'm trying to make, my hair is on the curlier end as opposed to the coilier end. Um, and I'm gonna scoop in some so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay, so if I get close, as you can see, let me just pull that one. My hair does on the end start to like, turn into like ringlets. Um, I have a lot of hair that does that, but let me tell you, my hair does have that, um, my hair does have that S wave kind of pattern, um, as opposed to like a zigzag pattern, which would yield more of a 4B, 4C type hair. Um, 
Men were rocking low cuts and cornrows too. Y'all masculinity was not questioned for being natural, but maybe the length. Women were seen as masculine just for going natural. Straight was feminine. Okay, we're comparing apples and oranges, but that still doesn't that still doesn't mean that we haven't had to deal with the shortcomings of society and their thoughts towards black men and hair. But again, we're not going to have the same struggle, the same experience, but we do have similar experiences. And I think every time we tend to have this conversation, it pisses me off because it's like, it's almost like y'all keep trying to make it, like y'all keep trying to dismiss the fact that men have had their struggles with hair and, and natural. Yeah, men have rock natural hair, brush cuts, low face, and things like that. But it's always been, like, I always grew up with my mom saying, oh, it's time for you to get a haircut so you, so you can look civilized. Every time I always got a haircut, the first thing that she would say out her mouth is, oh, now you look civilized. It's it's literally the same thing. Like, when people tell you, oh, that, she need to do something with her hair, her hair nappy, she need to do something with it. It's literally the same type of um, experience. So don't dismiss the fact that men have their own experience with natural hair and just say, well, y'all always been natural, so y'all don't have the same struggle. It, it just, when people say that, it just, it pisses me off because I remember the struggle I had just having hair and people giving me weird ass fucking looks like when I would be out in public. Like, it's, we're not going to have the same experience. It's not going to be exact. Yeah, y'all had y'all struggles with natural hair just like we've had our struggles with natural hair. But again, like, whether it's natural, braids, cornrows, this and that. Everyone always, like, anytime a man just walk around with an afro, they always ask you what, you, what you doing with that? Like, are you getting your hair done? Like, what you doing? Like, and then even when we started wearing locks, I remember, like, back in the day, like, locks wasn't really that big of a deal. And over time, people started wearing more locks and stuff. It started to become more popularized. And, yeah, it was more popular for men to rock it than women. But even then, we still had to get to a point where it was, like, normal for men to like number one get to the point where they would actually let their hair grow out so that they can get locks because we always want to associate black men with being um feminine or whatever and maybe that wasn't your experience because maybe you had people in your household or your immediate proximity that had longer hair okay cool but usually most of the time it was always either biracial Guys that had longer hair or people be like, oh, he got the pretty hair. Oh, this and that. Like, but it wasn't, if your shit was nappy, like, people wasn't wanting you to grow out your hair. They'd be like, you need to go get it braided up. You need to go do something with it. But for it to just be out and for it to just be in its natural state, it was problematic. So the same way that y'all have these same issues, it's just like, don't compare apples and oranges. Yeah, it's different for everybody. But at the end of the day, we're still a part of this natural hair community. And still, with the fact of us being natural the whole fucking time, why are we still, like, not acknowledged or even seen in the natural hair community as much? All right. There I'm, are I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> ask me, what am I mixed with? Am I black? This, that, and the third. Just because my hair isn't super, super coily or super tight of a texture. Um, and... Of course, you guys have seen my hair soaking wet. My hair does stretch out a lot when it's wet. My shrinkage is probably about 50, uh, 75, um, about 75, 50 to 75 percent because my hair will stretch down. And then once it dries, I still have some of my length. I'm not, you know, with a compacted fro um, like people who have type four range, predominantly type four range. So I do find it problematic that not only in the natural hair community is it perpetuated that um, people with hair like mine or looser textures than mine, in fact have better hair or more desirable hair. You know, when I went natural, I didn't know what my natural hair was gonna look like. I've always had, you know, pretty long, healthy hair, um, but I did not know what my hair was gonna look like once I went natural. And once I did that, um, I did have that almost culture shock sense that my hair wasn't going to be, you know, a type four hair. And that's not a bad thing, it's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just, I expected my hair to be a certain way just because my mother's hair was a certain way, my brother's hair was a certain way, so I expected my hair to also be like theirs once I stopped chemically altering my hair. Um, and so this is just what I got. This black men don't have to deal with texturism like black women. I literally just gave you a, I, I literally just gave you a whole, all right.
is my natural right. texture. My I'm hands done. have been stretched. I'm anything. pulling out. Y'all can y'all watch this. And it just like, I need it. Um, and this is what I have. So <laughs> let's just again make the distinction that natural hair and curly hair are two different things. I consider my hair curly and curly. Um, some of you all consider my hair curly. I consider hair like Bianca Renee's curly. Um. And then maybe I would say that my hair is curlier because it's tighter. Um, a lot of people mix that up too. When they think somebody has curlier hair, they think that their hair is, you know, that kind of curl like Bianca has. Um, but for me, curlier hair is tighter. So that's what I see. I see that my hair is curlier than her hair um, because she has a looser texture. Oh, okay. So with that came a whole wave of problems. Okay, you guys remember a few years ago when they canceled Eco Style Gel? Well, Eco Style Gel was a type force, you know, dream. It was a type force best friend because it was a very strong hoe. Um, and I'm gonna piggyback off of that and say that there is this misconception in the natural hair community that if you can't style your hair with just a cream, then your hair is not curly. Your hair is coily or kinky. Um, but I will tell you, with my texture of hair, there are a select number of creams that I can put in my hair that will actually give me hold for a few days. Yes, there are a few creams. And because I style my hair or restyle my hair every three to four days, I can get away with it. However, I am the type of natural that does prefer to have hold on my hair, so I will use a gel more often than not. And that doesn't mean that my hair isn't curly, that just means I prefer a gel on my hair to style it. So let's just bet on that. But I know there is a lot of discrimination in being able to use cream stylers and all of that. I know um, as a natural hair influencer, I have been underhandedly kind of discriminated against when it came to campaigns. Like, I've literally had companies tell me, um, well, your hair is not really right for our product. We would love to work with you, but your hair doesn't fit our aesthetic. Or companies have said that we're looking to go in a different direction. We're looking for people with looser textures of hair, which is fine. I've also, on the other end of the spectrum, had people tell me that my hair isn't tight enough. It isn't kinky enough for the campaign that they're going for. Um, so I feel like I am in that place um, where my hair, sometimes for campaigns and sponsorships and things like that, Sometimes my hair isn't curly enough, but for others, it's too curly, you know? I'm telling you, it's it's because he's it's cause he was a guy. I'm telling you, that's what it was. It's because he was a guy. They just didn't want to, like, come out and say it, but they would come up with different excuses. Because, like, who? why would you not want somebody promoting your product, your brand? Like, when does his hair ever not look good? Um, I'm telling so you. So I find myself in a weird place with that. I just don't know. I'm telling you. And that's why you guys don't that's see me doing a ton of sponsored content. It's not because I don't get offers, um, or it's not because there aren't campaigns going on. It's just because I don't really fit. So I don't want to then get on here and promote a product that you guys aren't able to use, or you know, that isn't targeted towards us. It's funny that we are supposed to be the natural hair community, but. These products, again, as I stated earlier, there is a difference between natural hair and curly hair. And these companies are targeting curly hair um, as opposed to natural hair as a whole. Instead of going off of the ingredients and stuff to, you know, to go towards hair that is more dense or hair that is higher porosity, lower porosity, they are going towards a certain aesthetic. They want the hair to look a certain way. And so, yes, I have actually turned down deals because companies were sending products or wanted to send me products that I knew would not work for the community that I like to target. I like to think that my hair is on the kinkier side of the curly spectrum so that a lot of products that I use, you guys also are able to use. Um, and I don't really like to recommend products like, um, like you wouldn't catch me doing a review on like the Diva Curl Wave Maker because these ain't waves. <laughs> if I have to put the wave maker on and then put a gel on top of that or like a styler on top of that, then is that product really formulated for my hair? I don't think so. Um, so that's just one thing I've been struggling with. Um, I will be making a part two to this video because I just don't want this one to be super long and it's already going longer than I wanted to. But I just wanted to get that out there. Again, no shade towards Bianca because she made her video from her perspective as she should have. But this is just my perspective. If you want a part two to this video, definitely comment down below part two and give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you have not. I've noticed that a lot of people that are watching my videos aren't subscribed, but they keep coming back. So definitely subscribe. And just remember guys, if you can't keep it curly, keep it classy. Bye guys. I'll see you in my next one. All right, let's just read a couple comments and we're going to close it out for the night. Um, I kind of miss most of it, <laughs> but um, let me see. Wonderfully done. This video was very juicy. We would have such a rich 
conversation. I'm an influencer and scholar dedicating my research to black hair, and I can relate to your disdain for hair typing and so much more. I'm 71, and I wore natural, oh, natural in the 70s because it was black pride. We weren't into curl definition. We were proud to show the hair that came out of our scalp. Uh, the natural community has become toxic when it comes to 4C, 4D. With natural frizz, not many wanting to wear its natural form. In commercials, most black women have defined curls. There's no kinky, frizzy, fro puffs that look like mine, and I'm so offended. I have no curl pattern and not ashamed, but why do most feel it's bad in society? It doesn't make sense. Um, okay. Um, Curly Nella, she made some great points, but I didn't agree with the stretching the hair to look like another curl pattern. We all know that single strand knots is the enemy of those with curly hair. But you know what? People can say the same thing about her scrunching her hair, like, for her life. Like, um, okay. We all know that single strand knots is the enemy of those with curly hair, especially tighter curls. It shrinks up to the scalp once dry, and you have to stretch the hair for preventative reasons. That's why many do twist outs and braid outs as well. Very true, because you get less shrinkage than a wash and go. I was wondering where did she get that from, but I also know stretching your hair out does make it another curl pattern, but that's not the reason most po people do it. Also, fully shrunken hair gives you helmet-looking hair. Yeah, if it has no... If, if it has no structure or texture to it, like a pattern, it does make it hard to like actually shape the hair unless you're going. Because even when you do an afro, you still have to like either prep for the afro or separate and fluff for the afro or pat down for the afro. So, um, yeah, she's absolutely right on that. Um, I don't like the compliments that people give to men where they say you have better hair than most women because it's tearing those women down to bring up another person. It's a backhanded compliment. Just, it's like, just compliment the person's hair rather than comparing it to women and tearing them down. They can have both beautiful hair and it can both be beautiful in different ways. Um. Great video. I've said it time and time again. Natural hair isn't just women hair. Also, when I was new to the natural community, I determined that curl typing cost me a lot of money trying to figure out things for my hair. Um, okay. Um, it's also hard to shape your hair when you have multiple textures. Yeah, that's true. Um... Mm. Yeah. Um I'm gonna just go to the closing screen. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it all. Alright, um Thank you and shout out um to all the donations from Super Chat Cash App. And PayPal, definitely greatly appreciate it. Also, shout out to the continued support of our YouTube channel members and Patreon members. Um, what else I need to mention? Uh, for my folks on Patreon, just a reminder, we have our Patreon stream this Saturday. So, I'll see y'all on the 26th. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Um... Yeah, I'm out. Peace. It's hard out here with curly hair. People don't know or they just don't care. Ain't had no one to show them how to handle their curls like they do now. Growing up young, curls was hard to manage. Straighten it.
Thank you. 